and greetings. Welcome back. What was that? I had a thing I was going to do and that just threw me the fuck off. What was that? What? <laughs> Who did that? <coughs> oh no. Was that you, oh, Hayden? Shit. No, it was Spencer. What? Oh my what? God. I didn't what make I fart sounds with my face. I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. That was very sad. <laughs> I would have if I hadn't been distracted. I love how the immediate strategy was to blame Spencer, and I completely agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you hadn't been all giggly about it, I think you might have gotten away with it. No, Probably. because I'm too, and farts are funny. Anyway. Because I feel like if, if you had told Spencer he did that, he might not remember. I probably accept that that oh, sorry. And welcome back to Vestige of a Fucus. <laughs> Camp yeah. and one. What? Hmm? Would y'all just yell at me? Penis. Oh, penis. B -b -b -penis. Camp and one, session 97. I was sick last week. A lot of things <laughs> changed. But we're you back. You also had a birthday. I was. I was previously an age, and now I'm 30. Look what happened to me. Don't turn 30, kids. Don't turn 30. <laughs> Logan's run had it right. This is where it needs to stop. I'm gonna ask someone to give me the recap. It's gonna be Flux. Oh. Again? I'm gonna stop that. Yeah. But you know what? Here, here, here. We do it again. Flux. I'm gonna do it again. Carrie! Woo! Fucking. I'm not even at my own computer. I can't do that shit. I don't. I don't have a mouse. No, I don't wanna. <laughs> I forget. Is your memory attached to your computer, fam? Yes, that's where all my notes are. I can't remember anything. <laughs> Rig have been optional. Wait, Spencer's finding my notes. Right? Aaron. What? Okay, Aaron doing? Recap. What happened? Uh, what happened? Okay. Uh, we ran the fuck away. Um, mm -hmm. cause, ouchies. <laughs> uh, we then, uh, snooped around a bridge, found a secret passage, went under there, and talked shop about maybe overthrowing the government. Um, and, uh, we're like, okay, but we have a homie and we're getting them back or we're not helping you. And they're like, we don't even know if you are who you say you are. We're like, well, conveniently, our homie is next to a table member. So if we go and try and kill them and they die, then you know that we're being honest. So it's kind of a, you know, two birds with one stone thing. And they're like, all right, we can work with this. And then we kind of... Well, I said we, most of us, beat the shit out of Flux while we were trying to uninsane them. Um, and their jet boots were running low. <laughs> uh, and then we, uh, we basically were just chilling until time to set up after a bunch of shopping. Uh, and then Lexi did some stuff, and I was kind of half paying attention to because I'm, I'm trying to not know what I don't know. There was a dance and Ravisimont was being all spooky stuff, and then Lexi on the sly was like, I'm scared and alone, and you should give me some time to think about things. And, <laughs> and maybe I don't have to answer all your questions right now. And they're like, well, okay. So now they have some clothes. It's true. <laughs> Thank you for understanding my slyness. I appreciate you, Aaron. <gasps> no, you did so good. Also, all the butterflies in that place are wearing fish nets. It's pretty hot. Only some of them. Only True. the ones that dance with Ravissima. The other ones are all normal. I approve. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. Then indeed. We're jumping back in. I've got to get the thing up. Boom. Alrighty. So, um, Izzy. Yes, sir? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm so afraid. Izzy, my friend, you yes. want to... Maybe explain this? <laughs> Someone forgot to change their image. I'm sorry, I'm not used to having to do it. Look at that tall ass fucking. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's go. What 
What the I fuck is this giant go asshole look. behind me? Fuck. Where's the link? Looming behind I'm us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just look up Discord reactive images on Google, homie, and we'll, we'll get it. It's also, it's I noticed that Arden is back there as well, hiding. He's changing it right now. Okay. <laughs> 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 what no? What do you mean? I'm uh, it's, it's just peering over up his shoulder. This scrawny Irish voice hiding behind me. <laughs> Guys, you, you gotta remember to do this. I did it right away. I did it before joining call. You guys make me feel like I'm so on the ball sometimes. <laughs> I'm very happy. I, I, I very much appreciate you're, you guys. It's, you're making up for two weeks ago. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> talking to Cody. I don't know. Is what it is about. it a Nat 19 stream without some scuff? <laughs> it's not a stream without scuff, Aaron. It's true. <laughs> Are you guys changing them? Oh, uh, there's Tag. I'm trying to find the, the picture of Fox without the, without the background. <laughs> I no, feel the panic, it. and yeah. it's really funny. <laughs> You know, you're gonna have to pay I, us now. I'm just saying off You're gonna have to pay us now, because your Something Witty logo is now on our stream, and you haven't paid us for a brand deal. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Oh, it's royalties. Eh, you fucking... Okay, well... Why don't I have this picture? <laughs> <laughs> you oh, lost, me. Flux? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all, I saved it on my home computer. Whoops. I'll send another one to you. <laughs> but these things are hard I to come by. Blanket? Don't lose this one. Oh, good. <laughs> I'll do my best, sir. We've got a limited supply of these. Okay. <laughs> I can this only... Is the original only copy. <laughs> I'm sending you the Master Flux. Oh. I appreciate it. Insert joke about fucking common topics nowadays here. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Insert fucking, fucking the Harley <laughs> Quinn. Oh, it seems the modern uh, PC culture is ruining the state of uh, comedy. <laughs> fucking. Gosh darn. Intentionally step over in line. Okay, so, well, we have the big boy back there change into something a little bit more slimming. <laughs> you guys, at the end of last game, yes, you had talked to the, um, the Temple of the Gentle Nest. Uh, you'd gone there, you talked to uh, Ion, and you had discussed breaking into the Bastille, as Heron had described. You guys had a wagon set up that was uh, set to look as if it was one of the supply wagons that is moving between the Bastille and the city, which would normally be manned by the Zugaikin. And just as a general reminder, I believe the plan landed on that Nemric would be the one who would disguise himself as a Zugaikin member and drive it, and the rest of you would hide. Um, we ended at a time of day. It is, you know, whenever it is. There's Flux. Thanks for joining us, Flux. There it is. <laughs> I hate this place, just a reminder. Sorry, continue. Um, as we you get... played if you liked it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you guys were left around that time. Lexi had a whole encounter at the Bastille, but we'll come back to Lexi whenever it's relevant, too. What would you guys like to do? You got to the end of a long rest, you recovered. Uh, I believe I rested your sheets. Did I? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Looks like I'm all rested. Yes. I release you. Role play. Feel emotions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling a whole bunch of emotions right now. <laughs> Do I get to lose some exhaustion or no? Speak truthfully in false situations. And then answer my question, though. What, what was your question again? Uh, did, did, did Lexi get to rest? Do I get to lose yes, we knowledge? took the level off of you, I believe. You are still at two. What? Huh. Hey, it's better than six. You're right. That is technically true. 
<laughs> that is accurate. Okay. If anybody uh, needs it again, just so you know, here's the world map. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, oh, where are yeah. we on the map again? You are where the are little, the little uh, red moon dot thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right, and we're heading to the uh, uh, over there. Cool. Heading to the uh, over there. Heading to the over there. Heading to that over there. Is there anything you guys would like to do uh, before heading out from the temple? Avi's going to sit down next to Miriam from where she's been sitting in her corner. Oh. I'm not going to say anything, but she's going to sit down next to him. All right. Ty's going to try to find the uh, the middle of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Good. Yep. Good. Oh no, I just realized if I'm the one that freaking is going out there and, and, and pretending to be things, I'm not going to be within Tag's range. No. Oh no! I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no. Bless no, on you and just mumble to myself in a box until you do it. I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm, I'm done. Um, oh, well. Uh, I think that I think that I'm just uh, depending on how long it takes them to get uh, everything ready. I think I'm just ready to ready to freaking head out. Mm -hmm. Once they tell us like where to go and like everything like that. Yeah, they would tell you to head yeah. north. Uh, they would direct you. I would say just as a shorthand, they would give you knowledge that the um, the uh, Yosinomichi, which they they would describe you in detail as that is the series of roads that connect in the area. Um, you followed it when you came to the city, uh, and it stretches out in the four compass directions out from it. Uh, you'd have to go on the northern Yosei no Michi path, um, and they would inform you that you can follow it long enough that the road should be, you should be able to still follow it even when it gets into wilderness, uh, and it should take you to the Bastille. And as far as the disguise is concerned, we d we're supposed to just look like a member of the Zugaiken, or? Yeah. Okay, so I can I can just change my my outfit to that, and then I can turn into an elfy boy. Got it. Sure. Uh, and the rest of us just like hiding in the back, basically. Or... Mm-hmm. You, you guys, you guys are stuff. are supplies. You're yeah. you're our supply. I call dibs on box. <laughs> oh, dang it! This is fantastic box. supply box. Mm. <laughs> can I be barrel? And this is my barrel. <laughs> I think I think you'd be perfect for the barrel role. <gasps> Hooray! I will do you proud. <laughs> oh, uh, one other thing, Logan. I'm not sure what they're gonna ask us when we get there or anything like that. Could I, um, like, get, like, uh, any information from them on, like, what they usually transported? That way, if they ask me, I can be like, oh, this and that and that and this. I ask you what you usually transported? Uh, mostly it's provisions, which is, uh, on the most, it's, like, rice and basic meat and water. <laughs> Uh, mostly that. The rest of it is, uh, basic and some fine silks that tend to get delivered to Ravissimo. Heck yeah. Hmm. Oh, question. Yeah. Um, with, uh, with Nemrick riding up front and us in the back, or what, what does this wagon look like? Like, if we're in the back, um, is it, like, like, completely enclosed? Like, could someone from the back seat reach up to someone in the front? Uh, so it's like it's like a horse-drawn wagon that effectively is just a seat in the front, uh, a couple big wheels, and then the back is... It's not like a, like a closed top or anything. It would be a basic, You're like, back of a box, pickup yeah. truck-style wagon. Gotcha. Because what I'm thinking is, when we get close, I want to be in range to subtly cast Enhance Ability on Nemrick so I can give him advantage on Charisma checks. Thank you. Okay. Depending on who's watching you and from where, there may be some sleight of hand checks that would go with being unnoticed. Um, but that's Not only just, if people yeah. are close enough to really notice it. Okay. So yeah, I would want to just kind of uh, hide myself in a way where I am expecting to need to subtly touch Nemrick, like maybe throw a blanket over myself or something. You're gotcha. proving to be useful, new flux. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I am glad I could be of surface, Master Nemrick. <laughs> oh, uh, I want to give. I think I said this last game, but I want to give him my uh, my packed uh, talisman as well. Oh, okay. I think yeah. you have an item in your inventory to do that with. Nope. No. I, or uh, sorry, yes, I was asked, answering 
uh, Carrie's question. Yeah, I asked if you had to attune to it. Uh, I believe... I don't believe you do. I think he can just give it to people, and then uh, they can use its effects, and then it just runs out. Oh, yeah, out. yeah, yeah. Even if uh, we did, I have one more attuning slot anyway, so... Just so you know what it does, uh, when you... Uh, when the wearer of this amulet fails an ability check, they can add a d4 to the roll, uh, potentially turning the roll into a success. Oh, hell uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I yeah. will move that between your inventories. Yes. 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 Well, I can't wait to not want everything we fucking do today. Right. <laughs> your fucking You're right. I should just, I should just preemptively destroy them. Here they go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. Oh, no. They're gone now. <laughs> I have new ones. They're gone now. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> and that's why I got rid of. Anyway, so um, uh, I think I'm. I think I'm. I'm, I'm good then. Uh, looking through my stuff, I don't think I have anything in particular that I can uh, mess with to give me any any extra benefits or anything. But you know, being disguised, having. This talisman having ha having flux. I, I think I think I'm good. Alrighty. So, um, as you guys travel on the carriage that you're on, uh, just to give you a general laydown of what it would look like, it's a fairly wide wagon that is being pulled by two oxen, uh, as you've seen quite a bit around here. Um, they don't look as strong as ones that you previously seen. The ones that drew the the carriage that took you to the Yodica Castle, the oxen that were used there seemed much more well-fed, better built. These ones seem like uh, they haven't been cared for quite as well. In the back, there's a variety of boxes, a few blankets set down, uh, all of which have dimensions that would fit uh, a humanoid. And the blankets are enough that you could throw them over yourselves to hide yourselves if you wish to. And there's a bunch of boxes that are there. It's too small for you to hide in, but are empty just for the sake of making it look like there are things being transported. You were informed. It would probably take you the better part of a couple of days to get to the best deal. Given that, is there anything that the group would like to do? Any precautions you'd like to take as you travel, or before you do? Um, travel, they... I would like... <laughs> I was going to say, did they mention how often people come down here? Not very often, right? No. Okay, so we don't have to worry too much about maybe hiding on the days leading up to it. Should still be cautious, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll make uh, sure to reapply dark vision when it gets hard to see. Uh, are we going to be traveling through, like, the woods and stuff? If you had asked them, they would have told you that yes, uh, there is a, uh, it does emerge into woodlands and the Bastille is cut out of the middle of a, a small lake that sits at the center of the woods, almost, they would tell you, on the border of Honokuni itself. Um, gotcha. But yeah, you'll be traveling through woodlands. Okay. Uh, just when we get there, I want to uh, just mark the trees with like a, a sword slash kind of thing just so we know which ones we pass by, just so we don't get lost. Sure. Okay. Um, is, is there a chance that Fenris could keep her eye out and just kind of keep an eye on to see if anything's following us? Um, especially with the dreams she's been having, just making sure that... I mean, yeah, you would... You're, over a long period of time, you're... Passive perception is basically you doing that, but yeah, if you want to keep an eye out, then Fenris can be making perception checks every every mm -hmm. so often. And you know, of course, whenever we go to rest for the night or anything like that, stick next to Tagachi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very important. Everyone gather around. <laughs> I feel like we're all close enough that we just be in the range anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. No, no. The closer we are, the better. I'm gonna I'm gonna get in his arms. <laughs> As you all go to move, as you take off and you head the way you're going, uh, we'll say you're moving at normal speed, um, but you're all able to rest fully while you're moving. As you guys move, you move for the better part of what you assume to be about eight hours in the day before the, uh, the oxen need a small rest. I need 
someone. Let's say, uh, Carrie, since you're not actually with the group, why don't you do this for me? What's up? I need you. Is there any... I need you to please, just this once, I'm trying to find a thing real fast, uh, I need you to roll me 1d10. Oh, okay. Fine, move out of the way. Give me that back. I won't do it. <laughs> Watch me have an absolutely cursed roll. Here I go. 1d10? Yep. Into the tower, or...? Uh, yeah, into the tower, please. Okay. We'll never know. Well, ten Tarasks come from the forest. We'll know how to play. I guess I should have. I should have asked as well. Do you guys want to move at the normal pace, or do you want to move slowly, or do you want to move quickly? Let's move at a normal pace until we hit the woods. And let's mm -hmm. take it to a slow pace so it can be a little mm -hmm. quieter. Yeah, yeah makes sense. Okay. I agree. In that case, two hexes later, as you guys move, you do arrive at the edge of the woods. Uh, Fenris, I'd like you to roll me a perception check, please. Can I cast guidance on myself? Uh, it's an this. ongoing thing, like it accounts for like a long period of time, so I'd rather you do it flat. Okay, that works for me. Because guidance would only give you like that momentary burst. There, I mean, you could technically keep recasting it, but there's a level of absurdity there. <laughs> as you move, Ooh as you move through the plains that stretch out from the top of Bochi, uh, you don't manage to see anything. The area is fairly open. You feel like if something were following you, you would probably be able to see it. As you move, you guys come within, uh, how long would that have been? You guys come within about two hours of travel later. Uh, you guys come to the edge of the woods. Vogan, you want to start marking trees, and we want to start taking the paces slow. Vogan's right? back! I'm sorry, fucking <laughs> brain tag. <laughs> yes, I would like to start marking trees. That's not a mistake I thought I'd make. God, I miss Vogan. <laughs> I right. love tag. You do oh. it, I would note when you arrive there, as you move forward, the road, although it is old and somewhat withered and hard to tell where it is, there is a road to follow that continues to head north. Like, there's no point where you have to go off it's the road. It's not like the Akuma Kyofu or anything. Yeah. yeah. So, given that knowledge, do you still want to mark trees? Uh, why not? Like, Okay, sure. sure. Especially since you're taking a slow pace. There's no reason why yeah. you couldn't walk easily beside it. Okay, cool. You guys have traveled for about two hours today. From here on, uh, you could make... As you move... You would go boom, boom. Get to about... You guys continue to move forward. As you do, you see the beacon of light, the mountain that seems to have a strange illumination to the top of it. As you guys pass by, you see that it's... Not that terribly far away from you from your perspective, but as you get closer to it, you find that its size almost seemed diminished in the darkness before, when you had nothing to uh, reference it against. When you come up to the uh, pass that leads between the mountains that are uh, to the east and the ones to the west, the ones to the east being the glowing ones that you saw before, you notice that these things are massive. It is far more imposing of a structure once you get close and can uh, take in some of the scale. And the soft glow at the top of the mountains that you pass uh, continue to... Um, they continue to seem to have no source. There just seems to be a faint illumination coming from the top of this mountain. I would like Tag... Uh, roll me, please, a wisdom check. And Fenris, I'd like you to roll me three perception checks. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm so... Oh, no. Though. Come on, Fenris. One. Not it. That's actually worse, Fen. Two. Much better. better. Three. Wait. Oh, that didn't roll. Three. I got a total of one. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Fenris, oh, why? <laughs> Logan. Tag why? Yes. Just because I have poopy memory, are those, uh, the mountains that you're talking about, are those the ones that we were told that the yokai lives in, or no? No. I think those are okay, off to the cool. south, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, those are off to the south. I was like, I don't think so, but just for my own. When you brain arrived brain. in Honokuni, oh. one of the major things you could see within the darkness was uh, the lights of Bochi, what would turn out to be Bochi. And you could yeah. see that off to the north, there was uh, a mountain range, one, one large mountain, basically, that the top seemed to be cut out 
There's uh, clearly some kind of crater at the top of it. And there's illumination coming from within that crater that seems to be able to cast some light on the mountain, even though it should just be shining straight up. It seems like the top of it has this faint, not incredibly bright, but this ghostly light that stands out against the pure black of the sky behind it. And that's okay. this one, or is that yes. this one? That's, okay. Yes. The ones that are off to the west, those are the edge of the, uh, the Yorika Mountains. Um, those are the ones that form a range that goes around the Akuma Kyofu and forms the valley uh, in which the Yorika Castle is built. Yeah, yeah. Okay. As you guys get to about the end of the day, taking a rest, uh, you don't know how much farther you have to go, but you would assume you have no more than about half a day. Gonna move our time ahead. When you guys are resting... I'm sure. oh, sorry, go ahead. So just everybody, make sure to eat. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, num, 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 num. Going through the watches real quick. Ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. I need to grab a thing. Music's being dramatic today. It really oh. is. It wants drama oh. today. Yeah. <laughs> I it's hope like, when we get here, there'll be some water for me to steal, because I only have a couple of days left. Burn. Uh, Fenris, do you need rations? Um, because you were uh, out, right? Uh, yeah. I, I guess I am. I, I will pull an extra rations portion out of my bag and pass it to Fen. Thank you. And then I use, I'm going to drink my last water skin. <laughs> water skins also assume that we fill if there's any sources. So if we come upon a river or anything. We we'll also have the alchemy jug. Oh, yeah. that's true. So we can refill oh, yeah. from the alchemy yeah, jug. Yeah, honestly, yeah, we... as long as you have the alchemy jug and you're using it for that, I'd say water's taken care of. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to give me back, I'm going to give myself back that water then. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Off it's one of the yeah, greatest like, things about we, an alchemy chug. And you get two, you basically fit. It. You're good. You get two. It's whatever. You have food and water. Mayonnaise. Water and mayonnaise. And mayonnaise. Uh, mayonnaise. <laughs> sometimes, mayonnaise. Sometimes an sometimes adventurer honey. just has to eat a whole lot of mayonnaise. Sometimes death is better than eating all that mayo. It's true. As you guys settle in, I'd like to know as you can continue to move through the night if you wish. Um, it's your call. Would you like to stop at this point, or would you like to uh, rest and prepare for the following day? Well, I can't tell if they're hungry or not. The oxen pulling are probably tired. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have no longer than a half a day, so we should probably make our way to rest at least this last time. You never know. Agreed. I would say they wouldn't expect us so late, but it's not like they would care, <laughs> given... Yeah. At the very least, it would be good to come at this at full strength. I also agree. difficult to leave them there another night, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm fine with going further in right now. But if we, we do go, if we do that. rest, then I would make, like everyone to make sure that when we wake up, if you're feeling odd, let everyone else know. We can rest while we move, as long as the ox keep going. It's just... They might be, they might not be good for an escape if we're uh, pushing them. We don't want to run them lame. Mm -hmm. Granted, we're also not exactly going to have a gallant chase with Ox pulling the carriage. <laughs> That's true. Mm. I, also, isn't our goal to take this person oxen. down? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We need to do that to prove ourselves, right? So I think that... Uh, Valiant escape might not even be in the cards. We kill whoever's holding Lexi. Hmm. But we all should we should expect the unexpected. Maybe expect that they're expecting us. Well, my thought is then, if we're not planning on um, immediately running for an escape, we push them till we get there, and then we go in for Lexi. Go through the night. Works for me. Dag, you get to drive for a little longer. Uh, sure. Right. I think you if guys... we're this, I think sure. if we're this close, we need to make sure to, uh, within the next couple of hours, have Tagachi hide back there with the rest of you. Yeah, but if we keep him now, we can keep you resting. In the meantime, we'll take it in shifts. 
I'm perfectly fine with that. He lays back. <laughs> All right. So specifically, what are you doing? Well, for the next few hours, we'll have just a, as we like rest and we're progressing towards um, people on watch, we'll drive until we get close enough that we feel we should get Nemeric on the front. Okay. So you're just looking for any kind of landmark that reminds you of the place? Yeah. Okay. Um, so in what, what uh, order are you having people drive the cart? When we're half a day, we have roughly, what, six hours. Uh, Tag probably takes the first two. Mm -hmm. um, I can take we'll... after Tag and take a shift. Should rest is long, so if you guys want to put me on a longer shift. I'll right. do second with Avi. Sure. And that's two hours, and then we'll go to Nemrick for the last two. Cause... So it's Tag for two. Mariam and Avi for two, no, Nemrick for two. Yeah, and then Nemrick should pull up the last leg, assuming okay. we're roughly half a day. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna. And you have you do have about six hours of travel left before you get there. I, I won't have anybody roll against exhaustion, um, purely for the fact that you guys have been on a, a wagon all day. You've been basically resting, so I would say that for the purposes of what we're doing, you don't have to worry about. Like a lack of sleep in this particular day. Hooray! Well, that's also why, my... so we could rotate out kind of naps yeah. as we move in. Mm -hmm. One of my pack magic slots was already clicked, so I went ahead and unclicked it for a short rest. Is that fine? Yeah, can I do that as well? Uh, uh, well, for long yep. rest. I I'm gonna day? give you guys another long rest. Okay, okay. sweet. Woo! God, I forgot I have fifty arrows. Let's go. <laughs> you're welcome. I know. I looked at my you're sheet. You're like, welcome. We have more daggers. Lexi, I like you're... That we've got all these weapons and no rations. We're geniuses. Yep. Lexi, your exhaustion has gone down to one level remaining. Oh. <laughs> my god. And I'm just going to real quick. I'm going to go ahead. No, no. No, no, no. No real quick. No, no real quick. I do that. No, no. I, Fenris, I'd like you to roll, please, two more perception checks. Yeah, I would probably. Yeah, Fenris is not sleeping well, or not sleeping unless she needs to. One. Okay, middle of the road. I'll take it. Okay. One the perception check. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh. two per perception check. Yep. Ah 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 As you move, about two hours uh, after you begin to move, where are you? I'd like the group, I'd like the people driving, so at the end of the first two hours, so tag. I'd like a perception check from you. And then we're going to use the one that Fenris just rolled as part of this. Is this before or after the long rest? Uh, the long rest would have accounted for the journey you all just took, effectively. Okay. It's your one for the day, because you guys just traveled the eight hours or so. Okay, yeah, I just want to know if it was... Uh, I wanted to use the knowledge from a past life and want to know if that would come back. You uh, probably won't get another long rest by the time you get there. Gotcha. I'll still use it, though. Um, okay. I remember how to see good! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> just puts on his prescription glasses. Aww. It's pretty good! Nice. Alrighty. Between oh the yeah, two. I remember. I need these. <laughs> Between the two of you, uh, Tag and Fenris, who's continuing to keep watch, you guys, as you're moving forward on this path, uh, just as you exit this small wooden bridge that crosses over one of the uh, many, uh, the many uh, little rivers that span through the area, you start to hear the sound of another set of wheels upon dirt. On the path up above you, or up in front of you, out into the darkness where you can't see it, you hear the sound of what seems to be another wagon moving, and it seems to be coming closer to you. Uh, does it see us as well? Do both of you have... Um, well, I mean, everything's dark. Am I, yeah, am I in the carriage? In the dark. He's got his readers on, Logan. I got my readers <laughs> on, and I'm really good at it. You both I'm have really 60 feet dark. of dark vision, right? I've got 120 feet of devil sight. Of devil sight? You can't see them yet, so they're, they're beyond the edge of that. Mm -hmm. 
you have no idea, given how close you would be, you would be aware that probably when you can see them, it means they can see you. Fair. Um, okay. And they're heading towards us? Are they, like, yes. coming down the path? Yes. Okay. Well, are they going at a, like, a sped-up pace or just a normal you, pace or anything You can like only that? hear the sound of wagon wheels. That information is very specific, given the information you have. Gotcha. gotcha. They don't, you don't... You don't hear, like, rapid clopping or the sound of any animals hurrying. Uh, you just hear the soft groan of wooden wheels upon a dirt road. Okay. Um, Should I jump up in the front? Oh, wait, you guys so have to tell me. We can't... I, I shake Numeric. <laughs> Numeric, um... Hmm? I, uh, you should switch with Tag. You should, you should switch with Tag. Tag, you should... Fenris is going to gesture to the, I imagine, boxes and barrels of choosing. Oh, okay. I'm going to try to jump upwards and go over to the front. Alrighty. Hey, um, Tag or and Fenris, are you guys getting into the back? Yeah, and if anyone's if anyone's asleep, I'm like throwing a blanket over them. I would like, or assuming, everyone, assuming so. you guys are woken up and what's told mm -hmm. you is told to you. I would like for everybody except for Nemric to please do a stealth check. Okay. Ooh. And we'll say you can do these with it. We'll say you can do these with advantage, given that you Ooh, it's still a, you have a minute to do it. Wait, can I can I okay. roll from Lexi's cheat? Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh. All right, here we go. Two nines, Aviana. Okay. 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 Let's come on. Okay. Hey, at least I'm so Never grateful for my cheat. plus thirteen right now. <laughs> it's fine as long as they don't look in the back. We're fine. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. it's fine as long as they don't look in the back. It's fine. I'd say like if Fenris is like throwing blankets over people, Avi would like cradle herself in her wings and ask Fenris to like throw a blanket over that. It's just, like I am a ball. I am gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Fenris is fucking tucking in Aviana, giving her the tucking in of a lifetime. Like this Hell is. Yeah. Avi, just don't fall asleep with the blanket over you, okay? <laughs> despite, <laughs> despite the the <laughs> the high uh, decept uh, stealth roll, Fenris seems yeah. a little more shaken than usual. At yeah. The need to hide. And Nemric, you're assuming the form of a Zugaikin member. Yes, I am. I am taking my my Elven look, and I am. I'm, uh, I, I would have assumed that I would have kept the Zugaikin clothes on for most of this, just in case. Mm hmm With my, because I can change the appearance of those whenever I want. All right, worked for me. Uh, as you proceed forward, then Nemric, what does your dark vision go out to? Is it nine or uh, sixty feet? Ah, ba 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 ba. Let me see. Uh, um, I'm not sure. It doesn't say on my main part. Or do you do have, have dark? Do you, do you even have dark? You might vision? not have it then. You might, not, might not. No, you do. Dark. It is on your main page. Dark vision, 120 feet. I am lost. I can't even see it. Go to your main tab. Look at the senses line. Oh, my thing's too teeny. I had to. I had to move it down a bit. <laughs> it was covering up my senses. Oh. oh. Hell yeah. As you move, you see a wagon, uh, a bit bigger than yours, um, being pulled by what look like two larger, healthier oxen coming from the opposite direction. Upon it, you see the reins are being held by one of the crimson butterflies, and there also appear to be four other individuals that are upon this wagon. One is riding in the front. He looks like a uh, more heavily armored uh, individual wearing Zugaikin armor. The armor that they're wearing... Uh, has metal plating on it, which most of them don't. They're wearing half plate. Um, they look more competent. There's a more authoritative, uh, authoritative, authoritative, authoritative. You're right. Authoritative. I had it. Uh, authoritative look on them uh, whenever they're moving. There's two others. One is a uh, both are Zugaikin members. One of them appears to be carrying the uh, weapons of a soldier. The other one has the kunai and smaller weapons you saw of the ones that wielded poison before. And then the final individual on the wagon is you see on the back, uh, standing on the back of it, looking off back behind the wagon is another crimson butterfly. As this wagon moves, it is coming within 120 feet of you. Are you doing anything special about this? Uh, upon seeing the more authoritative guy and upon like seeing it, how, how big is the road that we're on? Uh, big enough two wagons could pass bit like by each other. Not much bigger than okay. that, though. Okay, I will, uh, 
just just very just like very like like not like humongous but i will turn like over a little bit to give more breath for them um and just like uh just like continue on my way okay as you come close uh i'd like you to first roll me deception <laughs> could i throw my uh uh could i throw my where is it at uh virtuous flora into this for my charming soul uh that is for charisma based checks right e D uh, describe for the class what that does uh with vir with uh, virtuous flora i can use uh, one of these as a bonus action uh for a minute i can gain advantage on charisma checks and saving throws cool yeah go ahead nice hi ya <laughs> and go for a deception check which i'm okay at mm -hmm. i'm pretty good Oh, as you move by, you see the individual at front, just so you know, the one that looks to be in charge. Uh, they appear to be a human, um, a human man, relatively, like I said, large set, uh, very well built, um, bald, a very Nappa-esque individual. Uh, as oh, I love they, him already. As they move by and as you pass, they nod towards you. You give a faint nod back. As you see in the back, there appears to be empty boxes. Um... And crates as if they're coming from a, on a return run from having delivered some supplies. As they move a bit farther down the road, though, you briefly has to get about 30 feet back behind you. You hear, uh, one second. And you hear it stop. One of the oxen let out a groan. And you hear a yell coming out towards you. Hey! Uh, I will slow the oxen to a stop. Uh, uh, yes, of course. You see the one that was in front stands. They put their hand up beside their mouth to yell over to you. Bit early for another delivery to the Bastille, isn't it? Uh, that's that's what I thought. Uh, apparently there's just... Whatever with the hunt starting up, blasted sky. I mean, yeah, it's been that way for a while, though. We haven't had to get any extra deliveries in for a bit. Baroth must be running you guys ragged back at the town. <laughs> He's always doing that. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. All right. What are you taking over there, anyways? We just gave them all the food they're gonna need for the next month. Oh, some. Uh, well, well, we we have some food, but mostly we're taking some silks down in that direction. Hmm. Well, she's gonna be happy about that. Want to make sure that they are. What are you, uh, what's everyone, uh, doing up in that direction? Any, any, uh, anything you can let me know of their temperament right now? Well, they... I'd rather not get involved. Well, as you know, they got a special guest a while ago. That prisoner that Jakku wanted to finish off, but Ravisimon decided to take for their own. So the place is being set up every day so that they can watch them perform. But then Ravisima makes us give them all the food they need to recover. Never seen them treat a prisoner quite so, uh, eloquently. Graciously, I guess. Seems a bit of a waste, doesn't it? Now, what do you mean? I don't know, just having to go back and forth there to treat some prisoner. Yeah. No, I hear you! <laughs> At this point, you see the crimson butterfly that's on the back of that wagon turns over towards him as if insinuating time is being wasted. And you see you're like, uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, hey, when you go back, make sure you check in with the other guys that are there. There's not that many of us. Lieutenant Carvis will want to know that you stopped in, so make sure you dip down into the underground to say hi to them, okay? Of course. Thank you very much. All right. Have fun. See you back at Bochi, friend. He will give a, a wave and start the oxen back up. Just uh, go, yeah, and make them start going forward. You hear him <laughs> sit, and then you just hear this very faint, like, <laughs> nice guy. Most of us, most of you, you lower <laughs> rank members are assholes. So that guy knows how to talk to his superiors. <laughs> you just hear that disappearing out into the distance. Hey, wait a minute. 
a nice Aww. guy. Hold He's on a, a minute. Get <laughs> there are no nice people in Honokuni. <laughs> Get going, <laughs> Ox. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh oh. And Logan, that was Lieutenant Carvin. Carvis. Carvis. Okay. Cool. Just for notes. Thank you, my boy. I'll just like whisper, uh, like like down as we start going off. Just like, hope you guys got all that. Uh, noted. Got all what? And just keep moving forward. <laughs> Alrighty. Wonder what underground they mean. Hmm. Clip clop, clip clop. Mm hmm. As you guys move, another few hours later. You eventually come within sight of what you would assume in the dark distance to be the Bastille. As you come towards it, you don't see it directly, but you do see a structure that upon the top of which there seem to be torches that have been set and lit, giving you the faintest outline of a structure that is at least 40, 50 feet tall. You see these lights up above the ridges of the trees ahead of you. Uh, from what you can tell of it, from the vantage point that you have, the, with the scenery sloping down towards it, um, you can tell there there's an artificial small lake that appears to have been dug out that you can see the lights reflecting on. Uh, the artificial lake is acting as a moat for what appears to be a relatively large building. It's a small stronghold, certainly nothing that you would call a castle, uh, but it appears to be a well-fortified uh, small fortress. Looking at it, it appears, as I said, to be no more than 40 or 50 feet tall. Um, because of the darkness, you'd have to get closer to find anything about it. You guys see a small window and a tiny fox waving at you from the window. Lexi, shush, shush, Lexi, shush! No, Lexi, shush, shush! Everyone's like, God damn it, Lexi! Yeah. <laughs> Giving us away! Is that Lexi in the window? To indulge Aww. in our alternate universe for a moment, this means one of two things. Either we're so recognizable that we're fucked because Lexi from a tower is like, hi guys! <laughs> <laughs> or Lexi is so friendly she waves to all these who got you to come and kill us. <laughs> both I'd like very to take us the second one. It's both. It's both. <laughs> If we're if we're starting our approach, then I will uh, hit him with uh, enhance ability. Yes. First, anyone and <laughs> well, it, never mind. My own only lasts a minute. Yours lasts lo yours lasts much longer than mine, I think. So yes. <laughs> yeah, it should rest you for an hour. Yes. Oh, that's delicious. <laughs> Flex just like pulls out what basically equates to like a rubber stamp and just sticks it on the back of of Nemric. Ah. <laughs> Alrighty. As you guys begin your approach towards the Bastille, which it sounds like is what you're doing. Uh, I pat I'm... him on the shoulder real quick, and I'm like, hey, bud, don't fuck it up. I'm going to give him a board of conspiration while we're at it. Guys, my wing nubs are sensitive. Stop. <laughs> I would like to quickly refill my water. So before we get to this, I know it's really weird and early, but I'm going to take a very quick break. Early, very bro. fast. Everybody, get your waters, do your stuff. I'm going right. to make a coffee. Go potty. Whenever, Fine. whenever we had, whenever we had done the the thing and like the Lexi thing happened, I started like I started like laughing and I got into a little bit of a coughing fit. <laughs> oh, Cody. I have. I, Just I, stop I, I've, getting I've been, sick. Dude, Just I always it. get sick around this time of Cut year. Right I'm 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 here and I'm here in this basement. The basement isn't very well heat treated. Uh, yeah. Uh, and it's just it's dude, just freaking. <laughs> also, it's abnormally cold for us. Like mm -hmm. our, it's been our really cold. Our part of the world does not get this cold. Like, it, we're getting in the 30s tonight where I am, which is just straight up abnormal. Before I get coffee, I'm just going to point out global warming. That's what's <laughs> happening. Just I'm a change. Mm. It's 30 in Florida. What do you think? Re! <laughs> what did I say? All the, all the winter birds are like, well, what the fuck? Why'd we come down here if we're just going to get the same weather? But, but, but I'm gonna go make coffee. Do I need it's coffee? It's been snowing. No, it's been it. snowing like every other day here. Like it's been like oh crazy. Um, and uh, again, like I'm I'm usually the one that's most that's like the most active for like having to get like stuff done in like the yard and like around the stuff around here because I'm living with my grandparents uh, mm -hmm. to like make sure everything's better for them. So I'm us I'm usually out there. Come back into my basement, which again isn't very well heat treated unless you're in my like actual room room. 
Um, and if I want any sort of light, I have to open my little blinds for my little window. But if I do that, then I let the cold in. <laughs> Oof. So there's just, it's around this time, I usually just get like, uh, like some colds and things like that. I don't think that it's anything worse than that. <laughs> Um, cause it's all like up in my nasal area and up in my throat. I think it's literally just the cold. Oh, that's fair. So if you it also, ca it also came on extremely quick. So. Pro Demon Slayer, thank <laughs> yeah. you for the subs. Hey! Oh, Let's go! Oh my god. Logan, I'm so happy that it worked. I'm so happy that I got to, I, I was called nice by my superior. I should change my clothes to look like his. <laughs> I probably shouldn't know. Logan, I'm so glad you said that name out loud because I read it as Heckin Prod Mon Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> what? You said, Instead of oh, Demon Slayer, you thought it was Prod Mon Slayer? Yeah, dude, you're like, fucking, oh, thank you, Pro Demon Slayer. I'm like, that's what it is. It's not <laughs> Prod Mon Slayer. <laughs> oh, you, th uh, you thought that's what it was? Yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> did I say Pro Demon the, Slayer? Uh, yeah, yeah. I said the right thing. Cool. Neat. Yeah, you did. What was what was the the captain called again? The one that we just just said. Just make sure. Carvis. Carvis. Okay. Jarvis. Like Jarvis, but Carvis. <laughs> but but with a knife. But with a knife. <laughs> I know that eventually, like eventually, I'm either gonna have bad roles or we're gonna we're gonna get to a point where like our knowledge is gonna run out and they're gonna find us. I really just want to see how long we can go. Though. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we're gonna die. That's my that's really my that's my fa that's my my main thing right now is just be like how far can I go without having to have them think I'm not a Zugaiken. That's my fun for the day. <laughs> Oof. No, y'all are gonna get murdered and then I'm gonna get murdered because y'all tried to save me. That's yeah, we're done. <laughs> I'm so glad I got to use the charming soul. I didn't know when I was ever gonna get to. <laughs> the virtuous floor are so cool. Yeah. Like all the other ones are more about uh, like combat stuff, um, but like the charming soul is just something. I, whenever I looked, at it, I'm like, oh, that's super cool. I don't know when I'm ever gonna. And then I got to. I'm like, yes, <laughs> let's go. You freaking nailed that encounter, dude. Dude, True. fucking these these new dice I have are great. I'm glad I killed the old ones. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was a good call. <laughs> What was it? I got a 15 and a 20. Let's go. Are we waiting oh, on Hayden and Bread right now? I it was a part I think so, yeah. I think so, yeah. <laughs> carvis, Carvis, Carvis. Bread went to caffeinate. They went to caffeinate. Here. Oh. I wish I. I wish I had some caffeinated. <clears throat> I have too much coffee. You want some? I'll just have one of my caffeine chocolates, I think. That's they, they never even knew I was gone. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna eat your caffeine chocolate and now we're gonna jump back here. No. Woo! I, I now have a cup. Now have a what? Oh, cause, um, so the Princess Club that I work for, uh, among other things, heckin' sent all of their employees, like, cups that they made with a cricket cutter. Oh, and So cute. it has my name, it has, like, a cut out of Winifred, and it has our logo. And yeah. That's cute. And now I'm drinking out of it because I have a problem with things that are gifted to me. I always use them. That's, that's a not a problem. Oh, no, that's yeah. apparently a big problem. We can't. We can't no. allow that. Heckin... Huge problem. Take me to jail. Take me away. Heckin, Izzy gave me that police. good, good fucking Psychonauts mug, and I was I, I was drinking out of it <laughs> in like Alejandro's office, and he was like, "I hope you know that's the mug that I'm stealing." I was like. Wow. That's literally <laughs> what I said to Izzy when he gave me this mug. Me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, it's it's fine. <laughs> Basically just gave my husband a present, but that's fine. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, it's God, Izzy, how, how dare you be how so thoughtful? Him if he try? <laughs> do we do we got everybody? Are we good? I, I think, think so. so. Alrighty. Oh, okay. Well, that's just the way shut it. No time to riot. Ba -da 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 it doesn't even care about them. No. Do 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 do. No, but this is the cup. Let's start a riot. Also, I started drinking coffee concentrate instead of actual coffee to save money. Oh it's my really God. strong. Uh, bread, bread. You're supposed to water it down. No, no, no. It comes with a. It comes with a specific proportionate thing. That's why I bought it because you squeeze it. 
and it go it fills up that side, and then you pour it. So it's like broken up into shots of espresso. Espresso. I, Espresso. Is, the espresso. <laughs> there is no X. There's no X in, in espresso. I know. Espresso. That's as funny as, as much as it should be the brand that it should be espresso, it is not. Well, that makes me espresso. Espresso. No. I just. It's like. Espresso. It's mocha flavored. It's really good. <laughs> I, I, it, I need it, though. I've been up since seven. So. My friends are just so mad at me because I, I I pronounce the S in it as Brexo. No, I used to say the S <laughs> in excited. Expresso. You say excited? Yeah, that's but espresso was the word. Espresso was the word I was trying to tell you guys that I replaced the S with an X. And so I was like Ugh. <laughs> Spencer back. Nope. Oh, cool. Oh, <laughs> oh I see. Like, as soon as game started, he was like, oh, no, I need to go to the bathroom. And I was like, just tell him that you need to go to the bathroom. And he was like, no, I want to play d d And he just held off going to the bathroom until break. What a oh, nerd. Fool. I know, right? So I have a gift for that saved somewhere. Of course you realize we we won't be getting a break later for this. Of course. Of course. It's all right. Saved? I'm a fool. I gotta find it again. Fool. A foolish fool. I want to put on the menacing soundtrack, but I don't want to do it till he gets back because it's not good talking good. ambience. You, Instead, uh, you said you said ambience. foolish fool, and now I just can't wait for you guys to get Instead. to the next Ace Attorney game. Dude, I know exactly what you're referring to. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what you're referring to. And I'm very excited. Let's go. Oh, are you guys playing more? I, I had heard that you guys decided not to. Uh, not right now, but we will eventually. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. From it, but we will be going back to it. Cool. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I read somewhere that you guys had mentioned that Heckin, you weren't, didn't want to play the next one. I guess that just meant, like, right now. Yeah, right now. Cool. Yeah. These are so fun. Yay. Who's your favorite character? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I don't know the game, oh, so if you nice tell shadow. me, I'm thank you for the ten subs. So many subs lately. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Oh my Let's god. Go good, good More candle subs gift. Than Jimmy John's. Thank you. Aaron. I got a gift sub. Wow. I wish we could get more stuff like that animated. Heckin' Aaron's mm -hmm. special brand of Edgeworth makes me ridiculous. It's happy. so good. It's Your so Edgeworth great. is so good. <laughs> Sorry, everybody at home, for the delay in ending the break. Oh, oh, here he comes. I think he's done pooping. <laughs> it's a worry about Spencer's here little boy bladder. Here comes the boy. Are you doing? Hello, boy. Welcome. Hello, boy. Welcome. Welcome. There he is. He is here. I'm back. Okay, I'm looking at some of the commands are not working. Sorry, Sam Sony. Don't have time for that right now. Um, if you guys can't figure it out on your end, I, I can't be digging around in Streamlabs at the moment. Heck in. Uh, is, is the bot. The only thing I can think of is, is the bot modded? Um. One sec. I'll make sure that it is. That's all I can really do. Streamlabs. Jesus, press the mouse. And. So much chaos. Arr, 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 arr. Bark. Mod. Bark. Yeah. There's the sounds of Alejandro doing laundry, and then Ryuji heard a thump, and now he's freaking out. It's just domestic yeah. chaos. I don't know why the commands aren't working. I'm going to commands. And they're all enabled. Is there a way for me to restart the bot, maybe? Try doing it now. Chaos crew. Okay, I just turned the bot on and off, and it looks like it works now. Cool, good. All right, everybody, All right. let's get back into it. I said I couldn't back fix the problem, and then I did. Go me. I'm useful I'm sometimes. I get it. All righty, my guys. So as you approach it, uh, Nemrick, you get slapped with the enhance ability, um, which is affecting your charisma. You also have a bardic inspiration at your disposal. 
Yes. Are you again going to choose to approach the lake, the moat that this thing sits within? Uh, yes, I will. I will make my way there to see. Is there any? Uh, obviously, it's a moat. Is there any like area where like the 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 bridge or whatever would come down? To, you like, can see on, or, like, on like one that? side of the building. I'd say as you get closer, uh, when you get within 120 feet of it. Uh, you can see that there is a large gate with what looks to be a bridge that has been raised up uh, over it with a large gate on the other side. Um, to give you a more specific description of this thing as you get closer, uh, you see this stronghold in front of you uh, effectively takes over your vision, jutting out from the surrounding forest as if it was erupting like a wound from the earth. Surrounding it, the shifting waters have a red tinge to them as they pass by the exterior of the building, as if brushing up against the stone on the side of the building was causing them to take on a reddish color. There are parapets lining the sides of this building in front of you, granting a view to those that are within it. Uh, those are all on the main floor, you notice, but it does not allow those to see in. The building has large, sheer stone walls that raise about 40 feet up to the roof. Uh, upon the roof, you can see vaguely from here that there are several tower-like structures that jut up about 10, 15 feet on the top, but they're mostly obscured from your vision. Um, and then there's a path on the front, which clearly has seen recent use. Uh, there is a raised, what looks to be a drawbridge again, that has a gate lowered in front of it. As you move forward, you see faint lights, you see some figures that are up top, on top of the building. I'm going to give you guys a map. A... Oh. Now, why Woo. would we need one of those? We don't. I'm going to give we you a map, sensor. and then I'm going to throw you Silly. on... I can't throw you all collectively, because if I do that, it'll throw Lexi there, and I want Lexi to stay where they are, so... No, no, let me out. Let me out. Let me out! Let me out! <laughs> let me out. Ah! It's dark in here. It's dark. I'm scared. Fenris. I'm scared. Taguchi. So and finally, Nemrek. So, where you are on the map, that's where the bridge would be if it was lowered. Um, it is currently raised up by two very large chains. Um, Nemrek. As you approach, you also note there is another, what looks like, closed top carriage that is currently not seeing use, but it is just sitting beside the path on the edge of the water. Hmm. What would you like to do? Uh, since it's up currently, uh, I'm just going to start slowing down the oxen and, like, look around toward, like, uh, the different parts of the, the wall before maybe bringing the carriage off from where we're standing, just in case they do lower it. I don't want to get crushed, you see. <laughs> um, like, like, move the, everything off to the side here and just sort of look off toward the, uh, toward the, um, uh, the way going forward and, like, let off, like, a, like a, like a bit of a wave, just, like, an acknowledgement, like, hey. <laughs> As you wave, are you waving towards the building? You waving, like, up to the, the top? What are you? Yeah, I'm waving over toward the, toward the holes that people can look through, but I can't look through. Roll me 1d4. Hi-ya. Four. Got a four. A four. Alrighty. And click. I'm just setting something up real quick. So as you begin to wave towards the parapets, um, you do not seem to immediately get any response from inside. You see some lights through the small holes in the side of the building. You see the inside is generally illuminated by what looks like a series of torches that have been set out. Um, but you, you do not see any shadows pass in front of them. You do not see any movement coming from inside, at least not the front area. Uh, he will get off of the carriage and make to look as if he's going to, like, give the oxen some food. Uh, but as he does that, he's just saying, like, under his breath toward people in the carriage, just like, What do you think I should do? Just, like, looking as if he's taking care of the oxen after a long, after a long, uh, trek. Yeah. So you guys like over there uh, I figure this is a guy I can probably shout at them probably. seem like a shouty bunch <laughs> sounds like a good enough uh, assertion of them as he will finish like messing with the oxen he'll look up just like hey 
I'm here with some delivery! Food, silks. You see a figure? I don't have anyone else to help me with this stuff. Up top, against the light of the torches, you see a figure that you recognize to be one of the crimson butterflies. Steps out on along the edge. They would be on the map about right there, but up top. They seem to step up onto a platform and look over the side. They silently regard you. Is there anything you'd like to say in light of that? We're already short-staffed as it is. Can you let me in? It's been a long night. Roll me. Roll me deception. We'll start there. <laughs> Let's go. Hiya. 21. Alrighty. I will hold on to my bardic inspiration. I'm going to place these. One sec while I roll back against you real fast. Boop a doop boop boo. As you yell up, the crimson butterfly you're talking to listens. You don't really see much of a reaction from them, especially from where you are. And you see them disappear back along the edge, heading back onto the top of the flat roof. After about 30 seconds or so, you hear from inside, just, uh, somewhat annoyed. Yeah, alright, fine. Didn't they just leave? You hear echoing from inside. You see a figure come out to the front, pass by one of the windows, and though you can't make out any details about them, you hear their voice echoing from inside. How'd you guys yeah, make it back to the town and then back to here already? I'm not with the ones that just left. They sent another group like this quickly, I don't know. Talk to, Be talk to Lord Baroth about that. Come on, man, it's been a night. Yeah, I'll say. What are you bringing? Food, silks, I don't know. Hmm. I'm the only one they brought out because they were preparing some sort of a fight or something with the ones that came in recently. Oh yeah? Yeah, I heard otherwise something. It otherwise it would have been more than just me. This is bullshit. We're only deception again. Oh, this oh. I will put, uh, this I will put my Bardic Inspiration into. Gotcha. You also got the, the D4. <laughs> I do have the D4 as well. Uh, that, that's if I fail, right? But, I mean, it's hard to gauge whether you fail or not, because he doesn't kill Yeah, you. I guess. I guess, <laughs> I guess. Uh, what's the, what's the, is it D8? Uh, From Merriam's? Yeah. D10. D10. Oh, that yay. was a nine for a second. Uh, and I will throw that, and I will throw that D four in as well. Okay, make sure to uh, yep. tick off when you use the talisman afterwards. But go ahead. Oh yeah, eighteen total. Uh... One sec, click click. Just going to move a thing. Uh, as you deal with them, as you yell to them to let you in, you hear just this, Yeah! Oh! Well, it's strange that you've been bringing things out here. So out of schedule, but fine, I get it. We're all a bit disoriented from the long night. One sec, I'll tell them to lower it. You hear them wander away, and you hear indiscriminate yelling coming from inside. Just the faintest bits you catch up, you're like, Hey! Go ahead and lower it! Could have saved us some time! As they do, you see two large apparatuses that are uh, sitting up on top of the uh, section that is above the gate uh, begin to move, and you see the forms of the crimson butterflies above turning this large crank, uh, beginning to lower it down. You see the gate raises up, and then the drawbridge slowly sets down on land, forming a... how long would that be? Just for those at home. Forming about a 70-foot walkway or so that leads to the building. Very large, very wide. Everything about this structure seems unnecessarily huge. You you feel like this place could be used by giants just as soon as it could be used by normal people. 
Hey man, maybe they're giants here, who knows? <laughs> he sets down, you just hear, I'll get the others, we'll help you unload everything. Bring uh, it up here. He starts, he moves the, the oxen onto the thing, he's like, Hear that everyone? He's gonna get the others to, to help us unload. <laughs> Sounds like they're in for a bit of, su of a surprise. Dr. Quinn, please bless us with a safe journey. Please, please. <laughs> just starts muttering to You see the half-elven soldier that That's you're awesome. talking to walks away and goes to fetch others. As they do, you begin to hear the sound of footsteps uh, returning back with them. Uh, coming from two different places, you see what look to be another series of half-elves uh, enter. Whenever they step in, uh, I will note for you, real quick, just on the map. As you guys pull the wagon up and inside the front area of the Bastille. You, gonna just select all of you so I can move y'all at once here. Select. Right. Yeah. Come on, move. Got this. Fantasy Grounds is having a minute with me moving this many tokens at once. Yeah, yeah. And Scrans is always needing some sort of minute. It's true. You know, maybe I'll move him one at a time. Oh, I almost got him in. Oh, I see, I see why it was freaking out. It was trying to consistently figure out and refigure out Tag Sec and Aura. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fair. You guys pull up and you pull inside. As you do, you find you're in a large room. Uh, that is currently gated. Uh, there are two wooden doors on the far sides. The room itself is about uh, 70 feet across-ish. Um, there is another very large gate in front of you that appears to have been made on the inside um, that blocks entryway into the immediate area. You see beyond it there appears to be this long hall lined with armors that have been ceremonial, uh, ceremoniously placed along the walls. Um, it looks to be the main hall of the building with hallways splitting off in different directions. The two wooden doors, as I mentioned, they are currently closed on the uh, on the map's east and western sides of the room. Two large statues sit beside the gate in front of you, each of them diligently standing, sword in hand, as if defending the way farther in. You hear footsteps echoing from farther, as you see several figures all appear, standing on the other side of the gate, as they all look in, the one uh, one that comes through the door on the western side, walking up towards the lot of you, the one that appeared to have been helping you before, he looks at the wagon. Hey, so, you said there's silk. Uh, how many people do you think we need? The top floor is not really that heavily staffed right now, so we only got myself and these guys. What, well, is everything understaffed at the moment? I'm getting tired of it. Oh, this place doesn't usually need many people, but now seeing as that we have a few different prisoners down there now, it would be nice to have a few more than usual. Who knows what they're gonna do. But, I mean, the downstairs is guarded by the people it usually is. It's just, it'd be nice to have more than four people running this tiny castle we have down here. I hear you. Uh, look, it's just silk. I, I think I can handle it. I just want to get it all out and then go to bed. Hey, listen, I get it. You're tired. I tell you what. Why don't you get off? You go ahead to the, uh... You go ahead to the barracks, you get some sleep. We'll unload this for you. Mmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -oh. I don't think I've seen you before, by the way. I don't think I've seen you either. He, he goes to get off the, off of the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, um, uh, yeah, the carriage. Got there? My name's Trosia. Yeah, I got there eventually. <sighs> he looks over. <sighs> Quintus! Qu Quintus? Mm. All right. It's not often I see a member of the Zugaikin I don't recognize. Guys! Do you recognize him? You just hear, no, I don't. No, absolutely not. I've never seen him. No, I think I have. I think I've seen you. Just from one of, one of them that are inside. Okay, well. There's not that many of us, so it's strange. 
Roll me deception, would you? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Please, random other guy. I'm, I'm very happy that you've seen me before. <laughs> I got one of those faces, you know. <laughs> got one of those. I have a good eye for people. Uh... Yeah, I guess. We all get rotated out and sent to different places at different times. I guess I just haven't bumped into you before. Anyways, yeah, um... The, uh... Have you been here before? Once, but uh, I wasn't in my right mind at the time. But, uh... I think he's just, like, looking around. They're probably gonna send me here every now and then from, from what I'm thinking. It might be best for me to understand exactly where to put everything, don't you think? Yeah, the stuff you brought we're just gonna take downstairs real soon. Um, unless All right. beyond that, uh, if you want to go take a load off, he like points to the eastern wooden door. I just head through there and uh, head down the hallway at the end is where the barracks are. I don't know if you've been there before, but it's the big old room we all sleep in. You see him like look out. You see him like look over to the guy that said that he's seen him before. Hey, uh, what's your name? Mine. Yeah, you said you'd seen me before. I just... I feel rude. Ah. I am Hyben Vrow. Well, nice to see you again, apparently, Hyben Vrow. Uh, I, uh... No, I believe I... I am pretty sure I was stationed at the castle briefly with you. The last time the young lord needed an additional protection. No, I'm fairly certain. Hmm. Well, he, like, just, uh, steps off to the side. As if he's like waiting, and he's just like gonna like step off as if he's waiting for the other four to like come in and start taking his stuff away. <sighs> More bear off, make sure that everything is, is uh, well, set forward. I don't wanna have him down my throat after everything, and just let me at least see you guys take it out. Yeah, certainly. Uh, I guess you guys might as well open the main gate then, yeah? No reason taking all this stuff all the way around. You see Hybenvrau, the one that you've been talking to, uh, walks up and walks back behind some walls behind the gate. You hear the uh, pulling of a lever and mechanisms begin to move. As they do, the large gate that is in front of you, blocking your way forward, begins to rise up and disappears into the structure wall. You rode a carriage before? You want to lead it in? Yeah, sure. He jumps up onto the carriage. You guys get over there. We'll wait to take everything down. He's just like looking back there like as soon as we're in, I'll be taking him out, take him out, take him out. And he does not, he's not saying it, but he's like super hoping. <laughs> as he begins okay. to move it in, you guys all feel the carriage being moved. Um, all of you. I'd like all of you at this point that are in the carriage, please roll me stealth checks. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. I'm just, follow, I'm just following beside the, the carriage. Do we get advantage? Oh, yeah. Not this time. You were in the dark last Damn. time. Oh, I'll be on what, if, you. what if I begged? What oh. if I begged you for, in, for oh, uh, nice. advantage? Oh, God. <laughs> get on your knees. Come on, Slat. Come on. Fenner, it's huge! <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember so how to hide. <laughs> It's Fenris, so you I recall in a past life. No! I, I recall in a past oh, life that I was. That I was a sneaky snake. <laughs> All right. Uh, I remember playing hide and seek with my kids. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's your current life. Still. <laughs> as it begins. No. As it begins to move forward, the carriage and the oxen prepare to move. Uh, they shift towards the gate as they do. Uh, a small, uh, unleveled part of the floor causes the back of the wagon to buckle up slightly, and when it does, the sloshing and clanking of plates of armor can be heard from the back of it. As they do, as they happen, Trosia stops. You see him pull on the reins of the oxen. Hey, hold on! Hey, didn't you say? Now? Didn't you say you were bringing silk? Yeah, silk, some rations, things of that nature. He turns to the back, and you see him eyeing it, looking to the boxes. That wasn't the jangling of silk I heard. 
Are you serious right now? You said I could go and you said I could go and lay down. You go ahead. All right. He's like starts to make his way like like going off and uh, going off like uh, toward this way. Um, as he gets closer to the uh, to the thing, can I do something? What would you like to do? I would like to just bring out my rapier and strike the back of one of the oxen. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Trying to get them to just rush inside. <laughs> so we're gonna do a couple of things here. Uh -oh. First oh, no. of all, as you do, first of all, roll me an attack roll. <laughs> Are you gonna kill one of these oxen just by stabbing him in the butt? Look, I'm I'm, I'm stabbing him in the ass non-lethally. Lol, <laughs> <laughs> good old stab to the ass. That'll do it. Do, 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 do. They're not Hi, ass. They're oxen. <laughs> so you hit it. Uh, as you strike, uh, you lash out and you strike the oxen behind, leaving a shallow wound. It. It reels up for a second and lets out a bellow as the, uh, as Trosia on it tries to pull back on the range. He's like, oh, hold on! What are you doing? As you do that, I'd like you to please roll me, roll me an intimidation check against the oxen. Yes! Nice. Oh, I'm not very good at that. Let's You're go! You have advantage. <laughs> I do have advantage. Yeah. Come on. Da, 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 da. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. As you do way. so, the oxen hits the ground and starts to try moving forward. But as you have two of them, we're gonna have an athletics contest between the two oxen. I'm gonna let you roll for your. I'm gonna let you roll for the scared oxen, okay? Uh, okay. No. Just roll me a d20. Oh, uh, let's go. Roll well. Come on! Oh! oh! <laughs> Yeah, we listen to tag. Tag. <laughs> Oxen gains two style points. Nice. It begins <laughs> to buckle. You, As it does, uh, one of them begins to pull. The other one briefly tries to pull away from it, but then gets startled into moving along the same path with it. They both begin to rush forward. Those of you in the back, you begin to hear it. Uh, you begin to hear it moving, and uh, you hear, you feel the wagon under you jostling and bouncing you up and down. As it happens, Trusty's like, I don't know it yet. Quickly, close the gate! As this happens, you guys feel yourselves rushing forward. Those of you that are in the carriage, I'd like you all to just roll D100s, just individually. Okay. Just give me some D100s. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, yes, Mr. DM. No, I was one away. I was yeah. one away. <laughs> <laughs> Damn uh, it. I'm sorry, Flux. <laughs> oh, that's a roll it. Okay, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe low is good. I'm sorry, no. Fenris. Maybe low oh, is no. As they oh. rush forward, as they, as it moves through the gates, you see one of the Zygaikin that is still standing behind the wall. You briefly catch them pushing a lever back up. The late, the gate mechanism uh, screeches and falls as the gate begins to fall on you. The gate strikes the back of the carriage as you guys are moving through it. Those of you that got over a 50 on that, you will end up on the other side. Those of you that got under, you are on the uh, the same side as Nemric. Ooh. So, okay. Fenris, Flux. Uh, Fenris it. and Flux. The others, as it strikes down on it, it rips the wagon in half, destroying the base of it. As it does, some of you are cast off behind that gate. As it slams down into the ground, the others, you roll out, I'd like those of you that uh, fell, all of you, please make me a dexterity save as well, and that's the last thing I'm gonna have make you do. I had to get some of you in. There's only four of them. You guys can got. You guys got this. Would you have us make a dex save? Everyone that fell out How of did... the. Everyone, everyone that fell out of the wagon. Oh. Oh, okay, gotcha. I'm the rogue. I'm not. Come on. <laughs> a dex save. Yes. Okay. Oof. Oh no. Oh no. Tracks. Tag and Fenris, yeah. you two are going to fall prone oh, when you fall from it. Sorry? You two are going to fall prone. When the wagon is destroyed and you tumble from it, you guys are prone. The rest of you, you manage to land on your feet. As this happens, as you are separated, as the gate slams down, I'd like everybody to roll initiative. You see the Zugaikin members reach for their weapons. You see one that's farther inside. <laughs> Just be like... 
Oh. He must a turncoat, a traitor, yeah. butterflies. Prepare to defend the Bastille. Right. Is ah. motherfucking <laughs> Cyberon. I'm gonna is, yell to uh, the other side as well. Get them, Hyvern Brow. Is uh, is, <laughs> is the initiative a skill check? Uh, Initiative? Initiative's is not a skill. Check, yeah. It's an ability it check. Okay, it's not a skill it, check. No, it's an ability. Yeah, that's right. It's an ability. It's check. not. Okay, then I can't Logan. add my knowledge. That's from dexterity. Like. Yeah. May I please smelt my dice? <laughs> you, yeah, you don't have to ask me. <laughs> uh, but it's gonna there roll go. like that. Oh god. So. Three hundred twenty-four. I do. I do want to yell out. Get them, hype and brow. <laughs> roll me one final deception check. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Cody. <laughs> You're doing so well. I would like to throw in a D4. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, uh... Damn. Still a 16. Whenever you yell that to them, to him, he takes his weapon for a second, points it towards them, then looks over at you. Wait a minute. They were a ginger. <laughs> <laughs> you just see him like stand detail. there. You see him stand there looking at Hybron Brow and then just very, very, just like very like, like subtly, like the hair turns orange, the smiles. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> You'll pay for deceiving Hybron Brow. <laughs> Damn it, I thought I made a friend. <laughs> You certainly tried. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Mariam. It's a good effort. That's me. Uh, I need to check a bit of my notes real quick, but my uh, Mariam, my dude. Do, 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 do. Nemrick, you didn't roll it. Yes. Uh, initiative. In it, Nemrick, roll initiative. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're you right. might I'm get higher. You might get higher than the thing that's going. I'm a bad boy. I need, I need to do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh Nemrick, you are up first. Damn. You absolute uh, king. So, like, there's no... There, uh, we're inside of a building right now, right? Yes. Though the ceilings so, like, are very no high. It. The ceilings are, like, 30 feet high. Is there an over to this thing? Like, can I go over this no, thing? No, 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 no. Okay. The gate is, uh... The gate is... Yeah, it's flush with the wall. The gate coming oh. down is what destroyed the wagon. Oh, mm. okay. I missed that part. Sorry. Da, 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 da. I'm just gonna have him quickly rush down here and see if this is open then. Uh, that one is. It was left open whenever he came out through it. They said they can take them through this way! I'm gonna yell to Fenris and Flux and then just make my way in. Alrighty, you get to there. Uh, what you can see past there is um, when you get through the wooden door, you see the chamber ahead of you appears to be one of the uh, side circular towers. Uh, on the side of the Bastille, there is a ladder that heads up to the ceiling and seems to exit through a trap door that is up above. Beyond that, the angle that you're at, you can't see the extent of the hallway beyond. Gonna, gonna dash. Going in 20 more feet. Alrighty. As you exit and move beyond, uh, you see a relatively large open room. Uh, a one of the a wall seems to separate an area, making it into a small hallway. Up above you, to the north, you see a large again what it just appears to be corridor. Nothing of major note within it, but you do see there is a path that heads off to the east, breaking off from a bit up above you that seems to head and just goes around the gate, uh, goes around the room you were just in to head towards what I will refer to henceforth as the atrium. I will go ten more feet. That's as far as I can go. Okay. Uh, again, I'll just yell out to them as well, like after I say that. There's only four of them! <laughs> Avi. Roger, Roger. All right. As that said, uh -huh. um, I'm going to take your stealth checks off of you guys because you're uh, no longer stealthing as of falling onto the ground there. One sec, I'm just removing those. The extension that records your stealth checks is working now. Isn't that cool? Yay! Nice. I'm glad you got that working. Yeah, it's just a neat, neat thing to have stuff keep track of. Boop, boop, boop. 
Boop. And Lexi, you weren't hiding because you're not there. You see, so, the room that's ahead of you guys, Avi, mm -hmm. uh, the, there's a very large carpet that has been placed onto the floor. Um, you see up above it, the basically the entire, like at, at the same scale as the carpeted area in the center, there is a massive uh, skylight, just an opening in the ceiling that is just open air. And you can see several lights on the top of the Bastille building about 40 feet up. So, up a, 40 feet up above, generally, the edges of the carpet. Just imagine that um, there is a railing on the roof upstairs, and the entire room is... This room's more like a courtyard than it is like a room. Okay. You see a figure up on top. Actually, you wouldn't be able to see them. They're, they're outside your range, so they're going to make this with advantage. Do you hear the knocking of a bow? And an arrow flies at you from up above. God damn it. Uh-oh. It's gonna be rolled with advantage. That hits. Uncanny dog. Um, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Uncanny dog. <laughs> Uncanny dog. It fires at you. You see the flicker of several ethereal butterflies up in the darkness as the arrow careens towards you. You take no damage as you dodge out of the way of that one. Um, however... A second arrow is coming at you. Of course it is. Still from within the darkness, that one hits. Alright. As you get struck, you take... Eight piercing damage as an arrow strikes you, and as the arrow lands, you notice them to be of the same coloration as the arrows used by the crimson butterflies. We've got butterflies! Oh boy. And with that... That is going to be... Their turn, Flux. And then Aviana, you're on deck. Okay. Cool. Uh, the gate, can we see through it or is yes. it like completely solid? Gotcha. Then I'm going to pull out a gift from an old friend and uh, use the brazier of commanding fire elemental to just place a fire elemental by, uh, let's see, cography? Uh, <laughs> Alrighty. I'm just going to quickly yeah. go to the item, just real fast, to remind myself, because we use this seldom enough, I don't have it dedicated to memory. Um, use an action, speak the raise command, create con and cast Conjure Elemental. Okay, so make sure you put the effect on yourself for that. Uh, let's see, does it have an effect programmed? Uh, you have to cast Conjure Elemental, so you have to concentrate on it. Oh, there's the effect. Gotcha. Yeah. Effect. Boop. No, right. And I'll drop uh, concentration on uh, uh, enhance ability. Okay, so that is now off of. Uh... No, my charisma! I'm sorry, I don't want to have disadvantage at a time like this. Alright, so a regular, yeah, yeah, yeah. regular old fire <laughs> elemental appears. Uh, under your control, make sure you read Conjure Fire Elemental, just so you're familiar with uh, the exact nature of the control. Could you show me where you're putting it? Uh, yeah, let's stick them, um, like, right, like, on top of Cography. <laughs> Alright, Cography is way over back there. Uh, what is your dark vision? Like, what is the range? Uh, 60 feet. Okay. Because your vision should end about there. Does Conjure Elemental require you see the point that it's summoned? I believe so, but let me double check. Uh, Cography. Oh, actually, no. Sorry, the inner room is lit with torches. Uh, so it oh, is bright cool. enough that you can see them. Cool, cool. Okay. And just to make sure that is... Yeah, okay, that's within the range of the spell. Yeah, I'm just gonna put them on there. Which, uh, would that also start setting the, uh, the carpet on As fire? it is summoned, the carpet underneath it does begin to ember and you see it light up. It's not enough material to create a large fire, but you do see it beginning to burn. Heck yeah. So gonna... look, when, when does it appear in initiative? Uh, does it say if it goes at when you go, or does it roll on its own? Um, let's see here. And I'm going to give it the I think it rolls its own, because if you break concentration, then it'll just be like, and do whatever yeah. it wants. Yeah, you're right. Roll initiative for the elemental, which take, has its own turns. Fire elemental, one sec. I'm going to... Uh, so it rolled when I put it in. It got a seven. Ah, gotcha. 5.5 times 12. 25. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, that's as fast as a Taguchi. 
Wow. wow. Let's go. <laughs> By the way, I have decided that the command word is Bromar. <laughs> sure. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Alrighty. As a creature space on its turn, I'm going to say the creature, so the Kafefi up here, Kography, uh, he's going to take 1d10 fire damage immediately, since he's the fire elemental is entering its space. As you put it down, you conjure up flames that build up, like Howl's, like the, I can't remember the character's name, but like the heart of Howl. Oh, uh, um, the little ember boy in, the, in his, in his oh, house. Yeah. Calcifer? Uh, oh, yeah. Calcifer. 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 Sorry. Like Cal you. A little flame, like, Thank bubbles you. up like Calcifer. Calcifer. A small face appears on it, and then it leaps out from the brazier, scorches through the gate, Soars over as a series of flames that grow as they move and begin to form like a whirlwind around uh, Cography. As it does, it takes a larger form, the face becoming demented, more menacing, made out of discolorations in the flame. As it does, he takes seven points of fire damage as it appears on top of him. Excellent. Incredible. And also, he's going to be set to take more every round. Boom. Beautiful. You ever get in an argument with your campfire, and then your campfire fucking decks you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad time right there. Uh, that's my action, so I will use my movement to run toward the door like Master Nemrick said we should. Gotcha. You begin to run off towards it, hoping to follow him to get over there. With that, Avi, it is your turn. Woo! I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You. Oh, you guys Take are right there. Oh, you're so nice. I'm gonna scoot closer. I'm gonna stab him. Scooch on over here. <laughs> Scooch it on over. And I'm gonna take out Vox Victorian and go for some, some attacks on Trosia. Yeah. All right. I'm actually gonna. And before you. Oh my God! Don't worry about it. Oh. I was gonna see if he was should also have been prone, but you know what? It doesn't matter. You can't roll higher than that. You got a crit. Good job. <laughs> future attacks. You like matter. leap <laughs> as all this happens, as the arrows fly at you, you leap from the wreckage, dodge a couple of the arrows, and then as he's, he's standing, you quickly launch yourself over towards him and go ahead and apply sneak attack if you're gonna. If you're like <laughs> Yeah. This is exactly what I was hoping would happen whenever I was like, all right, get in the seat of the fucking thing, my dude. Like, get Let Avi fucking cut your head off. Uh, <laughs> take the damage. Uh, We're yeah. silks. <laughs> As you attack, you strike into him. Your blade digs into his chest. As he gets up, you see him disorient and be like, ha. There hasn't been an attack on the past yet. As you stab into him, he reaches out, stops your blade from digging from your rib cage up to his heart, and he just push it out of you. But you see him stumble back, blood gushing from the wound on his chest. Oh, darling, there's more where that came from. Innate. Where, oh, is he prone the for way? these attacks? Uh, no, I mean, you know, he's not That's prone. Okay. He got hey, crit on. He's been through enough. <laughs> he hasn't been through enough. <laughs> no, not yet. Uh, that did not did hit. That. Cool. Good thing I have more and crit stuff, so we're coming at you, baby. <laughs> Extra attack. That hits. Woo! Yeah. That feels woo. You deal another 12 damage to him? Nice. Mm -hmm. At this point, he's okay. scrambling, trying to reach to pull out his sword, but every time he goes to, you strike him, and he has to move his arm up to deflect you before he can manage to get his weapon out. Okay, so that was... Inave, an extra, and we have our crit. Biaw. That's a hit. Biaw. Ooh. Very good. Biaw. That's Obby. seven damage. That's that's a, that's an Avi. That's Avi damage. Obby. That's <laughs> Avi damage. <laughs> oh, okay, so I'm gonna. Avi use... doesn't know what the middle is. Yeah. I don't. I really don't. I'm either too much or too little. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna bone section attack, and I'm also gonna try to shove him prone. Alrighty. As part of critical flourish. Go ahead and just use that. So um. Mm. Avi. Avi. Still get on the ground. 
The yeah. dice give us that they take us away. Yep. Oop, I wrote a shooting throws into the wrong place. One sec, click. Uh, yeah, he... You try to shove him down, he does strike you away with his elbow before you manage to push him down. Um, well, that was just my offhand attack. As part of Critical Flourish, I can just knock him prone. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Then yeah, he is yeah. prone. That's what I'm going for. Yeah, then he is prone. Um, and I'm also, because I crit, I'm going to Fear of Slaughter. Okay. I think, the only one, I think the only one within range of you is Hyvenbrow. Hive and brow and Trojo. Hive and brow, you should have you should have fucking picked the picked the right side. <laughs> it's true. You should have been our friend. Cause my job now is to be scary, and I'm very good at that. Sometimes we're about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> the Trosia failed, and Hive and brow did not. You know he's a he's a brave brave boy. <laughs> I'll give it to him, but uh, be scared. Trocia, there you go. Scared, bruh. Now you, you have, you know, this advantage against me. Um, boys, fuck him up, and I'm gonna get around here and go up a little bit. Why does everyone just get away from tag? Because <laughs> I can do more things over here. Yes, but I could protect you. I don't need your protection. No, you do. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I no longer have disadvantage on fucking everything. For now. <laughs> For now. Okay, I'll mark the fear of slaughter. I bother, said Aviana. Yeah, uh, basically. As you move Stop forward. Stop at me, Dad. So, Avi, oh, as yeah. you begin to move up, another set of arrows is going to come at you from the dark. Okay. Firing in from up above. Now that is a 20. That hits. Uncannily dog, cause I've had a turn. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and apply it. Fires towards you. The arrow strikes, dealing one damage despite your uncanny dodge. Nice. And I'll, despite listen, your reduction. <laughs> I was at 69 health, bro. Why'd you have to take that from me? Sorry, I hate fun. Uh, another <laughs> arrow's gonna come <laughs> nice. at you. Nice. Uh, let's go. And that hits you. All right. Oh, no. Another arrow oh, strikes you, dealing... Nine points of damage this time. Nice. Okay. It's not that bad. Okay, okay. Hi, Ben Vrau. He's going to go. Hi, As he does. Let's see. He's going to look towards the two of you that are over there. Uh, you see him. Uh, he is one of the ones that wields lighter weapons. Uh, you see him draw out a short sword. He rushes towards you guys. Avi, he's ignoring you. I could have had something special. I'm also up 20 feet, so... Yeah. He <laughs> rushes fair. past and underneath you, draws his short sword as he does, takes out this capsule, crushes it in his hand, and seems to spread the powder that comes from it along his blade as he leaps towards uh -oh. to attack Mariam. Uh-oh. <gasps> Super uh-oh. Alrighty. We leave our squishies alone, thank you. And he is going... Uh -oh. Real quick, we're gonna see if the short sword attack hits you first. Uh, however, because he does have an ally near you, if he hits, he's going to do a little bit more. Pack he's also got pack tactics. If it doesn't roll on its own, I'm going to make it roll for it. It rolled on its own! Good job! That hits! I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to take the damage for him. Divine uh, Allegiance. Okay. Okay. So that'll, that'll, uh, could you read the effect to me? Because it matters right now if it says that the attack counts as hitting you, if you just take the damage for the attack. When a creature within five feet of me takes damage, I can use my reaction to substitute my own health for that of the target creature, causing it and causing that creature not to take the damage. Okay, so this first part then is going to go against you. Okay. The actual sword slash and the sneak attack damage that comes with it, those are both going to hit you. Okay, that's fine. He strikes, tag, you take... 15 points of damage, despite the many dice I just rolled, you take 15 points of damage <laughs> as it cuts into Mariam. However, Mariam, you were still hit by the attack. You're still going to have to roll against the poison. That's fine. I can deal with that. Okay. Con save. Uh, you succeed. So you're going to take half of it. Take half of half. Yep. Hopefully this uh, calculates nice. right. As it stabs into you, you still feel this burning toxin deal... 
Uh, and then it should have been half of that. Give yourself back three hit points. Uh, you're going to take a total of four points of damage. Nice. Right. <laughs> As poison, you feel it enter you and hurts you, but your armor protects you against it partially, and you shrug off the rest of it. With that happening, he's then going to go for a second attack. Let's see. Hey, I learned how to swing twice. <laughs> <laughs> he takes the short sword, and yeah, he's gonna go for another attack on you. He still has his buddy near you, so... I'm sorry, is, I can't take the one... I the chip in your one. sword, I'm gonna... Cutting words. Okay, go ahead. Uh, here, I'll just roll it since you already rolled. Minus seven. Nice. Your Is your AC higher than... 12? Yes. Nice. Then you're good. However! Surprisingly. However! <laughs> Oh, you dare attack a third time. I play my trap card. <laughs> Trosia on the ground looks up towards this as the attack uh, looks like it's about to miss. He's like, don't be distracted by them. Go. <sighs> Stay focused. And he's going to use his morale boost as a reaction. The uncutting words. He's going to I, roll 1d10 and add it to the attack. <laughs> Honestly, if it's higher than a two, he hits. It's a sixteen. He hits. <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm sorry. We can't use our things. He's not using our thing. He's using un our thing. You take another ah. eight points of damage. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't take that damage for you. Uh, it's I know okay. how much it hurts. It is the fire elemental's turn. Do you give it a? Do you give it like a course of action to do, or are you supposed to? Um, are you to have actually like controlled it? Uh, I think it's like verbal. Yeah, it obeys any verbal commands that you issue it. Okay, what would you like it to do? Uh, um, devour the guy you're on top of, and generally draw attention to yourself. Alrighty, it can do that. Uh -oh. It reels up, begins yelling bloody murder. You hear this, the sound of what sound like uh, a campfire embers mixed with the sweeping of wind and the crackling of a flame stirs and rises up in the form of a roar for this elemental. As the sound of a roaring flame sharpens to a high pitch that normally that sound would never crescendo into. But as it does, you hear this high-pitched wail as it barrels down, massive flaming limbs striking into the one underneath it. Alrighty. I'm gonna roll against him. Um... Get him. First attack. Get him. That is a miss. Rude. Damn it! Second attack. Get him! That one's a hit. Woo! Woo! And whenever he strikes him, uh, he's already on fire, but he's gonna do 2d6 plus 3 fire damage as he strikes him. As he begins burning him, he takes seven points. Um, the one that he's under is already on fire, so it's already going to take that ongoing damage when it reaches its turn. And that is going to be them. Going to their turn. They take ten points of fire damage from the ongoing fire damage. They take the maximum nice. amount. Did it skip my turn? No. I have the same initiative as the the fire elemental. A comical amount of people rolled seven in this fight. Okay, cool. <laughs> like, oh I, want to make sure. I didn't actually notice until just now, but there are one, two, three, four, five sevens. Oh my god! <laughs> what <laughs> the hell? Yep, lucky number seven. All right, this boy's going to get out. As you give him more, uh, pay him more attention, you notice that he appears to be dressed with the heavier weapons. He has the great bow on his person. Uh, he appears to be dressed like one of the ones that was leading the previous group. He is going to do two things. The first is he is going to take out an arrow that has one of the exploding talismans on it, and he is going to fire it at disadvantage, uh, but it doesn't matter for this particular thing. He's going to fire it... Where would it be? He uses the fire elemental to light the fuse. So that it explodes. Uh oh. Where can you see, friend? Hey, those are my boys. I'm gonna need you to stop that. Those are my boys. <laughs> yeah, those are my boys. He has that. to hit that. He's gonna fire it like so, so that Trelsia doesn't get hit. 
But, uh... <laughs> Hi, Ben Vrow is going to be yet. within it. Is it Hi, fires? Ben Fenris, uh, you're going to have cover, actually, but since I can't put it on... Oh. Or I can actually, I can throw it on you by doing this. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're behind the gate, so you're going to have two-thirds cover. That's good. You are prone, Hi, however. Ben Vrow, run! Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. This As this arrow happen. fires towards you, you guys all have flashbacks to the explosion that had destroyed uh, the Ryokan that you'd been in before. I need I to have flashbacks to the to all the good times I had with Hybern bro. <laughs> As he fire. Manny, Manny, no, no. <laughs> As he you fly. can't stop me no matter who you are. You all need to make a dex save. Here it is. What just happened? It. Oh, I targeted you with the wrong person. Wait! Wait! Whoops. Hold the phone! Wait! What? Wait! What? I'm waiting! <laughs> Can I burn? What a thing! Want to run around. that by me again? I'm going to burn a Times Embrace to have advantage on Dexterity. Because okay. I don't want to die. <laughs> okay, sorry. I forgot I had it, and then I remembered, and now I'm good. Okay, do your worst, DM. Yeah. fire damage. It's barely any I love all the weights. It was so great. <laughs> I didn't wait, want him to roll wait, it without me. Wait. No. Well, Fenris, I needed it. you succeeded. No. You drop. You're still prone. You're just lying there like, ah. <laughs> writhing as it hits the explosion makes its way out through uh, the grate. I'm actually I'm being a little bit generous giving you cover given how fireball works but it is what it is. Uh, it strikes, it expands out. Tag, you are the only one to fail, I'm afraid. <laughs> You're all gonna take a bit of fire damage. You all take 28 points um, except Fenris who takes 14 and Miriam who takes none. Moon. As they do that, that is part of their multi-attack. Uh, that is going to be one of those. Uh, as they as they do so, they are then going a uh, two. Uh, <laughs> they're going to focus on the boy in front of them. Uh, they after they fire that arrow, they drop their great bow to the side. They're going to take out an, an Odachi and they're going to make a single attack against the fire elemental. They strike, they hit him, he takes fire damage because he hit the fire elemental. As he does, he's going to deal. Seventeen points of damage as the Odachi is carrying sweeps through the fire elemental's form. My boy! <laughs> Leave him alone. This boy up here, he is going to... He's going to go ahead and decide to try to help his boss take on this fire elemental. He rushes over towards it, brings out his katana. You see him reach for the oil that they keep on their sides, but he looks at the fire elemental for just a moment and flux. You recognize that he decides not to draw it. He does not put the oil, the acidic uh, element that they normally put on their weapons. He seems to decide against using it against the fire elemental. As he rushes forward, he's going to strike with his sword. He's going to take one point of fire damage because he came in contact with the fire elemental. I'm going to then throw the ongoing fire damage on him as well as they both caught on fire. Good. Good. But he will do a bunch of slashing damage. Cuts into it. As he does, the slashing damage is reduced down to half because it's not using magical weapons. He cringes and recoils for a second, then comes in to make a second attack. Strikes towards it. And he gets a double 19. Wow. Oh. Deals another 2d10 damage as he strikes. He deals 11 damage to the elemental. Finally, Trossi is going to go. Ah. Let <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> go. <laughs> Trossi is going to stand. After seeing the blast of flame erupt in front of all of you, uh, he's going to stand. I'm going to remove the pointers. As he stands, he is going to... Coat his weapon in oil. And he's going to make two katana attacks against Mariam. No, no. No, no. As he's frightened, no, no. he will not have advantage because he's getting disadvantage from being frightened. Uh, he does roll a 22, however, and he does hit. 
Oof. Bleh. Alrighty. You're going to take the slashing damage first. You take 2d10. You take 21 points of slashing damage. Ow. As he almost maxes it out, then you're going to take a bit of acid. You take 3 points of acid damage. He's going to go for a second katana attack. Strikes towards you! That one is also a hit. You are a squishy bard. It's not hard to hit you. As he strikes, you take 10 more points of damage. You do All not take right. the acid damage on the second attack. It looks like it's only good for the first each round. With that, uh, he's not going to try to run away or anything, given where he is. But uh, at the end of his turn, he will do the wisdom save. And he will fail it. He is still frightened. Good. Tag! Your turn! Miriam, you're on I deck! Stand up! Oh. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm gonna pull out my sword. I'm gonna bonus Alrighty. action. Uh, I'm gonna use my form of dread. Okay. Hell yeah. You gain 12 temporary hit points. Cannot be, you cannot be frightened, and I believe you can inflict fright on people when you hit them, yes? Yes. Yes. When I hit them, yeah. And that's with any attack, too. Like, so, yeah. if I Eldritch Blast somebody, or hit them with my sword. So, speaking of, I'm going to hit Hive and Brow over here. <gasps> All right. Brow. Traitors to the end, I see. Yeah. That is a hit. Twenty-three definitely hits. All right, I'll put a I'll put a divine smite on this one. Okay. Wait, no, I've been rounds with us. He's a good guy. He's a what? Totally. <laughs> 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 he was a good guy. He was. <laughs> As you, you deal 27 points of damage to him as you bring your weapon down, the ice fills with radiant energy. As it strikes, it takes on this snow-like quality as a flash of what feels cold but is radiant damage strikes him. Mm -hmm. You see him recoil. He's gonna make a save to be frightened. He is frightened. He's a scared boy. Yeah. Uh, unless he can't be scared. Uh, no, they that can't be. frightened, so... The Even if they be... couldn't be, okay. I would probably not have told you. That's fair. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. And then, um... I guess did, second did you, uh... Do you have yeah. a failure effect to apply to him? Oh, like, did I... Oh, frightened? Yeah, hold on. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, he's frightened until the end of my next turn, I believe. Gotcha. Alright, second attack. Second verse, slightly less than the first. He hit. All right. Uh, do I do I dare divine smite him again? He's on your side. Uh, he is on my side. Yeah. I guess I want to divine smite him this turn. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. He takes that much. He takes sixteen more points of damage. Right, then um, I'm going to stay next to Miriam. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that you? Yeah. Miriam, Fenris, you're on deck. Hi, bro. The Sugai can hear have all turned against Ravisimont. There's a plot against their life. It's Lord Baroth. You have to trust us. I'm going to cast Charm Person. <laughs> yeah! Oh, yes! oh, my oh, my God. Oh, my God. He has I... advantage. <laughs> yes, he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> because we are super fighting them right now. <laughs> so, what kind of save? See is the that? light, Hive and Brow. Uh, See the light. Wisdom save, right? I'm a hit advantage. Do you have a thing to roll against him? Dragon? Yeah. <laughs> See the light, Hive and Brow. Come on. He yes. succeeds. Oh, oh, right, never mind. Oh. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Um, I'm going to... They fucked me up pretty bad. Uh... <laughs> See, that's my action for that. Bonus action. 
I'm going to... I'm going to cast... Uh, or no, 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 I'm not going to cast. I'm going to give... Um, let's give Fenris some bardic inspiration. Can I see them? Well, I guess yes. Them. Yes. Yeah, okay. It's a like a yes. graded gate. It's a I feel so inspired. Metal, thick metal bars and such. Can I just come over here and hit him, please? <laughs> it's my turn. <laughs> Alrighty, Fenris, your turn. Um, Fenris will put a hand on the gate in distress before immediately being like, "Oh," and she's gonna miss. Oh, did stuff. I tell you by the way? What? Um, in compliance with. For, so Monsters of the Multiverse came out, and a whole bunch of races got uh, retooled. Um, I am going to adapt some of your characters to some of the changes made, if they seem appropriate, and in future we'll just probably use the Monsters of the Multiverse races, like, bread builds. But um, the one change that happened that I put on you, Fenris, is your shadow uh, path. No longer is based off of, what was it before? It's like your wisdom or something? Uh, no, yes. your... It's through charisma, I think. I can't remember. Now it's based on your proficiency bonus. So you get four of them now. <laughs> yes, more! I missed these steps. I might actually make yeah. some videos about uh, the multiverse stuff I was thinking oh, about. It didn't let me go because yeah, the there's closed, a gate. but I, I blew. I assume I, you do I, this in such a way that you don't need to stand from being prone. You just disappear, reappear, standing. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I want to be... Well, that works too. No complaints. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna fucking hit him. Alrighty. With my hammer. You guys are just in our way. That's a hit. Move Hell aside yeah. so we can get past you. Yeah. Ooh, and, and that's him. All right. <laughs> as he brings his weapon up as if he's about to strike Mary again, you appear in the shadows, yell at him, bring your hammer up, strike him. You hear the cracking of bones as he's lifted off the ground and slides back down on the floor behind you. <laughs> kill Cam. Nice. Nice kill. And that's my turn. Bunners is just going to huff very All right, so Lexi, it's your turn. <laughs> Aw, insult to injury, man. Nemrek, your turn. Let's go. Be, 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 be. Some granite falls from the roof. <laughs> Lexi's like, ah. <laughs> yes, I can see him. Oh, help. Yes, I can see. <laughs> I can fight. <laughs> Hi, Bimbrow. We could have had something. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a ya. You fire. That hits. Aya. Do you fire a great arrow at him? It strikes, <laughs> dealing eleven points of damage as this large spear like arrow hits him from the side. He turns for a second with a look of confusion in his eyes, and then you see his eyes narrow. What might have been misjudged camaraderie <laughs> becomes betrayal. Oh. Becomes venomous. Oh. I look away very slightly, but then I, I am allowing. I look away. Very, I look away very slightly, but then I look back with a with a, with newfound determination. Hiya! <laughs> you fire. You miss. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> Apparently not. Your your determination was not strong enough. Shoot well, me. it's time for use of my <laughs> virtuous flora. I'm gonna go for a bonus action attack. Get him! <laughs> Get him! Aya. You fire. You miss oh my again. God. Ah, I can't I can't kill Hyman Brow. I can't do it. <laughs> I'll love I, just, I just can't. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Alright. Bonus action, action movement. <laughs> I just can't do it, Pa. I just can't. Where's the other one? I have to keep track of where they are up there. Cool. Minimize, move that to the side. I have a whole other map I have to use right now that you guys aren't on, but I have to keep track of. Heck in. Oh no. Alright, Nemrick. As your turn ends. Avi. You're going to be attacked by more arrows. Fucking course I am. See, oh. This is why you should have stuck next to Tag. No. More arrows from why? the darkness. I fly can't do towards you. About it. Oh, that should have had advantage. So I'm gonna roll it again. Hey! Hey! <laughs> that hits! Woo! 
You take 2d10 points of damage as more arrows fly at you from the darkness. You take 20 points of damage. And then Ow. another set of arrows flies towards you. Oh, this sucks. And they hit. Fuck Bobby, you! You're getting riddled with arrows in the air as these things fire in from the darkness. You take another 11 points. God. What a bitch. Flux. Alright. Avi, you're on deck. Uh-huh. Uh... Uh, what? Yeah, even if I dash, I can't do much this turn. So let's use my action to summon my turret. Do uh, my force ballista. Okay. Pop him up on my shoulder. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Aviana. Uh, tag, Mother. you're on deck, but all the other sevens go before you. Yeah, I'm old. Mother <laughs> And they're just up there, open skylight. If I were to fly up, could I get to where they're hitting me from? You don't know where they are. Can't answer that. Whores. <laughs> if you got within 30 feet of them, you would be able to see them. Okay. Ah. The nature. A dark vision. Yeah, because I only have 30 feet. Uh, um, I'm I'm going to go up as high as I can. And you said the roof of this place is 40 feet up? Yep. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm going to get up to 40 feet. Okay. As soon as you're up top, I'm going to give you a different map. I'm going to give this to everybody, whether or not you feel you need it. Uh, keep it up or not. I'm going to go ba-boom. And I'm going to throw Avi on this. Avi, you would be right about there. You're on the bottom edge, so you'll be able to see in a sec, Avi. I'm on the roof, I'm on the roof, I'm on the roof. Why are you getting further away from Tag? <laughs> because I need to hit the things hitting me. You're a fool. You would be about there. I, have you met Aviana? As you get up to the top, you see it is lit well enough from the back that although from below it's difficult to see anything, you do see the two crimson butterflies. Um, I'm going to move this so it's more over... Here-ish. Hopefully I can balance these two maps. <laughs> you should see them on yours. Okay. I look like this. And you're up 40... You said you went up to 40 feet, right? So you yeah, are... Up to 40. You are at the level of that, uh, that grating. There also. One of them is raised slightly elevated. They're on a, a stand that seems to uh, sit... Um, the, the circular thing that they're standing on seems to be set up so someone could stand higher up on it and address everybody in the room below. So they are elevated somewhat. The other one is standing at normal elevation. Bow's drawn. Okay. I... I could try to fuck him up, but I look like ass, and if I take a shitload of damage, I'm gonna fall. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do a smart bird thing here. I'm gonna use four of my demonic regenerations. Okay. To get a little boost, but I don't want to burn all of them because I need it later. Okay, so that One, takes two, three. That takes four, four of your HD. I'll get rid of those for you. Yes, yeah, so that'll be sixteen back. So I'll take that. That's my action. Um. Can't really do anything else, but I could. Cause I went up forty. Cause it's grating, so I can't get higher than I am. Yeah. No, you can. It's in a totally open skylight. Oh, okay. I'm saying Sorry, that you'd be the... you'd be on level like you'd be on the same level as the railing. Like you're you're yeah, on par with like turrets. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. These boys. Yeah, I'm gonna get up and just kind of perch. Alrighty. We'll say that you're at 45 feet then, since you'd be on top of those. Mm -hmm. Just so that I don't fall. Is that you? <laughs> I'm... Yeah, that's action. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, one of them begins. They're going to... They begin running around the side, and they're gonna go... Boom. Down 30. As they rush towards you, they take out their bow, they're going to continue firing at you. They are not going to have advantage against you anymore. Mm-hmm. 
So they fire. Longbow shot the first as it flies towards you. That one misses. Okay. You manage to deflect it. You bring one of your wings down and you strike it, knocking it off angle as it flies towards you. The second arrow also misses. You dodge out of the way of that one entirely. <sighs> Alright. I've been Rao's going to go. And I'm gonna minimize this map and move it to the side. Alright, hi, Ivan Rao. I've been doing some thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he is going to go ahead. He takes out another one of those pellets. Ah, Sma now. <laughs> smashes it upon his weapon. Not too. <laughs> uh, and he is going to uh, make an attack. He's going to focus on who he was focusing on. He's going to go for you, Mariam. He strikes. Why did you have... Oh, because he's frightened. And he doesn't have a friend around. I was going to be like, ooh! Cool. So that made him drop a 20. Thank you, Taguchi. <laughs> However, he still hit you. So. I guess he, you. <laughs> he's going to do his base damage. He strikes you, dealing 9 damage. And then you are going to make a constitution save against the other poison damage. Ba boom. <gasps> of which you're going to have. You're, now, it didn't properly do it last time. Let's hope it does it this time. You take 4d10 poison damage as it strikes into you. Uh, give yourself back 4 points. You will take 5 damage total from the poison. Nice. I don't know why it's not doing the second resistance. That can, might just be 2 resist effects don't stack. I don't know. As it hits you, he is then going to he's right. going to attempt to run. Oh, hell no. Oh, that's cute. He already Give used it. And he already used his bonus action, so he... He turns to try to flee. You guys can attack him. Uh, I'd say marry him and tag. He'd be within range for you two to attack. As he leaves the space, I'm gonna cast Hold Person on him. Alright! <laughs> Go for it! Uh, where are you level two spell? That's fair. He nat once. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Get him, tag! As you do, as he turns to leave, he freezes up, and you see him falteringly trying to speak. You see him trying to find uh, specific words. He keeps repeating the same phrase under his breath as the uh, paralysis prevents him from forming proper words. I'm actually going to have him roll to see if he can form a quick sentence while he's paralyzed. Going to have it be, let's say it's a charisma check. You hear him just muttering, We have. Uh, uh, you. F f we. we uh, sure. You. F and he keeps trying to form the same words over and over, but the paralysis locks up his body and he can barely move his jaw. So, with him paralyzed, uh, that's going to be the end of his turn. Fire Elemental's going to go. Oh, do I get an opportunity attack if he's. Technically, I would have stopped him? Oh, it's as yeah. he exits. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's as they exit. Um. Be like so we'll say he would have been like there so sure if tag if you want to make an attack against him go ahead sure all right hold on i will also note i'm gonna have to put paralysis back on him because as soon as his turn ended i rolled again you would have had advantage I mean, okay, it's gonna be a crit uh, way, go right? ahead and mark crit, because when his turn ended, he succeeded on the hold person. Um, oh, so yeah. it's not marked on him, so just mark crit before you roll your damage. Alright, we're just gonna, uh, real quick, uh... Oh, I, I need to second level Divine Smite on this. I need... <laughs> right, I'm just to Resisting the Paladin's urge to crit Divine Smite yeah. whatever possible. <laughs> it's, it's more dice, goblin, I can't it not... Needs to die. <laughs> <laughs> cool. It's gonna be so juicy though. Explode him, Tag. From one pallet into another. I get it. Oh! He takes 66 points of damage, and as you hear him form the words, We assure you! As he seems to be trying to project them down the hall, you bring your blade in on him, and a flash of white divine energy strikes him, and he falls to the ground. Oh. Living yeah. text. 
livid indeed. Bag, I turn away. Too much. <laughs> I'm in proud. I, I probably didn't need to second level that you shit. Did, you did not need, need to do to. nearly that much damage. But it's but it was glorious <laughs> nonetheless. The fire elemental's <laughs> going to go. He's going to go ahead and continue attacking. He's going to keep focusing the person you told him to. Yeah. Goes for another attack on Cography, and this one hits! Yeah! Alrighty. Cography gets struck with a wave of flame. He takes... Nine points of damage. The Fire Elemental then goes for its next attack, which misses. However, if I understand this feature correctly... It is going to do a quick little shimmy. It's going to go up and over slightly, <laughs> sweeping around yeah. them to do the small amount of fire damage it's capable of doing. Every little bit counts, man. Good boy. Keeping their attention. They each take six points of fire damage as it enters their space, then exits from it. Cography, who is going to take another ten points! He's doing so bad with that ongoing fire Ooh. damage. Hell yeah. <laughs> he sees... Uh, he sees... Um, the, the soldier that was battling the others get destroyed after he hears the beginning of the yell. You see him reel back. He takes out one exploding arrow. He aims it down towards where you all are. As he does, you see him yell, Haven't had to use this in a while. We usher you forward! And he fires the explosive arrow down towards the group on the bottom. Merriam, Fenris, and Tag, you're being targeted with it. To burn another child embrace to have... So, <laughs> as I said before, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Okay, do your worst. Okay. Help. <laughs> wow, Fenris, it almost meant nothing! Oh, guys. Another explosion resounds from where you guys are. You take... Uh, Fenris, you take 14. Tag, you take 17. And Mariam, you take none. As it explodes. Perfect. As it... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna smelt my dice real quick. <laughs> <laughs> like, fair. you guys are enjoying that. Now my dice are gold. After he fires it and the explosion subsides, there's a massive eruption of force and noise that causes the structure to shake as the fireball erupts. Um, as it clears, though, you find there is a rumbling to the building. Little bits of debris are moving, vibrating on the ground as something in the structure itself begins to awaken uh, after he had called out the phrase, we usher you forward. Your eyes are drawn forward to the end of the chamber, off beyond where the Zygaikin soldiers are. At the northernmost point of the chamber, standing beside a large door in the center of the far wall, you see a massive statue that had just appeared ornamental, just appeared to be part of the structure. This uh, this being that looks like a Kahulian warrior, uh, dressed in full armor that would be a very at home on Elmira or Keen. You see the statue begin to twitch. You see its hand loosen. Bits of dust and... Um, grime fall from it as it starts to move seemingly for the first time in perhaps generations as this massive stone golem erupts from its place sat in the wall and begins to move forward he's going to roll initiative and it is now on the Swear combat God, tracker <laughs> alright so we need to roll it off of something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cography used his attacks for that. He is going to... Um, he will have dropped his weapon so he could pick back up his bow and done that. Uh, the other one's going to go. He's going to take nine points of ongoing fire damage. Woo. And then he is going to go for two katana attacks on the fire elemental. He hit. He takes four points of fire damage. He strikes towards them. I did not put that on. The Fire Elemental takes 11 points of damage, reduced down to 5. Strikes at it again with his katana. He gets a crit. No, but, no. but he takes 8 damage. As he cuts into it, he's going to deal... 33 reduced down to 16 points of damage as he drives oh. his blade straight through the core of it, then sweeps it out the side. And that said, 
Tag, it's your turn. Mariam, you're on Roski's deck. Roski's head strong. Flamey boy is doing so good. Keeping all of us safe. I move forward a bit here. Then, uh... I'm going to... Target... Uh, Izzed here and cast Eldritch Blast. Alrighty. Rush forward. Energy crackles, fires from your hands. That hits. Alright. You deal seven points of damage to them. Alright, he's gonna make a save real quick. And that, that is a failure. Nice. So he's okay. afraid of you now, yeah? Yes. Go ahead and apply the effect. All right. And then I'm going to target uh, Kography and with the other blast. Gotcha. You can only frighten one creature per round, right? Uh, is there I a limit? I think it had that, but I'll check. Okay. I just remember something about that. Oh yeah, it's once per uh, once per turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then um, oh, never mind. Then I guess I'll I'll keep targeting Izd. Okay. Nice. That hits. Last. Wham! You deal nice. nine points of damage. Good job, Tag. Proud of you. Is that all of his rays? Uh, I'm going... Yes, that's all of his rays. And then bonus action, I'm going to create a uh, potion of greater healing from my dragon vessel. Okay. And that's going to be my turn. It rolled a six, not a seven. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> the stone golem. Man! The stone golem is going to begin. First thing it's going to do is turn towards the fire elemental. Oh. It's going to stomp towards it. This massive construct's footsteps echoing through the hallways, shaking the structure as its massive amount of weight uh, collides with the floor. As it moves, for a second, it looks like it's about to draw the massive stone katana that's in one of its hands, but it just takes it and it hurls it to the side. It smashes against the wall and breaks into stone pieces as it reels back and punches the fire elemental. Oh. Oh. Elemental kaiju battle! It hits. The fire does affect it. It deals... 22 points of damage to the fire elemental. Ugh. It then... Finds its stance again, brings another one of its hands up, moving almost in slow motion for how much weight is behind it as it moves. It uppercuts through the elemental, striking it. Hitting again. Dealing. 14 more points of unreduced damage. You see the Fire Elemental's body moves back as if it had a more solid form as these hits uh, don't seem to pass through the flame harmlessly as much as collide with the essence of this elemental. As it moves back, it then reforms and hisses back towards the Stone Golem. Mariam, your turn. Fenris, you're on deck. Mm, um... I just really wanna. I'm gonna go over here and just open the door. <laughs> <laughs> you move over there. Uh, as you do. That. As you go to that lever and pull it. Where are you? Dun, 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 dun. I just want to assume that by this point our oxen just like ran off in this direction or something. As you go to pull it, as you push the lever up, Mariam, you find it doesn't have any effect on the gate. Huh. Science. You saw that there were, when you were coming in, you guys briefly saw that there were two large mechanisms on the roof that were used to affect both of the gates. You would, with, you pretty readily realize this one's probably like an emergency close that can cause it to crash down by releasing the mechanism, but it cannot pull the gate up. All right, I turn and I cast Polymorph on Taguchi. <laughs> Whoa. And what shall he become? Mm. Where's my coin? <laughs> Join the kaiju battle tag. 
I will become a turtle. No. <laughs> like a big turtle though, like like a big old turtle. Like the like tiniest like a... turtle you've ever seen. No. Like a dragon turtle. He is now Toguchi Rex. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead and cast it on him. Target and. As he moves forward, his features begin to shift and change. His body grows, the texture of his armor changes into a scaly one, and his massive form becomes this massive T-Rex that, Avi, where you are with the crimson butterflies, you see its head pop out the top as it roars. And, uh, I think that... I think that just interacted with the aura effect in a weird way. I probably. Uh, I think so. <laughs> it made everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks like it gave it to everyone and then it removed it from everyone. Weird. Huh. Strange. Anyways, then I'm going to use five feet to move it a step there and five feet to move it to get a step around the corner because fuck, fuck, fuck everything in that room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I see Miriam's playing. Got it. Listen, I, I made a T-Rex, leave me alone. <laughs> I was complimenting you, asshole. Everybody lets uh, you to jail, quickly becomes a T-Rex and turns back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all Miriam can do right now. Alrighty. Fenris. Oh boy, okay. Um, This changed a lot since my last turn. Im... Okay, 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 all right. I'm, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm still absorbing the fact that Tag is now a big dinosaur. Uh, I run over here, and then I'm going to target Izzt, mm -hmm. and I'm going to throw a javelin at him. Mm-hmm. Yeah! Did it roll? No, it didn't. That's a little disappointing. <laughs> Calls for a gentle touch. Ippy. Does does that does not hit? Ah oh, nuts. Um. What do I do? I'm going to use a bonus action healing word and heal Miriam at mm, base level. Sorry, homie. You have to be able to see him. Aw, oh, man, that's so true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It's okay. I'm probably safe. Uh, you say that till you're not. Um. <laughs> hmm. Do I do anything with my I think that's my turn. All right. In that case, back up to the top. Nemrek, your turn. You heard a T Rex roar come from within the area and then that's you saw weird. Merriam flee is what oh. you saw <laughs> well there's obviously a T-Rex killing him uh, I will make my way over cause you know that's that's interesting um, and uh, upon seeing said T-Rex uh, I'm not gonna fucking fight that um, I do Do I see Avi like up in, up in the sky uh, from the angle you're at you wouldn't be able to see up there okay uh, da, da, da. Blah, 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 blah. What do I have on me? Not a ton for murder, uh, murderifying things. I'm gonna move further in. Da, da, do. Uh, again, being wary of the T Rex, I don't know what the fuck that thing's doing here. Um, we're gonna go over through here. Okay. Uh, and, uh,. Kind of be in front of Miriam because I see that he's he's dying and I can't allow that. Uh, and uh, that is unless I have any bonus action, that might be me. Do I have any good bonus action heckin spells? I don't think I do. I could swift quiver. I'm gonna swift quiver so that my next turn I can I can start shooting the fuck out of things. Sure. In that case, one of the crimson yeah. butterflies is going to go. Uh -huh. One of the ones that's up there. It is going to remain basically where it is. It's going to get to the center of there. It's going to keep firing at you, Aviana. What? Regular Crazy. attacks. No advantage. Shouldn't have advantage. Why do you have advantage? Is there something on you giving them advantage? Uh, they shouldn't. 
Oh, you have advantage. Oh, you see, they gain advantage if they see T-Rexes. Ah, oh, that, that makes sense. I forgot about that rule. Oh, it's because of pack tactics. But you are not around any allies of theirs, so we're going to ignore that. Um, ba 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 Uh, so that would have been the first eight. So does a 16 hit you? It does not. All right. Second attack's coming at you. Let's see if it does pack tactics again. Yep, it seems to think yeah, someone's beside you. Does a... Nope, nope, both arrows go wide. They don't hit. <sighs> okay. Flux. Avi, you're on deck. Okay. Alright. Hard to see the shadows. Um... Yeah, I'll have to action dash. Getting like... Ah! Where did I go? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Well, this has taken an unexpected turn. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you are. Yeah, I'll take a shot at uh, Izzed with no, my right. uh, with my turret. I would say through the T Rex, he would have cover. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I don't really have a better target. Though, Do so you I'm ignore supposed... cover? Don't you have like sharpshooter? With my, uh, it's not sharpshooter. My uh, my arcane firearm lets right. me ignore that, but my turret isn't a shot through my firearm. Ah. Yeah, if it's a save, it wouldn't matter. Well, I guess it would matter actually. So whatever action you take, just make sure you press cover beforehand. Cover, cover. Ah, oh, there it is. Uh... Music. You're louder than me. Okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna go turn up Izzy music. Jeez. New attack. <laughs> That's a hit! Heck yeah! Get patchouled! You fire! They take 11 points of damage. Noise. And it'll, it'll shoot him five feet back, but he's kind of wedged into some. He pursuit. slams into the stone golem <laughs> and then rebounds onto his feet, winded. Heck yeah. Alright. Get them, my fiery son. And that is my turn. Excuse me. <gasps> Bless you, my fiery son. <laughs> Sorry, ignore that. Accidentally clicked that. Fuck? Okay. <laughs> Dinosaur back. Yeah. yeah, that's my turn. Alrighty. Avi. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Tyrannosaurus yeah. tag, you're on deck. <laughs> you know. Tagosaurus Rex. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. I like to think so. All right. So, bonus action. Flash victorious to the speech. Alrighty. I, I, I was like, am I, am I muted? Nope. Nope. I was just messing with maps. No, it's all good. I just, ha I just had to make sure. Because <laughs> I'm me, for I am Hayden. That is um, true. Since I'm at 45, I'll go down to because I'm right beside her, and I'm going to make my first attack with advantage because Flash Victorious. All righty. All righty. <laughs> oh, I'm just real happy to be back. Anyway, yeah. New attack. That's a miss. Avi, Aviana. Aviana. Aviana Colish. Aviana Colish. Colish. <laughs> All right. Uh, innate dexterity attack coming at you, baby. You strike, that one's a hit. Woo! I nope. don't have snack. Nope. Because... Why? Oh, I can not hit on your fucking... Oh, it's fine, Avi. I love you anyway. <laughs> you deal 10 points of damage. Okay. Uh, extra attack. That's definitely a hit. I, I... It was cocked. I was like, is that a 10 or a 17? Um... And that's my last attack. Nice. With that, as I strike, just, we got two butterflies! And that's it. And then I'm going to, I flash, so I didn't use any of my movement. Uh, I'm gonna perch back here. <laughs> perch. And she can't boop me, It's right? true, she can't. She can't Until boop. now, because it's her turn. Until, I mean, she can oh, no. boop, but no opportunity. 
She's going to leap up onto the edge, run along it, draw her sword. As she comes uh -huh. towards you, she's going to use her fearful gaze. Uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna have to make a wisdom save. Yeah. That's why you should have been next to tag. But you succeed! Which I succeeded. <laughs> what were you saying, Spencer? <laughs> see, this is why you should have been next to tag. No, no, I heard you. I just wanted you to say it again. It's gonna go for two attacks. It should not have advantage. Um, it missed you with that. And brings it around, tries to strike you again with its blade. And that one hit. Um, do I? I'm gonna save my uncanny dodge because these bitches come at me twice. <laughs> you take a total of 21 points of damage. <laughs> as the sword deals a small amount and necrotic energy fills the area on your body around the wound as it strikes. Fire elemental time! Devour them! Feed them to the all-consuming flame! Hey, Flux, did greater restoration work or not? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is worse. He's going to continue... No, no, no. That was he's going to continue his attack on Cography. And that's it! Yay! I was just like, being crazy taught me some things Strikes. about myself. <laughs> Deals 11 points of damage to Cography. Gonna go for another one on him, as he's focused on him currently. Strikes. And that is another hit! Woo! He deals only 5 points of damage on that one. However, he's gonna again do a sweep and quickly fill the spaces of the creatures around him so that he can deal the automatic fire damage. They all take Woo! 1 point of fire damage! Wow. Ah. <laughs> wow. Woo. Brazilian bastards. Wow. Oh, I forgot to actually go to their turn. Cography is going to take nine points of fire damage. He's yeah, going to re he's going to rely solely on his Odachi. He's going to make two attacks with it against the fire elemental. Boom. First attack. He gets a crit. Oh no! I just realized how crazy it was that Nemrit came in here because he's like, oh, there's only four of them comes in. There's a fire elemental, a stone golem, a T-Rex. Oh, <laughs> he braces his feet, brings his weapon up. The last time you saw one of these guys crit, you know that they did a exceptional damage beyond what they normally should have been able to. He brings his weapon down straight down the middle of the fire elemental, dealing. Enough. 44 no! points of damage. It scatters the fire elemental as it cleaves it clean in half. Ugh. Broski! <laughs> no! Leaving blood all over the floor from this fire elemental. <laughs> <laughs> the fire was full Just of ash. blood the whole time. <laughs> How far can you move, fam? It is then going to begin rushing towards the T-Rex. Blade out, yelling as he rushes towards it. You think you can take on Tagasaurus Rex? <laughs> uh, they, you fool. Uh, they think they can. Isdit's going to go. He's going to take eight points of fire damage. He's going to use his action to put out the fire. That's fair. What is the end condition for your frightened effect? Mine? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just until the end of my next turn. Right, 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 right. So he can't move any closer because you're a T-Rex. Yep. So he's yep. going to take out his longbow. He can't, actually. He just uses his action to put the thing out. Uh, he's going <laughs> to... He runs back and behind the large stone elemental, which is turned towards <laughs> you. Uh, tag, it turns towards the T-Rex. You see it raise one of its fists and pounds it into their open hand as it starts sauntering <laughs> towards you. Its shoulders swaying as it does. Your turn, T-Rex. Alright. All right. Uh... <laughs> Polymorph is so fun. Stomp on over here. Yeah. <laughs> you stomp over him. I go, roar. Uh... <laughs> uh, as soon as you leave his range... Actually, you haven't I didn't left his mean range. to leave his range. I meant to just get within range, but his square is too weak. Uh, all right, I get there. I'm a, I'm gonna do him a manch. Alrighty. 
a monch crunch. Do him a crunch monch. That's it! I would hope so. <laughs> Even despite the heavy insistence of that five, you hit. Yeah. <laughs> you deal. Oh, 41 oh, points oh of damage <laughs> as you bite into him with your large Tyrannosaurus jaws. All right. Can I, uh, uh, since I since I hit him, he is now grappled, since he's medium or smaller. It's he's true. He's now grappled and restrained by me. Mm hmm Can you, yeah, there you go. All right. Can I just pick him up and carry him over so I can whack the stone golem with my tail? Uh, given how much weight you can carry, I don't see why you couldn't. Yep, you okay. were there yes. two sizes smaller than you, so they don't even slow you down. Cool. Nice. Oh, you're moving yeah, over here. Move me on over and just <laughs> whack the golem with my tail. Okay. <laughs> He's half in your mouth, just screaming, still bringing the Odachi up towards you. Like, he, he still seems to be fighting valiantly, hasn't totally lost his wits. But as you do, you stomp over, turn your body, and strike. Go ahead and roll it. Cool. Get him, T-Rex. Oh, no! That... You swing towards him. As you do, you hear the thump, but you don't feel him let loose. You turn back towards him, having turned to hit him with your tail, and you see him with his arms wrapped around your tail, like a log holding you in place. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's me. <laughs> all right. That's all I can do. Well, looks like it's Stone Golem's turn. He takes seven points of fire damage. Yeah, take it. Stone Golem take it all. is going to go ahead and he's going to just haul back and hit you with a couple of attacks. He begins moving around you as he does. It's fair. He strikes. You take. Yeah, that's it. That hits. Punches you in the hits. side of the head. You take 19 points of damage. Oh, yes. Also, we should give you average T-Rex health. One sec. Not not. I think it's 136. Oh, yeah, right. The one we have set for Miriam is average T-Rex health. Right, 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 right. right. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, fucking... I, there's no health counter on here, so I don't know how much... Should be. You, do you not have just access to the sheet? Uh, it changed my character sheet. Uh, it just gives me his hit points, but it doesn't give me his current hit points. Do, 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 do. And it doesn't show them to you on the combat tracker? Uh, no. That's strange. Uh, it you just, have... It's a, like, on the combat tracker, it just says, like, health categories. Ah. Like, healthy. You have heavy, uh, 117 like... left. Cool. I'm going to keep that track of that in that calculator. Okay. He is going to reel back. He's going to punch you again. And that's a hit. You are a T-Rex. You're not hard to hit. It's true. It's another 17 hit. points of damage. You now have 100 hit points. Thank you. Miriam, Fenris, you're on deck. I'm gonna cast Healing Word on myself. <laughs> okay. Ridiculous. Do it or else. Or else? You regain six. <sighs> um. Go get him, Nem. <laughs> inspiration. Yep. <laughs> Didn't you use, wait, healing words bonus action, right? All oh, right, I can't do both. Ah, oh, dang it. You are correct, Gaddafi. I will still those? get them, though. Uh, what actions do I want to take? I don't want to cast most of my spells. It's 90% of my stuff is <laughs> concentration. And I like the dinosaur. I'm uh, a fan of the dinosaur, too. I'm a... Uh, You know, oh, I'm gonna lean around the corner and I'm be like, hey! Golem! You <clears throat> bitch! <laughs> it turns ever so slightly towards you. Oh. Suck on that! It fails! <laughs> <laughs> nice! <laughs> you deal 13 points of damage, which is reduced to zero. Oh, so you yeah. psychic damage. Wow. <laughs> it doesn't have a brain. <laughs> if only he had a brain. Yes, but the 
<laughs> it also wasn't your best one. Is that I, you, Marion? Yeah, I was, I was uh, heat of the moment. Yeah, I ducked behind the corner. That's me. Fenris, your turn. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, let's. I guess I'm gonna move. Y'all. And let's try this again. I throw another another javelin. One of these is gonna hit eventually. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get you. <laughs> gonna get you good. You're gonna say, "Ow!" How about now? That hits. Yeah. All right. I'm really <laughs> proud of that. <laughs> good job. It takes seven points of damage. Nice. Fenders like doesn't. Yes, and that's my turn. Alrighty. Back to the top, Nemrek, your turn. Flutter, sure. flutter, 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 flutter. I'm gonna fly up and over twenty feet. Tronosaurus, I'm taking your aura effect off briefly and then putting it back on to see what it does. Yeah, it gives it to everybody now. I think I think something about polymorphing you like damage. He wouldn't have it right now, anyways. I can, a boom. You can go over to there. Da, 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 da. And I will. As I'm 20 feet up, I think I, I think I can hit it from here. I'm gonna go for go go for an attack on him. Sure. Uh, you would have uh, uh, cover, but do you care? Uh, would he have cover? He's behind a stone golem. I went up by twenty feet. Oh, then you're good. Okay. Ah, I didn't. I didn't have my my thingy. Ah, god dang. It's alt. You're there. There, there we go. go. I, I did it. I am. I am amazing. First try. All right. First try. First try. First try. Uh, hi. I closed out my sheet whenever I was flailing around. There we go. Uh, first hi -ah. That's a hit. You fire, you deal a total of... He's dead. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> he is paced. You finally hit him, the arrow forward. strikes him, and d pins him back against the wall behind him. Nice. Let's go for Cography. Alrighty. Hiya. Shooting him from within my mouth. Oh, did I do it mouth. twice? He's restrained. Oh, I had a bandage. He's restrained. Oh, hell yeah! Yeah, you hit. Hiya. <laughs> he takes nine points of damage. Nice. My first bonus action attack. Hiya. That's a hit. He takes seven points of damage. And my last bonus action attack because of my, my swift quiver. Okay. Gosh. You fire again and he's hit. Oh. Never you scared. And he takes seven points of damage. God damn. Who are you, me? <laughs> I see that. I'll get back my I'll get back my arrows for the last two attacks, not the two that I did before that. Uh, and uh, that is me. All right. Can, can he take great weapon master <laughs> if he has uh, if he's got the fucking uh, great bow? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it. I think it's only melee. Hold on. We're about to learn something. Uh, it's only melee fun. weapons. Dang. <laughs> Heck. Alrighty. Back to Crimson Butterflies up top. Yer. The one that's away from you is going to... They're going to use their bonus action to gain their fly speed. Oh, bitch. They're going to fly out about this far. As they do, they're going to make one longbow attack against you, Avi. They do have an uh, ally near you, so they yeah, are going to get pack tactics. They hit. Uncanny Doge. Uncanny Doge. Fly. Uncanny Corgi. Uncanny Korg. <laughs> you take. I, I love that name for it. What? What? It. Healed you. Yay! Huh. I mean, thank. I'll take. Listen, I'll take it. Uh, Mama's blessings, I guess. 
The arrow goes, turns into a band-aid, and smacks Aviana in the face. What in the world? <laughs> just, just, you took no damage. Take one health away. But it, <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but it you just... You did negative damage. <laughs> <laughs> gonna go for a second longbow attack on you. It fires. Manager oh. Graham did reverse math. Yep. It, that one hits. Uh-huh. Don't Her heal voice. Avi. That one did damage. Good. Cool. Thanks. Oh, I have 16 hit points. Ow. See, this is why you should have stood next to Tag. Yeah, but they're a problem, and Flux. I gotta deal with them. All right. Gonna try and finish what my son started. And kill calligraphy in particular. <laughs> I've been calling him calligraphy. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Die calligraphy. <laughs> <laughs> You fire, you hit. Oh, why did I have advantage? Because right, he's sorry. restrained. Oh, gotcha. That makes sense. Uh, add my arcane firearm, damage, and firebolt. You deal Damn. 23 points of damage. Ooh, that's Still good. alive. This is unforgivable. <laughs> All right, bonus action cannon. Pachoo. That does hit. Roll damage, and then I'm gonna do a thing. Oh. Put uh -oh. you, put you. Boom. You send him farther down. Yeah, you throat. blast him oh. out of its mouth. He, I'm gonna roll a d100 to determine when this happens. Uh -oh. oh, no. Oh, that's right. Oh, no, no, no. Blanked on the fact that he's in yeah, your that's mouth. Not, that's not an optional thing, is it? As it blasts him. You see his armor catches a light. He's blasted out of the jaws of the T-Rex and up into the air just above you. As it does, his armor, like the previous Thrasher before him, ignites oh, yeah, and yeah. he explodes oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the air. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's going to affect it's both get of the them. Too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm targeting the wrong person. Yes. I'm so sorry, Master Tag. And it's just under Unfortunately, it's just under the butterfly, so it's not going to get them. Ah, ah, dang it. So it doesn't get them. Uh, I got excited. Explodes into light. Uh, those of you that are there now currently, you're going to have to make con saves. So the two of you are going to have to make con saves. Boom. T-Rex, you failed! Tag. Tagosaurus Rex. I need you to be better. You're going to take 46 fire damage. That's fine. Oh no. You take 16, and then the, the golem is going to take half. As that happens, the body lands on the other side of both of you. The heat from it is still pouring forward. His body is still letting out become this effectively flaming sphere that is continuing to damage you. Anyone that starts their turn around it will take damage. Like, uh, what kind of radius? Uh, about 10 feet. Gotcha. Avi, your turn. Gotcha. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, sorry, it's your turn still, Flex. Yes, what would you like to do? I'm just gonna, like, uh, see that, uh, it exploded in, uh, Tag's face. Like, oh, shit, I, I did not mean to do that. Scrail behind the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Master Tag! <laughs> oh, so that's Taguchi. Alrighty, what would you like to do, Avi? I'll tag missing. Okay. <laughs> you know, ladies, I'd really like to learn your techniques, but um, I don't think that's gonna work out. I'm gonna hit you with Fox Victoria. I'm trying. That hits. Woo! I don't know why I'm singing Wait. all of Avi's shit. <laughs> you deal seven that's points of damage. I'm not even shocked by that. I'm like, this is classic Avi. This is. I'm gonna smelt my dice after this turn. Let's be real. <laughs> yeah. That's a hit. It still hits. I'll take it. That's an eight. You take ten points of damage. Well, it takes ten points of damage. I was like, I better not. Otherwise, I'm gonna be looking. Listen, real ass. listen, heckin Aviana, <laughs> little Miss Heels, when you're hit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You can take damage when you hit, then, if that's how it's going to be. <laughs> no, no. No, no, no. To quote TikTok. You're, you're Hanatoro now. You heal people when you slash them. 
Oh, hell oh. yeah. Nice. All right, uh, extra attack coming at her. Yeah. You strike. Oh, That's a crit! <laughs> the ten sig. <laughs> if only sneak attack. Well, I crit. You, that doesn't okay, have sneak attack, though. No, it doesn't. But I was like, but I crit. Therefore, but you still I still crit, yeah. But I still crit, and that, that means more damage, and I can push her and hit her again. It's going to be a good time. Just push her off the side. That, what do you think my plan is, homie? <laughs> <laughs> Out of the way. Yes. They land on Fenris. <laughs> Your crit deals 17 points of damage. Okay, 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 okay. Where are you pushing her? Um, I'm going to try to push her off. Well, it succeeds, because you automatically shove her. You see your striker, oh. she's going to fall down to the area below, given where you are. That means she's going to fall... here. And Incoming! Going... One of the butterflies hits the ground. She's going to take 14 more points in falling damage. Okay. I still have one more attack. And now so. she is prone. Yep. I would like to fly down as, how far? She's like pretty much like right below. She's 40 me. feet I'd down. 40 feet down. Cool, I have 40 feet of movement. Nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop down next to her. And then Avi was on this map. Oh, there's a T-Rex now. Anyway, last stabbing. <laughs> Actually, no, I would have one more after this. Critical flourish. Mm-hmm. This I? is my critical Did flourish I? attack. Oh, I'll be honest. <laughs> That's a hit. Cool. And he yeah. That was almost a six. No, you didn't want to use your sneak attack? Oh, yeah, fucking. Oh, shit, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Well, fucking, you know, I mean, we're past it now. One more. I have one more. On this one. Yep. Yeah. I, I'm like, I have one more. So I and thought about it after. Be a second to crit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dude, thought about happens, it after man. Thing. I know, right? Yeah. You strike and you crit. <laughs> oh! You did the Malagrid <laughs> thing. <laughs> Can I add your sneak attack to that? Yeah, you will. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Die. You're adorable. Oh my god. The crimson butterfly, as you strike oh. it, you come down with your blade, cut into it to knock it off center, bring your blade up, and as you strike down into where its neck would be, its form dissipates and it is gone. Avi will stand back up from stabbing it flip her hair and spit blood out of her mouth where it was. All right, who's next? The T-Rex. There's not like the other things to go before me. Nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're all dead. Could you roll me a con <laughs> save? Yes. Yeah. Reach up and bite the butterfly. Uh, the you succeed, so you're gonna take fire damage equal to half of this. Um, I think that was it. Or was it D10s? I accidentally deleted them. Um, I think it was D10s. I think you said 46. Was it 46? Oh, I'll be nice. You take 8 damage. Cool. Take that, Tarantosaurus. Alright, um, I'm gonna move a bit southward so I can get out of that, uh, out of that range of the whatever thing. Who do I shoot? Who do I diddle? Mm-hmm. <laughs> The stone golem takes a wide stance, raises its fists, and does two very slow, like, punches in the air towards you in a very challenging Ooh. manner. Nice. Oh, uh, if I'm remembering correctly, I might be in trouble here. Uh, I'm going to make an attack okay. on him. You strike. That hits. Woo! You deal oh. as you bring your teeth around it. They do not manage to pierce through its stony yeah. skin. That's what I thought. No, I can't do damage to him anymore. Uh oh. Like at all? Like oh. at all. Oh. He's immune to piercing, isn't okay. he? Okay. 
In that case, uh, I would like to use my other attack to try and knock him prone. Okay. You can go ahead and roll that against him. <clears throat> okay. Is there a... Uh, yeah, shove. Uh... You roll a 19. He rolls a 12. Yeah! All right. But do you want to just knock him prone? Yeah, I want to knock him prone. Okay. Do a Sorry, big old tail, slap, tail swipe at him. Yeah, yeah, I just fucking swipe at his feet and just knock him down. You do? You hit him, he falls down to the ground, falls right on his butt, stops himself from falling too much farther, but he's down. All right. This is as useful as I can be, guys. And yeah, uh, that's, that's my turn. plenty useful. His yeah. turn. He stands. Never mind, they go right after you. Crap! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that. <laughs> it stomps towards you. It is going to go for a melee attack. That's fair. Goes to slam. Has disadvantage because of Mariam, but still hits. Ridiculous. It strikes, dealing 14 points of damage to you. As it does, it is then going to reel up, goes for an uppercut, tries to punch your Tyrannosaurus jaw. Nat ones! It punches into your mouth. You yeah! clamp your teeth around it, try to pull it off the ground. You don't succeed at doing so, but it does pull its arm back and sweeps it away from you, ripping out several teeth as it does. Hell yeah! It's going to move down slightly. And then Miriam. Your turn, Miriam. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ha -ba 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 I'm gonna go... Uh -huh. There. Avi. You look like crap. What? Yeah. Silly word. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Avi, you were getting six. Continue on that thread. I just realized how much <laughs> piercing damage all of us have. Yeah, that's kind of what I do. Uh-oh. It's okay, I'll take out the other butter. It might also be non-magical. <laughs> I'm pretty true. sure it's not magical, you yeah. know. Is that you, oh. Mary? Oh, wow. Uh, that's my bonus action to do that. Um, I could continue talking. Yeah, one second. How far is... Yeah, no, they're out of my range. Uh, e... Action dodge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, smart. Fenris, Nemrick, you're on deck. <laughs> This is not piercing, so I hope it works, but, um, let's, let's give this a shot. I'm gonna bap him. You strike, that hits. Oh. Nice. Yeah, and I'm going to Stygian snap on this. Okay, roll your damage first. Yes, I just figured. I don't know, I declare it. Yeah. Okay. You deal 19 points of damage. Nice. Roll down, all the way down my sheet. I wish I could smite with my, uh, with my T-Rex jaws. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty Through sick. your teeth. You, like, bite down, all of a sudden it just freaking glows with holy light. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna make them make the save. Yes. Mm -hmm. me. You oh, applied. that's just the effect? Yep. Crap. Uh, can you take that off of them? So sorry. Mm -hmm. Make them make the save. A little presumptuous. They <laughs> fail! Yeah! Oh, yeah! I have an effect for you. It's the same one. <laughs> it also does damage. It sure does. Take 48. It takes 22 points nice. of damage. Very good damage. And then I would like to <laughs> say no thank you. <laughs> and then it, and it can't no attack you because it can't take reactions. And then I'm going to look at Miriam and go, no, you look like shit. What are you talking about? Him. Heal him, do a basic healing word. This is their blood. He regains oh, no, seven mine. points. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Met you, Fenris. That's me. Back to the top, Nemrick. Flux, you're on deck. Gotcha. I would like to target the crimson butterfly up at the top. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Let me see if I can do that from where I is just on the thing. I think I can. Aha! Uh, and I'm going to go for some, some shots on the crimson butterfly. Okay. Since you guys First aren't attack. using the top map, I'm actually just going to bring them onto this map and put them up at 45 feet. There we go. You attack. That's a hit. Hiya. 
Uh, they take 10 damage. As you start firing at them, they begin weaving through the air, moving towards Tagasuchi Rex. Second attack! Why are they, oh. why are they not visible? Where oh, honey. Oh, no. Or they were just they're just framed misses. by Tagasuchi Rex. Uh, third attack. That hey. hits. It was almost a one again. Ah, uh, you're not targeting them now for some reason. Am I? Uh, is it because they moved maps? Maybe. Mm, no, shouldn't have been. Do, 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 do. I will retarget them. It's all right. I'll drag the eleven damage onto them. Boom. Thank you. Oh, now. Oh, okay. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good. 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 Um, and then I'll go for my final attack. Mm-hmm. Oh, and that's a crit. Nice. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Do I do anything on crits? I don't think I do. Da, 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 da. No, if I have my flames of passion up, I just get better crits. Okay, good. Hiya! You deal 18 points of damage to it. God, I love fucking four shots around. It's so good. Is that you? It's really good. Da, 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 da. I will then... Uh, seeing this happen, seeing them, seeing them, uh, seeing them go after after Taguchi, I'm gonna try to get around to a bit to a better to a better uh, position. Just uh, to, to, to going over here, flying over near where uh, uh, where everybody else is. Okay. And that is me. The Crimson butterfly is going to go. It soars down towards the Tyrannosaurus Rex, lands along your back, and then tries to strike its blade down into you. You have... Actually, yeah, it would impact tactics now. Uh, it goes for an attack. That hits. Tagatsuchi Rex, you take 22 points of damage from the first attack. Oh. Brings its blade up, strikes at you again. And hits again. You take... 14 points of damage from the second attack. It is then going to use... It's fearful gaze, and it's going to use it on Avi. Avi, you're about to make a wisdom save. Okay. So you I'm fail. How much damage did I take? 14 and 22. You have uh, 26 points left. Yep. Ooh. Avi, you are now afraid of the butterfly. I am afeard. No. Now you have disadvantage on everything. Yep. <laughs> Flux, your turn. All right, get back out there. Ah, my mouth. Huh. That was weirdly timed with Devil Trigger, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah. All right, and hmm. uh, the Crimson Butterfly is just, like on his back. It's like flying on around like. Uh, his back, yeah. Gotcha. It'd be, um, it would have, if you fired at it, I would say it would have partial cover due to being engaged with and above the T-Rex. Okay. Well, let's take some shots at the golem instead, then. Gotcha. Do, 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 do. Start with... Where's the fireball? There we go. Pachoo! That's a hit! Thank you. Firearm. And... Get boyest. It takes 21 points of damage. Get boyesting. Started boyesting. Bonus <laughs> action boyesting. That hits. Nice. nice. Put shoo. You deal 17 points of damage. That's tasty. Good Excellent. Shit, Get pushed five feet away. That's fucking right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you better <laughs> run. <laughs> Look at this coward running from us. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's happening. Does that push him into the, uh, to the aura that the guy was uh, giving off? Uh, he was... Uh, do, 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 yes, it would have. One sec. Woo! Do, where are you? Technically, he never would have left it, but I forgot to roll it against him last turn, so I'm going to do that now. Oh, okay. Boom. Uh, he's going to take the full... Kaboom. He's going to take the full 10 points of damage. Nice. Nice, nice. All right. Back to cover. <laughs> Good strategy <laughs> down there. 
both fair and valid. Ooh, that's my turn. All right, Avi, your turn. Okay, I suddenly can't see. Okay, there they are. It's because that was clicked on me. All right. Well, I can't get closer. That would kind of constitute getting closer by doing that. So we're gonna throw things. We're gonna do that thing Avi likes to do and throw things and rage. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm gonna get up to here. Um, and I'm going to throw Vox Victoria. It's not gonna be as an impressive attack spree as usual, but I'm gonna throw Vox Victoria at the stone golem. All right. We're gonna see if Maggie Cole helps. You throw it, you hit. Woo! And because Tag's there, I get You have disadvantage. Oh, I do, you're right. I say these things and I know better. <laughs> Someday I'll not say these things. <laughs> we'll see. Someday I'll stop. Someday I'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's not a one. It deals 10 points of damage. Okay, I'm gonna bonus action, uh, retrieve Vox Victoria and throw it again. Get it. Yeah. No. Those do not hit. Uh, yeah, th that's Avi. <laughs> Alrighty. Tagasaurus Rex. Woo! And Avi, you are no longer frightened. Hell yeah. Would I be within range of the Crimson Butterfly? Yes. Nice. You are you are taller than you are wider, as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. Cool. I will, I'm gonna try and munch on her. That's fair. Insert joke here. We don't have to, but if you're at, but you're if you're letting us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, a T-Rex oh, crit! Oh, yeah! Oh, yes. oh this is gonna be Use so great. Might. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a Tyrannosaurus smite. I wish. Oh, all right. Take this. <clears throat> You deal Ooh. 69 hey. points of damage! Yes! Oh, we can so, 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 so for those I'm gonna munch on the are just listening. I'm that gonna is 69 damage. I wanna munch on the crimson butterfly. Deal 69 points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> serious day. time, serious game. I'm out, bro. Yeah? Man! I'm out, bro. <laughs> All right. Is she, she also grappled? grappled yep. Um, can I, with my second attack, can I try and grapple the uh, the stone golem with my tail? Um, you can't really wrap your tail around a golem. Mm -hmm. Around like I'd say I'd say this is an issue of like you don't really have the appendages needed to grapple another creature. You have a big yeah. head. And little arms. Yeah, because your 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 fangs, your teeth, your jaw would be grappling her. I would say you don't you don't have the with your tiny little arms. You don't have the necessary uh, appendages to properly grapple another creature. Heck, Miriam, why didn't you make me with long, useful arms? <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Just run away with her in your mouth. Yeah. Go. <laughs> Mary and Crazy T Rex with unnaturally buff human arms. <laughs> taking uh, this, taking this. Okay. Uh, can I try then to knock him prone again? Sure. Like that. That, Ooh, and great. then he rolls. He lost! Hey! Knocking him prone? <laughs> Yeah, I'm knocking him prone. Okay, he's prone. All right. Now he's I mean, get back up. His turn, he gets up. <laughs> I yeah. mean, one thing I was saying is, like, if you knock him prone, he only has half his movement. Just fucking, if you leave him, then you have that in your mouth. Like, he can't murder you. Then he's you still have make... him prone, or still have a grapple. He gets up off of yeah. the still blazing body of his friend. He makes a con save, and he succeeds. So he's going to take half of 15. He's going to take seven points of damage. As he stands, he's going to move slightly to get out of that area. And then he's going to try to punch you again, T-Rex. That's fair. Reels back, punches. Nat ones. 
Wow. Reels wow. back, punches. Nat 20s. Well. Oh. <laughs> That's just too um, many, huh? <laughs> That's fair. I crit on his friend, and he wanted revenge. Reels back. Puts his whole body into swinging his arm at you. Strikes. Deals. Give Enough him to knock oh. me out. Yeah, there you go. Yep. You are knocked back into being Taguchi. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I feel more, so much smarter. <sighs> you fall to the ground. The Crimson Butterfly remains aloft. Uh, you would also take uh, an additional four damage for the overflow. Okay. The Stone Golem then looms over the two of you. Uh, well, looms over you and the butterfly floats next to it. Uh, let's see. That's no longer affecting them. Mariam, your turn. Fenris, you're on deck. Mm, Holly, no. Uh, Beat the dinosaur Polymorph already. monkey. <laughs> Polymorph again, T-Rex. <laughs> What say who now, Golem? Uh, Mariam is going to um, move in more against his better judgment. Uh, let's go here. And then. I don't want to spend. You know what? Fuck it. Let's get crazy. Come here, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh oh, you're so close to him. I don't Inflict wounds! Oh! <laughs> Alright, go ahead. That hits. You rush forward, you put your hand out, you deal 13 points of necrotic damage. All right, that was as far as I thought. Someone kill it, please. <laughs> uh, I can't do that. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and that's you. Mm -hmm. Let's see, but um, you still have your bardic inspiration. Uh, yep, uh, that's me. Fenris. I don't have a bardic inspiration. Nemrick, you're on deck. La 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 la. La 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 la. In danger. All right. <laughs> there we go. What's up? Here. You of all people should not be here. Uh, no, it's good. I'm killing it. Uh, you swing towards it. That's a hit. Hey, look, look at what a good job we're doing. It takes 16 points of damage. It's basically on its last legs. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, like me. What can I do? Bonus actions. Lucius was my father. Yeah. <laughs> and my mother, and brother, and sister, and sister, and sister. Oh, I didn't know you had so many siblings. Um. <laughs> Red wants to run. But if Miriam's standing there, I should too. Ah, I'll stay. I'll stay. Fine. All right. Nemrick, Flux, you're on deck. Someone kill it. Yeah, <laughs> yep. upon seeing my boy Mariam getting in there, I think it's time uh, probably to murder this golem, but I really want to murder that freaking crimson butterfly, though. Uh, She's a problem. Get her. She is a problem. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her, but I'm very, I'm very, very worried. <laughs> Da, da, da. Let's just go for some attacks on her. Da, 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 da. She's easier for me to hit too, I think. Hi -ya. I say, um, get her. I say as I get a five. That's a miss. Well. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, could I? Oh, that wasn't a. I don't think I can use those uh, the talismans on those, right? No, it's only skill checks, I think. Okay. Da, 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 da. Let's go for the second attack. Haya. Should say on the item. That's a hit! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Uh, there's, I, I literally, there's no way you, did, she was, yeah. <laughs> yeah really a game. Uh, no, oh, but we almost were. Uh, you fire the arrow, it strikes them. One moment they're there, the next they dissipate. 
<laughs> push two. Reposition. Help. Get about Help. here. Help. And go for some attacks on that stony golem boy. Alrighty. Get him. Last two attacks. First attack. Get him, get him, get him. Oh. 18? Well, come on. I think that hit. Uh, yes. Yay! Hey, Hiya. Cool. You fire. It takes seven points of damage. Oh, it is. I can't do it. Okay, good. And last attack. Hiya. You strike. Oh, That's a crit. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, no. Let's fucking go. It takes okay, double two. 17 <laughs> points of damage. <laughs> That is me. Flux, Avi, you're on Heck deck. Yeah. Get him, Flux. Oh, How's this thing looking? All crumbly? It is you looking... Chunks of it have been blasted off. Uh, one of its arms shouldn't be holding together at this point, but it is. There's a large chunk of its torso that appears to have been broken off as well. Nice. All right, well, let's see what we can do to exacerbate this situation. Pacha! That's it. Nice. Heck yeah. I'm king from. Pachoo! You deal 20 points of damage. Excellent. And then Eldritch Cannon be boop. You fire. Be That's a hit. Boing. Get be booped. It takes seven points of damage. <laughs> oh, I was and hoping for more boopage. Pushed back slightly. Haha, <laughs> now I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> Utter safety. Now run! Run, you fool! That's me. Fly, you fool. Aviana, tag your on deck. <laughs> okay. Oh, you left some for me? Thank you. Fly over there. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna go for some for some beep bat boops. Uh, do some do the beep bat boops. I'm gonna do some beep bat boops. Beep 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 how, beep beep how tall is this <laughs> going? <laughs> About 10, 15 feet. Because, like, there's a, there's that, um, the fire zone right there. You might want to, like, be out. Yeah, like, that's over. true. You did just enter that. Because I have an extra time of fruit, so I only want 30. We're going to have to go there. <laughs> you would still, I'm pretty sure it was actually, like, right there. So you'd still be Yeah, that's 10 why I was saying, it. like, you could have been, like, over it, because it's only 10 feet out. Did he die on the ground? Yes. Sorry, my brain. Yeah, okay. Right there, on the ground, so... Okay, so if I, like, had gone there, but gone, like, elevated, I would have been good. Yeah, you just need to not be within 10 feet of that. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. So I'll, I'll go back to where I was, but elevate by... Yeah, like that. Yeah. You'd have to be at 15 if you want to not get hit by it. Yeah, cool, 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 okay. cool, cool, cool. Dope, 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 dope. I'm Thank pretty sure that Avi would have, would have recognized the, the fire yeah. stuff, yeah. so I was going to make sure. I was, mo I was on the roof for that, so I kind of spaced. Preach. All right, we're gonna go for some beat bat boots. First attack, hiya! Nobody's next to it. How dare you guys? I know hey, there were people next to it, but then it got pushed. I know. I'm a little and mad, but blocks. it's fine. I'm sorry. It's what my gun does. <laughs> it takes nine points of damage. Okay, and a dexterity beyond. That hits. Woo! Hiya! It takes. Woo! Well, points of damage. <laughs> All right. And extra attack. Hi, young. That misses. That's mm. fine. I have one more. Hi, young. That hits. <gasps> Avi. Yeah. How do you want to do this? Well, in classic uh, Avi fashion, um, I'm going to take my blades and for the chat so you can get your bingos. Stab it into the <laughs> eyes and slice out the sides of it and then flip back off of its shoulders. Alrighty. As you do, it doesn't seem to really care about being pierced in the eyes, but as you destroy its head, uh, the whole, the magic holding it together seems to crumble. You see some arcane glyphs appear in its body that uh, appear and then fizzle out as if magical enchantments upon it had failed. Its body then falls back, collapsing into several pieces as it hits the ground. <sighs> Hooray! As I land, I'll summon back my other blade. <sighs> Good job, Avi. Thanks. Uh. How we feeling? 
Um, well, you heard I... what they said, right? There's another prisoner downstairs. I'm pretty sure they're talking about Lexi. Let's mm. go get our girl. Seems likely. Uh, you know, Fenris... I know it's probably not, but you know, he's like, oh, Lexi's being fucking tortured. Let's go. <laughs> Fenris is going to cast Locate Creature. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Where I'm the gonna... fuck's my baby? Uh, what is the range on Where... Locate Creature? I think a thousand feet. If I, yeah, uh, as long as the creature is within a thousand feet of you. If the creature is moving, you'll know the direction of their movement. Uh, basically, the only thing that, what I'm seeing is if they're polymorphed, but I also know Lexi's fox form. And uh, the spell can't locate a creature if running water at at least 10 feet wide blocks a direct direct path between you and the creature. So assuming there are no waterfalls in front of the bu in the building, I'm just saying. You are surrounded by a moat. That's not in the building, though. Mm, it depends on where the water goes. Uh, that said, <laughs> I'm just obeying the spell, man. Um, one sec, I need to check a thing so I can give you a direction. Where is she? She is... Where is my baby? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? <laughs> she is, right from now. your current position, roughly in this direction, but down. Okay. Um. The, 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 um. Downwards or like straight that way? Downwards. I just down. said but down. That way, but down. I didn't hear it. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Um. Seems like Lexi's uh, in this direction, but down. So, they said right. that there was. They said that there was uh, the normal number of guards down below. We can assume that this captain is one of them. Mm. Mm -hmm. We have to find some stairs and make our way down. To give you guys a better lay of the room you're in, just so you know, uh, there is a door on either side of it. There's a door there. And there is a door over there. Uh, go to this door. There is also, uh, you guys that went along the side of Nemrick, you'd be able to see there is a door up there at the top of this hallway. And there is the hallway that moves in back there. With that, just before you guys decide exactly where you want to go and what you want to do, I'm going uh, I'm to call for a break. We're not quite done yet. We did miss a week. I'd like to, I'd like to make up for lost time if possible. Yeah. But, all uh, good. All day D and D. All, all day D and D. D and D. Yeah. Right. Quick break. I would I like to not do that. Yeah. That'd, that'd be cool. Go take your dog. I'll be right back. Ah, yeah. Shut up, you commie. <laughs> <laughs> no, all day D and D. Let's fucking go. All day D and D and D. All day D and D. I'm not going outside. Go. I'm gonna go get some socks on the ground. It's cold. Back. Yeah. It's actually chilly. Beach, you live in Florida. Yeah, yeah, but it's gonna be 30 fucking degrees tonight. That's fair, you think it. Okay, yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. 30 Fahrenheit is cold. It's below freezing. Yeah. Which is bizarre. In Florida. For us. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'm gonna that go. Is knowable <laughs> weather. Sorry, you go yeah, ahead. Sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna go bother the husband and then go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Do it. Hi, chat. How y'all doing? You peeping? <laughs> I'm... Are you pooping? It's all... I... Spencer went to the bathroom again, so I'm fully stealing his chair. And also, also peeping, he peeping. is pooping. Mm -hmm. Carrie, I'm coming to get you, baby girl. Oh, BB. I'm gonna oh, save you. I. Fenris is so over fucking Hanakuni. She needs her fox <laughs> girl back. She needs, to, she needs to know what time it is. She needs to taste some good motherfucking stool. And she needs to. Ah. Uh, she needs to. Ah. Uh, if she uh -huh. got And she needs to see her girlfriend. The time, what would she choose? By the way, the oxen oh. are dead. I don't. I, I guess oh, I never no. never touched on it, but they were super in the fireball. Oh, oh no. no! Oh no! Also, Carrie, I don't have an issue knowing that it's Lexi. So, 
So, what does that say about Lexapoo? Oh, Miss, oh. I catch the strawberries in one hand and try to catch Fenris with the other and try to save <laughs> both. I want to be strong armed, beat you. Like, I Listen want to have hear all you. the things that I want. Don't Yay. We choose Fenris. Well, Fenris would probably be like, it's okay, I to get the strawberries. Do also, like, fucking. The question was, like, would you save. Fenris or like a basket of strawberries, and like mm. I can play with, like Fenris because I can grow more strawberries, and everybody That's kept true. adding fucking like no no, but they're the last strawberry. Right. So I like, just like <laughs> I chose you. <laughs> just trying to make it more tempting. It's like fine, I'll let Fenris die from the strawberries. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> if it's what you want, they can die. Jeez. They can perish. Gosh. God. Been order some uh, food. What a good, good time. Logan, have you not eaten yet? Nope. God damn you. I'm gonna order some also, taco time to have later. Go ahead. Hmm? Oh, I'm, really gl I'm really glad that locate creature worked. Yo, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> Planning ahead there. Good call. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm trying real hard. Thank you, Shin. Because, like, Cause like, cause like, uh, like, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. once again, I will say, I am very over Hanakuni as Fenris. I get that. <laughs> all the things <laughs> that make, all the things that make Fenris consistently happy have been taken away from her. She's gonna snap one of these days. I mean, if we weren't, I mean, I'm glad we're here. Because between, hey, we might be getting followed, and the fox person, the fox squirrel that Hecken, I have vowed to take care of and look after in my own Aww. mind is getting fucking tortured by some dancy bitch. Who? <laughs> you, Lexi, knows like, to your Fenris too, hubba. Hubba, it's true, that's why Fenris <laughs> needs her around. Oh, To take care of her. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah it's I good. Love it. As chat says, we need to get you to cry. So, yo, fu good <laughs> luck. Okay, normally it's real fucking easy, but like I'm sitting next to Spencer right now, so I'm gonna fight. Oh him. no, you can't <laughs> cry. Yo, mm -mm. you can't give in. Nope, I can't give him the fucking satisfaction. <laughs> I know he would gladly laugh and capture your tears in a oh, cup to yeah. step later. He would fully take pictures of me and put them on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick! A monster. <laughs> you know what? Maybe that punch through the rip all those years ago was called. Oh, no, fucking deserved it, yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> uh... Fenris saying "dainty bitch" feels funny. <laughs> tries not to curse all the time, but she has. She, she's just getting very, very tired. Hmm. She, as she said to Flux last session, oh, "What the fuck." <laughs> <laughs> oh, this place is awful. It, it, this this place is the armpit of all the di all the different places, all the realms <laughs> of all the places. I'd like, I'd like to get out of here as soon as possible. It's the armpit of places. Yes, when you think about me. all the places, this place that we're in, out of all the places, is the worst place Logan, out of all the places. Logan, please, no. hi. It's the number bottom. fifteen. Places. Number fifteen. Honokuni. Oh, the worst of the places. I hate it. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta go ape shit. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's fine. It's true. I, I was saving my spells. I'm saving them. I've only used one spell so far. Oh, you're so sweet. We gotta well, get our two. girl. It's true. I'm gonna be so worried as soon as I see y'all. It's gonna be like, y'all shouldn't. Here. No, this it's fine. Bad. We couldn't leave you behind. You are too precious to us. I had to come for my 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 friend. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> she just fucking slips up. <laughs> like it. Mm. <laughs> what? Give it, that's mine. Give it back. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> I've watched that for so long now! I said friend! 
No, just Fenris pointing through the bars. <laughs> that's ours. That's mine. That's, that's mine. mine. Back. It's, why do you <laughs> think I'm wearing her gloves? So I can. Why do you think I'm wearing her gloves? So I can just get her out of there. Just puffs. Oh, okay. So many mums. Look at all my mums. <laughs> Kinda, I'm yeah. Not your mom. I'm your friend. What is with everyone thinking? I'm their mom, or their grandmother, <laughs> Listen, or their sister? Right. Let's be very specific. I said mommy. I did not say mom. I have a mother, that's fair. and yeah, you are great. not her. <laughs> Just for the fucking whack Miriam with her hammer. Meh. I don't <laughs> usually agree on violence. I can. Jokes on you. As long as it's funny, I'm immortal. <laughs> <laughs> it's more the Nemrit calling her mom and then grandma and now just referring to her as sister consistently. It's cute though. I have no statements on Fenris's feelings at this time. Cute, got it. But <laughs> death. There you go. Also, Brad, I don't know if you got the memo. <gasps> Sorry, I just saw really cute art on Twitter. Anyway, sorry. Uh, uh <laughs> I just wow. showed it. I don't know if you got the memo, Brad, but we reached a donation goal where you are like a certified cutie, and you have to accept it now. Oh yes, this is okay, true. There you go. Are yeah, we, we had a. Deals? Whenever I joined you guys for your last stream, I changed the sub donation goal to uh, be heckin a uh, chaos call or chaos. What is it? Crew? Chaos crew or know. cuties? And uh, today, it was still up, and Dueler made us hit it, so you guys are certifiably licensed cuties. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. Let me uh, stick in my Valentina white bag! Wait a minute! That fucking... I need to see arcane, this contract. That arcane fucking animatic I sent you of Silco, and like, that lipstick in my Valentina white bag! I need Yo. to find that, that was so fucking good. Oh. Uh. Yo, let us know uh, once. Uh, is everybody here, or are we missing someone still? I... Is, is Spencer he, is still pooping? Is Spencer there? He just got back from pooping. Okay. My goodness, how much fiber do you eat? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Don't answer that, actually. <laughs> I was just getting at my list, though. Good. <laughs> Spence! Alright, my guys. I'm back. It took forever to find good, good warm socks. No. No. I'm back though. Okay. Switching back into game, everybody. They were also left alone in the facility in the, uh, the, uh, the atrium of the Bastille's upper levels. As I explained, there's a door on the eastern and western side of this room, as well as two hallways that go up uh, on the northern side of it. There is a doorway uh, beside where the stone golem was um, in the indent between those hallways. And besides that, there's a series of hallways back around the corner where you guys came from. What you guys want to do, uh, go ahead and do. All right, I have an idea. What is that, Mr. Marion? Ready? Ready? Hey, stop trying to open the door. Get over here. Unless the door. Oh, no, okay. Come over here. Bobby, Gucci, come here. Oh, sure. Uh, I'm just drinking, drinking a potion. Where okay. did Nemrick uh, just go? Uh, Nemrick! I'm looking for a door. I want to Nemric. open this door. You should not Nemric, wander off, Come Custer, over Nemric. here, please, right now. <laughs> I'm not having this go sideways because of you. Right, Marry a mess for everybody uh, but Nemrick. Let's be he, on. I'm like, he, he can stay over there. Don't worry about it. You'll understand. Mm. All right, huddle up, huddle up, huddle up. All right, okay. All right guys, I cast at fifth level uh, invisibility, and I turn uh, all four of them invisible. Uh, <laughs> oh, all right, God. target oh. them all, put it on them. Yeah, I guess Nemrick didn't need to be over here for this. What are you thinking? Uh, I mean, it's a lot easier to move through a castle when there's just two charmers walking around talking to everybody. Agreed. I'm going to uh, fair go check on Nemrick and make sure he's not opening that door. I'm opening the door. Uh, I no. you're opening the door. Yes. <laughs> Who was the fool? No. Who was the fool? I'm Dude. making my way over there. I don't know how far I get before the doors open. I would matters, say but... he would get them open uh, with a small amount of time to spare. As you open it, you see that this room 
appears to be the room with the beds. It appears to be the barracks that you were told about. <sighs> He's just gonna like look in, see the barracks, and then just immediately turn toward toward here. There are nine not knowing beds. There's an invisible, not knowing there's an invisible fan room. It's a very large room. There's a lot of blood that seems to be dried and has painted some of the stone on the ground. Uh, much of it looks old. There's some cots over in the corner. A very large section of space that appears to be free space. Uh, a circular extension of the room that is on the north uh, eastern side. But the main detail of the room is nine beds. Yep, again, he'll just he'll just start turning and start making his way I'm, uh, here to see what's down this hall. Fenris intercepts you as you come out of the room. Well, ah, I have a question. Something what, con blank. What, con what constitutes as an attack? Uh, uh, hitting something. If you, any, if you any, hit me, Any time allow. where you do anything that is described as taking the attack action. <laughs> Does a flick count? No, you're good. I flick Nemric on the back of the ear. And Turn on. around looking like, ah! Huh, huh. Will you stop wandering without the rest of the group, please? Fenris, what? I'm just looking for stairs. Obviously, that's what we need, what we need to find. We need to stick together. This can't... They said there was only four people up here. The rest of them are downstairs. We should, be, we should have full reign of this place. Don't worry. They're understaffed, they said. You can't see, but you can probably tell that by Fenris's tone she's pouting. I told all of you, I'm not here to be against you. I'm going to try to find Lexi as quick as we can. Especially if they're torturing them with some performance or something. Sorry, she just, um... She means a lot to me. Let's make haste, then. And then, the sounds of feet. Feathers heads back to the rest of the group. Why the hell are you invisible? I'm just—it just keeps going. <laughs> and what are you doing, Nemric? I am—I am flying this way, checking out the because everything seems symmetrical. He's just going to be checking out the uh, the door on the on the other side as well. But uh, I, it would take me a bit to get there, probably. So whatever they were I didn't doing. Realize if there was a hallway there, could I have stuck with Nemric? <laughs> sure. Is it too late. Okay. I don't. I don't. Think I didn't know. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay, as you do so. Uh, Nemrek, you go up to that door. I'm just gonna quickly scroll down to a thing. What am I looking at? I'm looking at... You open the door. As you walk towards it, uh, you open the door to what appears to be... Um, I will have my wings off, by the way, right now, because, again, like, even if they said that there's only four people up here, if we do run into somebody, he wants to at least still be able to pretend. You <laughs> enter into a room uh, that is a curiously symbolic sight. The room seems to be some kind of lab. There's a single long table spanning one corner of the room. Uh, I'm going to move you just slightly farther in so you can see everything on the map. One table that occupies the corner of the room. Uh, and there is a table on the center that has a what looks to be a pot that contains a uh, thick, oily substance that has the consistency of quicksilver. Simply sitting on a suspended tub. In the corner, the cur most curious thing in the room is there is a massive statue of what looks to be a coiled serpent resting at the center of what seems to be a fountain. The fountain itself containing um, a clear liquid that you might mistake for water, except it has a uh, scent to it, a medical, alcoholic almost, uh, scent to it that burns your nose whenever you, whenever you catch a smell of it. <clears throat> Uh, this is beyond my pay grade. I don't know what any of this is. This line, like, looks around for a second. Uh, I'll, I will, I will go and check out the, uh, the, the table and the, and the, uh, the pot. What you see on the table appears to mostly be rudimentary alchemy supplies. Um, the pot, again, has the consistency of quicksilver, which, if, it's mercury, effectively. Um, it, like, it's not mercury, but, uh, if you don't know what Quicksilver is, Fantasy it's mercury. mercury. <laughs> yep. It's literally just another word for mercury. Heck yeah. Um, heckin, yeah, it just seems to be a part of this thick, oily substance with that consistency. Looks like molten metal, except not nearly as hot. Da -da -da. Uh, with my, with my, uh, 
background in like like going after people as well as my like spy background would I have would I have seen anything similar to this before? It's alchemy. Okay, so it's just like it's just alchemy supplies. Yeah. I'll start making my way back, and I'm just gonna say I'm not sure where Fenris is, but I'm just gonna say like under my breath as I'm walking through, just like anybody know any any, any of them know anything about this? I think so. I think What's beyond me? Snake is peculiar. Perhaps another animated statue. I'm glad that didn't come alive. Oh, there's no stairs. He'll start making his way out. Just follow him behind. Alrighty. Rest of the group. Know, again, they're probably doing other things, but we'll probably make it back to the center of the room, like center yep. area. Rest of the group, you see Nemrek return. Fenris also returns, but you do not see that. Ah! There I am! <laughs> that's the one I can see. There's uh, the barracks off that way, and there's a strange alchemical room over there with a large snake statue, but nothing that I can find that has anything to do with stairs. Well, let's go this way. Okay. All right. Um, oh, they're around. Okay. As Miriam starts moving, just kind of wordlessly, um, Abby will just put her hand on his head, kind of just between his horns, and just kind of let it linger there for a moment, and then let it go, just very much like a silent apology, and then continue walking. We'll grab it. going on <laughs> I am what? not quite sure uh, I'm putting on a silent show watch oh. as I kiss the air oh some oh, go on. form of entertainment <laughs> performance art yeah it's 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 Kuhuli and you probably wouldn't get it ah. it's not really the time for the performing arts Agreed. Listen, all of the Master things Lexi. I do are based in the performing arts. That's the performing how I arts kill got people. us in here. <laughs> performing no, arts got us actually, in here. Let's be honest. That's very interesting. Anyways, where did those oxen Lexi? go? They're dead. Yeah, <laughs> I saw them die. <laughs> I'll just follow after after Miriam because he yeah, said he's going off in a direction. The east. There's a door here, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna go through that door. Okay. Follow us after. Let's go. Let's go. Go. As you go, you find it opens up into a hallway that leads back around the way you came and up towards the door at the northern end of the hallway. Okay, so, guys, let's let's, let's not let's not move all the tokens while we're doing this. There's no let's need for that. Moving as a group. Yeah, yeah okay. I'm just, I'm just uh, looking at Miriam. Come on, champ. Which way? This way. Oh, you mean right now? Left. Does right his way up there? The way we can. Yeah, we're going to go to the door of the north. Not roger, ready. roger. Whenever you head up. Opening that door. Actually, give me one sec. Where are you? As you head towards it, you open that door. And you find there are several massive barrels with taps attached sitting along one wall of this room. Clear water dripping from sealed faucets. Upon those, uh, upon those barrels. There is a pile of boxes with various basic living supplies sitting against, uh, the other side. A single torch illuminates the entirety of the room. Beyond that, doesn't seem like there's anything terribly special in here. Staircases Empiricus. No, we're good. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna turn around and start making his way back. Do, 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 do. Storage. Uh, he'll go, go south and go look to this one. Just, yeah, it's like, we'll go south and check and see if there's anything around. Hey! around as you move, you see that to the Aha! southeast, there is a ladder that heads up and directly to the northeast. Don't get too excited. That doesn't go down. That goes up. Uh -huh. There's a spiral staircase that seems to head up towards the second floor. When it goes up, all right, if I was building a castle, I would build the way down on the opposite side then. I did run through there pretty quickly. Yeah, let's go take a look there. And if not, then... Yeah. I mean, there's still the one room that's in the center of the... You find an identical there. staircase on the opposite side, but it also it goes, goes up. up. Mm. Of course. Uh, and then this hallway along here leads to the room that uh, 
he had mentioned earlier, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, no. Well, uh, actually, no, the room, the, the snake room, is up there. Oh, then Mary yeah, will follow that hallway. Yeah, All right. Go to to another storage just area. Walk or... by for the purposes of it. You open up that door on the side as well. No reason not to. As you open Ooh. it, the room that you open uh, up into the door is actually ajar. Whenever you come there, it seems like they I had come know. from that room. Uh, this long room features a well-kept rug, a long wooden table with several stools, and a cabinet with dining supplies on the far wall. It appears to be a meeting room of some nature. Ah. This is terribly boring. All right, looks like the way down is up. Yeah, it seems like the room uh, yeah. the room that's just off to the center uh, area would be best. Yeah, oh, yes. the north it's our last of the spot atrium. Let's take a look at that, and then uh, if not there, we'll then that we'll move upstairs. We haven't checked this, but we've checked uh, all these upper areas. Yeah. As you head towards it, stepping over the now dimming, destroyed body of uh, Cography, uh, you head towards it. You see it's a very large iron door that is set. It's a set of double doors. No windows or anything oh. leading in. As of you try, this is it. as you try to open it, uh, you find that it is locked. It rattles as you try to pull against it. Yeah, this is definitely it, guys. This is bars. This, this uh, clearly, this is to keep people, you know, in and out. I'm on it. What you? Oh, okay. I will check for traps first and foremost. Roll me investigation. Doing so. He ya. Not as far as I'm you sure. can see. Um, and I'm just trying to remember because I don't have the gloves of thievery on me actually but i'm like i'm trying to remember what their properties are is that to my sl it adds plus five they're to my slate of hand they're not on you i don't because we we just said i took them from the bag but i don't actually have them in my inventory oh, one sec i'll get their effect for you okay thank you appreciate you so much gloves of thievery uh, yeah, they would, they add a plus five bonus to sleight of hand checks and dexterity checks made to pick locks. Okay, that's what I thought. So put a five in your modifier window and roll thieves okay. tools if that's what you intend to do. Yep, that's what I'm doing. So if this explodes, um, okay, blame them blame right. Yeah, sure. Start yeah. shaking my fist preemptively. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you should take a step back, Master Merriam. What? Oh, I'm fine. You rolled an eight and got a result of twenty-seven. Yeah. <laughs> Rogues. <That's scary. laughs> you got the nine and got a twenty-seven. Oh. <laughs> oh. Jeez. That's a nine. You're right. You managed to open it. You uh, jiggle the lock free, and you manage to, to, to beat the tumblers and uh, unscrew the, the 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 knobs. And you do what you do. Oh, set on one. Oh, set on two. Yeah. Look out of three. And there we have it. Alrighty. You, Avi, managed to open it. It The doors swing inward, revealing what appears to be a large pit, a descent that goes down with stairs wrapping around the edge of it, winding stairs that are heading down into the darkness below. <laughs> it's always the last place you look, because you never keep on looking once you find a thing. Yeah, that's fair. That is accurate. Actually, that's not true. Quintus did that once. But, uh, but, but he always did things in a strange way. It's true. This Quintus sounds frustrating. Sounds frustrating. I miss Quintus. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Anyways, yeah. invisible people, you guys scout because I don't want to die. Oh, yeah. Certainly. <laughs> I'm on it. I will walk past Miriam and scout ahead. But I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use my boots uh, to float a little off the ground so that my heels clicking uh, doesn't give away any sound. Lexi, okay. I am going to change you to be invisible. Oh, <laughs> so that they cannot just find you on the map. Oh, but I have my my my, my locate. Bing. Thing. Yeah, sure. Like battleship. You know the direction. You know the direction. I can I can show you the direction when you need it. Otherwise, <laughs> I'm about to share a new map with you guys. <gasps> oh. Oh. Does it does it feel like we're going? Well, I guess we were. She's down, so of course it feels like. It we're feels going you feel direction. like you're going down. <laughs> and yelling timber. 
Come here. Come here. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> we're going down. Down in an earlier round. <laughs> and and sugar, sugar, we're going, going down, down swing in. Sorry. Okay, I'm good. So yeah, I'd like to know what the marching order for this uh, general excursion is. Um, I'll take, uh, I'll take point. I'll be behind Could her. Be okay. Assuming you're going two by two, um, who else is in the front? I can go right behind them. Yeah, I'm Could gonna go right move. behind them. Oh. I'll be. Aaron has I'll informed me that my ploys did not work. It's no, true. I just. Oh, well, I he was the only one it. honest enough to tell me. Well, I zoomed in so I didn't see it. I just pre I proceeded to try and ignore it. Exactly. Don't worry about it. Now I have to do this. There we go. Yes, <laughs> the damage is done. Now all I can do is hope that you will forget what you've seen as you Actually, explore. I'm Mm -hmm. I have brain empty. Not that it really matters that much, because locate person is mostly telling you where it is, but you didn't know the exact location, and that was mm -hmm. the point. Mm -hmm. I, I set her to always invisible, but I guess it doesn't apply to you guys. Um, yeah, uh, much like when we're like blinded, we can still see each other's positions. And yeah. Alright, so sorry. So who's in front beside Avi? I got caught up in the Lexi thing there. Uh, tag. I, oh, I thought you said you were behind Avi. Oh, yeah, I was gonna be. Mm. But, yeah. I'll be behind her. Okay, like right so behind. who's up in front yeah. beside Avi? Uh, I'll go there. Because okay. I, uh, I can also uh, move somewhat quietly with uh, my flying boots. And then who is going to be in the second flank uh, beside Tag? Me. And then the back's I'm Mariam? I'm so stealthy. And then the horn boys in the back. Yeah. Mariam and... Yeah, we'll be we'll be back in the back there. Mariam and Num Num Boy. The vis Num Num the Boy. Boys. I that's, like being Num Num Boy. That's who you are now. You're Num Num Boy. Num Num. <laughs> Master Num Num Boy, what shall we do? <laughs> Master Num Num. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, my guys, uh, I'm gonna make this the edge. I'm gonna get my document up. As you enter, as you come down into the main area, uh, you emerge into a long, open, 100 foot long, 40 foot wide room that splits like a nexus into various directions. There are paths heading south, southeast, east, and west, which you'll be able to see a bit better as you go in. The area is lit scantily by uh, a series of torches, but they're smaller than normal. The light from them doesn't seem to be reaching... Uh, it's not burning quite as bright as regular torches. Uh, where are you? There are a set of eight pillars that line this hallway directly ahead of the entrance where you came from. And in the center of these eight pillars, the first thing that catches your eyes as you enter is you see a very large statue, twice as large as a humanoid should be, of what appears to be a, um, of what appears to be a, let me make sure I get this right, what appears to be a, a sun elf, with blue, uh, blue dress on, dancing wildly, chains flourishing around them. Which Sid was nice enough to, I don't normally get unique elements made for maps, but Sid was nice enough to, Make us a very a unique oh, element. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. Thank you, Sid. <laughs> Sid's gonna start making more maps for us, and I'm excited for it because they're gonna they're gonna be Ooh. like outside this. But that's that's in the that's in the future. Um, Exciting. At the end, uh, past the large statue, which is raised on this large altar, like there's an altar that goes up about five six feet, um, and then there's the statue on top of it, this larger than life depiction of a sun elf dancing. A sun elf with dark skin, blue dress. Uh, like I said, the chains wisping around them. Uh, hair tied up. You don't recognize them? Uh, if Lexi were to see it, it is a statue of Ravissimo. Called it. Knew it. Several candles are placed around it to make sure it is always brightly illuminated in the center of this hallway. Uh, at the end of this large hallway, there is a massive set of drapes that ornamentally cover a large portion of the wall down at the end, on the northernmost side. The From here you can tell they vaguely seem to be a tapestry that's faded over time that is depicting a uh, an old war, but you can't quite tell much about the details of it. The torches line the wall roughly every 20 feet or so. As you enter, is there anything that you'd like to do? Any direction you'd like to move in, any precautions you'd like to take. 
I'd like to start moving quietly in the back. Yeah. Since yeah. Mim and I are still visible, especially us, we need yeah. to be stealthing. I'd like everybody then to please roll stealth. Those that are invisible, roll it with advantage, but I think it'll automatically do that for you. Oh, please. Oh, I dropped... I nearly got a 20. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Oh, <laughs> oh I just oh, rolled it. one. It only rolled oh, one? I didn't even roll it. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, you didn't even roll I, I saw... I saw a dice roll on my side. You're bad. Damn. Sometimes it do that. It still only rolled one. I'm glad I beat Flux. Why is it? Uh, Fenris, what do you got going on that's making me do that? I, I think it thought my, oh, my no! Flux was violent. Yeah. Wait a minute, was... hold on. You should have been straight. It would have been, no, still would have been the one. Yeah, you should have <laughs> been the one, yeah. Yep. So. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> Fenris. And Tagachi should, uh, should have had regular, right? Yes, but yeah, we but looked at it. It five. is the one he would have yeah, gotten. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fenris, you have a six? Cool. So that's good. Uh, as you all <laughs> enter, there's a bit of stumbling around in the dark. You all en emerge into the center of this area. Um, I... Bumping into each other. They're like, oh, sorry. I need to roll... Yeah. As you enter the room, I need to roll a d100 real quick. I just imagine, oh, like, no. when, you know when one it's person gonna be... stops... It's going to be some soft wandering mechanics going on in the background. Where the guards at? At where them guards at? <laughs> where would they be? Okay, good to know. I'm ordering some Panda Express because I'm really hungry. That sounds fair. I'm ordering Panera. I didn't feel hungry earlier because I was sick, but now I feel all of the hunger that I did have earlier. It's weird. Oh, no. I also didn't feel hunger earlier. In the deafening silence of the area that you're in, you guys find there doesn't seem to be anybody immediately around. What would you like to do? Can, can I, I want to use... Uh, I'm going to use uh, 30 points of my lay on hands to heal me. Okay. I don't. Okay. Yeah, don't, the interim. Mm? Don't don't worry about like edging yourself like five oh. feeters though, guys. Yeah, sorry, I let go halfway through. I was just gonna go over and just peer around the corner. You would know. Uh, Lexi seems to be in. Yeah. Hold on. This direction. Have you? No. Okay, Fenris is much calmer than that. Um, Fenris would just peer, see if what she can see, which is not much. And Down that hallway, return. you see a oh. hall that disappears into the darkness. Your dark vision does not reach the end of it. Um, to the, I... but there is a uh, a branch that heads out to the east. And I listen to hear, see if I can hear any uh, footfalls. Roll me perception. Okay. Okay. Nineteen. Nice. You hear some movement within this place. It is echoing from somewhere within the facility, but you can't quite he uh, hear where. The only thing you're certain of it is that it is not from the south. Okay. Um. I'll I'll return to the group. And relay the information of, um, I believe, in, uh, the, I believe Lexi is in, and she'll point, realize that they can't see her point, and then <laughs> explain, uh, perhaps, oh, I don't know directions really well. Oh no, my directional challenges are showing. My right, your, my right, my left, my front, my back. Uh, where are you facing tag? No tag network! Oh god! <laughs> my right, my front. You indicate the direction that corresponds to the, the yes. compass that is now. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, I, I do that. Um, I look down the hallway, and there doesn't seem to be anyone immediately near us. But I do hear footfall. That could be um, Lexi, any of the other prisoners, or guards down here. I wasn't able to discern. But uh, mm -hmm. it looks like the hallway that I was looking down um, should be safe for the most part. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look them. 
Sorry. I look to marry him. I'm going to point off. There's also, if we look off that way, a way going off to that direction as well. Which one should I, we go? I perhaps don't want to go near that statue after the last one. Fair. That's just Do you my think it will come to life? We'll take Fenris into account. Fenris has the best idea where they are, so... I think the way we should move, especially for the invisible peoples, we'll go corridor to corridor, and when we reach a corner, I'll just wait for everyone, Fenris, and then let them know which direction you're turning quietly. Mm. That way we can follow you with some reasonable degree of accuracy. Sure. Okay. And, um, is, Alviana, is Alviana taking point, then? I can take point again. I don't mind. All right, Fen and Alvi will move together. Uh, then we'll keep the Gucci and Flux in the middle, and then us visible folk will take the rear. Ben will go over and take one of Avi's hands. Uh. I, I can't see you, and so this is just more efficient. I did, however, somehow know where your hand was. Uh, <laughs> there's like a hand <laughs> on a shoulder, and then like a, a fumbling <laughs> down the way. arm. Uh, like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I, I think that was your shoulder. Okay, there's your hand. <laughs> I'll just follow the sound of squirming. Just don't tell Tantia. Uh. <laughs> Fenris is pouting again. <laughs> so where are you heading? I... Which way are we heading, Fenny Boo? Yep, you're a compass. Oh, all right. Oh, if fantasy grounds won't start wigging out, stop wigging out. <laughs> Over here. Make sure you go around Follow walls. Follow in. Yes. Make them all Follow in. Follow in the leader, the leader, the leader. I would say probably down this corridor here. All right, as you do, you reveal that section. You see there is what appears to be a uh, reinforced uh, wood a wood door that is reinforced with iron uh, framing blocks the way down there. Does it appear yes. to have a lock? Uh, yes. Javi, you're on. Bender right. over him. And kind of stand in the hallway to make sure there's no one coming down this way. All I right. will oh, check. Oh, no, I can't. Sorry. Do you want to give me a little help, then? Guiding me? Perhaps. I can't, because that's concentration. Oh, yeah, that's concentration. <laughs> that's, that, Sorry, that's Dusty. Cast. No, it's just casting a spell, and then you pop out of it. But also knock out your invisibility yeah. if you do that. Yeah, that, mm. that was my... I was like, yeah. I can bring that exactly what I was thinking, though. That's just... Nah, I should be fine. I'll be this. fine. <laughs> you have to see for brain blast? I need much more than a, than a plus 18. Oh! oh. oh. Only a 19. It's a reaction, so I think so, yeah. Yeah, that is. That hasn't come yeah. up before, actually. That, that's fine. Don't worry about it. I got a 19 total. Alrighty. As you walk over, uh, and okay. you attempt to unlock it, mm -hmm. you find yeah, the I lock is a bit more difficult than things that you've encountered previously here. Um, but you do manage to open it. Oh, well, that was just my investigation checking for traps. Oh, I, my I bad. Sorry. To open it. Go ahead. Mm. Go ahead, roll, roll I've these tools. My, I've added my <laughs> plus five for my... You don't find traps, by plus. the way. You don't find traps. Cool. <laughs> Sorry. I saw the 19. I, I thought that's what you're going straight for. Hey, so. You gotta be spooky, but you're, you don't find any traps. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, if I told you it didn't open, how confusing <laughs> would that be? <laughs> I can... I mean, wait, it, it, look in! <laughs> yeah, you managed to open it. Uh, upon hearing the the click of the lock, um, Fenris will go and collect everyone. As you do that, I need to roll 1d12. Pretty sure we're right behind you. <laughs> we're not moving because we're not moving down the thing. Oh, I'm pretty sure we're uh, is, is based off what Aaron said, is, is it not that they're moving ahead and you guys are waiting to be told to move? Mm. Uh, yeah, we'll move in formation, but generally we'll go to like intersections and yeah. then we'll just take from Fenris which way they want to go. With so like we'll go American, to each like corner. American and me area. will lag behind because mm -hmm. we're the we're the things that will break this whole stealth operation. Okay, but uh, the other ones can easily keep up with them. You all go to there. 
but you guys are are you lagging behind like staying all the way back there or are you uh we would be probably at this corner at this point okay yeah as you move forward as you open it up you see that the room ahead of you um avi you don't see any features the edge of your vision ends before the hallway lets out so it just seems to be a hallway that uh, continues on into the darkness. Fenris, you can see far enough that you can see there is at least a three-way split that is a bit farther down. Uh, Tag, you can see far enough down that hallway that you can see there's a three-way s- or the a two-way split. There's a path going up and down about uh, halfway down, and then at the end there's another set that goes up and down. And okay. Flux, you can see there is one turn and then one way that goes into darkness. So Tag can see the most. Yeah. I'll so uh, I'll whisper the information to to the rest uh, to these four here or to gang. these three to the gang. Uh, yeah, there's a uh, as far as I can see, uh, the hallway uh, goes until there's a uh, a split going up or down, and then a little behind that there's a. a hall- a hallway that goes up, and a hallway that goes down. Hmm. So... Maybe this is asking too much of the locate creature spell, but does Lexi feel like she's lower than us right now, or higher than us? Lexi feels like she's that way. Okay, that's what I figured. You feel like you're on the same level, like, of elevation as Lexi. Hmm. I think we're probably going to have to go a little bit closer before I can determine if we're heading the wrong direction or not. Okay. All right. I see. Go get the others. Yeah. I do so. I do so. Yeah. Alrighty. You guys are brought Come down. Here. As you in here, we would probably wait on the other side of the door, maybe, while they move forward. Sure, if you want to. We, or will we wait like like here? What do you think? Uh, uh, we'd move up to turn. the first turn. Because okay, that way, so yeah, if, we'd be there, if Fenris turns, then she can just tell us that they're turning, and we just <clears throat> fall out of the next intersection. Okay, when you guys move yeah. up roughly about that far. As you move up to the first turn, you start to see that down the uh, these hallways are lines of cells. Hmm. The hallway that's up above you to the north uh, turns towards the west and disappears into darkness. Uh, the one that you are above, the one that goes south, goes four cells down and then hits a dead end. Fenris, uh, what, which way does, uh, is your sense pointing you towards? Forward, I believe. Lexi is that way. Uh, error did not show up on my, ah, thank you. Mm, I think okay. we're going to go down this hallway and then to our left. Roger, roger. Okay. As you move. Who has the highest passive in this group? It's Nemric, right? I believe so, yeah. Nemric, you start to hear the soft footfalls of what uh, sound like sandals upon the ground coming from, uh, echoing from up ahead of where you guys are. Company up ahead. Uh, how many? I do not know. I'm gonna go here. Yeah, I'll follow him. Yeah, should. Remember the butterflies can see you guys. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Correct. I'm gonna uh, dip down this way. Yep. Fenris is gone. All right, you guys rush off to the side. Tag and Miriam, what are you doing? I see. I was following Nemric. Tries to get behind Mem- Nemric, fl- piles in a flux. As you guys look out, <laughs> down along the uh, uh, hallway, you see a candle being carried by one of the crimson butterflies walking around the corner. Uh-oh. And they turn. I roll a d10. I do 100, guys. two. And they turn in the direction that you guys are, and they start slowly walking uh, this way. Do any of the cells nearby look open or unlocked? No, uh, they do not. They all seem to be closed and empty. Um, okay. Miriam will make his way farther up. Uh, since you can see it at the end of the hallway, he'll stall his way up here and try and enter. Um, yeah, I'll follow. The last cell. That's 
My turn. Oh, it's a hollow. <laughs> yeah, I Even follow better. him. Um, yeah, he moved to that corner. I will also follow. I shall follow in s as well. You guys well, head up, so. <laughs> looking to get out of the way. As you do, in that case, Avi and Fenris. I need you two to re-roll re -roll stealth checks. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm scared, okay. Remember to mark advantage, Fenris. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Nope, Thank you. don't. Oh, oh, right, right. no, because oh, then his ability yeah. does nothing for them. Yeah, that's your... Mm. Okay, okay, oh, nice. I'm waiting for it okay. to catch up with itself. Oh, that was... Was, was that stealth? I hope yeah, so, because there was... Nice! Oh, would have been in mine either way, because I dropped the second three. As the crimson butterfly continues to walk along, you see the candlelight slowly pass by the hallway that you two hide down. They continue walking, and I need to roll a d4 at that intersection. No, you don't. Go no, away. Don't. It's silly. Tag, you still looking down the end, looking down towards the intersection, you see this crimson butterfly stop. They turn, and they begin oh, oh. heading up the hallway that you all ducked down. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going! Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> the next intersection. <laughs> <laughs> you guys run. Up, 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 up. Are you going up or down? Where are you going? We're going up. Uh, he turned fast. I guess we're going with him. All right. All right yes. Since you guys head up towards it. Follow the leader. You hit a locked door. Fuck. I, uh, I pull out my thief tools. I'm sure I still have them. Hold on, let me double check. All right. You see the light of the candle slowly approaching from the hallway uh, that you just came from. <laughs> As Mariam, you try to fumble with yep. your thieves' tools. Go ahead and roll me a thieves' tools check. No Aviana, but maybe. <laughs> As you try to open it, you spend several seconds trying to click it open. Unfortunately, you don't manage to. May I give it a shot, uh, Master Miriam? Do not. You Darn see it. the footfalls of a crimson butterfly rounding the corner just as you go to do this. Go ahead, uh, Flux, go ahead and roll. Can I brain blast myself uh, without seeing myself? Like, uh, yeah. yeah, go ahead. You can do that. No. It's, an, it's something it's an you're aware of. Yeah. Aware of and something you could reasonably instruct upon are my two criteria for that. Um,. And yeah, you can obviously brain blast yourself doing, through doing something you're doing. Gotcha, just, just I checking. I want you to know in my heart of hearts, I want you to have disadvantage because you're invisible and trying to pick a lock, but I'm not going to be mean to you. <laughs> I have mm. excellent proprioception. Uh, Let's go, my dude. I'm on flexing ten. Uh-oh. You right. barely manage as you oh. try to do it. You try to click into it. You find this lock does have uh, relative complexity. The Crimson Butterfly steps out into the hallway. You see their head turn down towards the southern one as they look that way. And then as they begin sweeping their head back towards where you are, you feel the lock give and it clicks. <laughs> go, go, go! Go, 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 go! <laughs> where do you guys go in? Once you, okay, oh, before you move, before anyone moves, before anyone moves, as a DM, send me left or right. Oh, oh, oh let's go, let's go. Like on here, whisper in fantasy rooms. Oh, I'm there. Oh, uh, so that's a how slash do I DM. Again? Yep. Slash DM. Watch none of these work, and we just uh, see it all in the chat. Uh. I mean, Fenris and Avi are just straight chilling right now. Uh, mm. I wrote it oh, in the chat. We leave our boys. Are you having some trouble, Cody? Five minutes. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure it. Slash WDM? Slash right? W space GM space your message. GM. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Ah. <laughs> did it do it? I think it did it. Yep. You all rush through okay. as you do. Uh, everybody goes right except Flux. It's <laughs> <laughs> to the left all of you move you end up in a room where what you see within it give me one moment uh 
there is the stench of rot that comes wafting up into this room. As you enter into it, you see the room seems to consist of one large uh, alcove that has a archway over it that leads to what look like a graded floor. Like the floor is just a large um, series of metal strips. Uh, on either side of this alcove, on the outsides, there are these massive cranks that look like they require two people to operate each, that have uh, bounds of chain wrapped around them, which disappear down into the floor. Underneath the iron-grated floor that is in the middle of this alcove, uh, you hear the sound of hollow wind moving. There's clearly a pit that goes some ways down there. Flux, you, oh. don't, you don't see that. Flux, you come around and you find yourself entering into roughly the main hallway again, except this time you're closer to the tapestry that covers the... Uh, top of the area. <laughs> what? And at what point so would like, I'm I have glad seen... we're all over here. <laughs> <laughs> at, at what point would I have seen the visible people going in a different direction? You were... directing <laughs> well, you both acted with haste, so I'd say you get to about where you are. You both move, you turn, you see the others. You see Nemrick and Miriam just looking at you. There's a moment of apprehension, and then you see that source of light approaching the door that you just ex exited ah, through. Ah. Get moving, get moving! Right. <laughs> Around the corner! Around the corner! I'm following Nemrick. It was you guys run. You rush oh, to get behind. Yeah. You rush to get behind the area. As you do, Flux, you're rounding the corner. <laughs> yeah, like like the corner that's next to me. Yep. You get down there. Yeah. The Crimson Butterfly walks out, regards the area, they turn. They put their hand up gently towards the door. It closes, and you hear the click of its lock sliding back into place. You also hear from much farther down, a similar click comes from farther. Presumably, the other door is now closed again as well. Yeah. Wunderbar. <laughs> Crimson Butterfly then turns. You see them put their hand up, and they snuff out the candle. As they do, as darkness overtakes them, even those with dark vision, uh, you seem to see that as the darkness asserts itself, the crimson butterfly simply disappears into thin air. Oh no! But I have devil sight. Mm-hmm. B. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to do? I'd like to go back, as you just had a minute there, Avi and Fenris. It would have been a solid 30 seconds or so. Where, uh, there was just shuffling and movement as the Crimson Butterfly unknowingly chased them up towards that area. <laughs> what would you like to do? Where did they go? Shit. Lots. <laughs> they could be fine. Um, do we wait? Uh, Fenris is going to walk to the edge of the hallway and do a little peek see peek down the hallway and then a good listen to see if she can hear footfalls. Roll me a perception. I will. Ooh! I was so close to a 20! It's still good. You don't hear anything. Mm. Verboten. Mm. Um, we could... Wait a little bit longer, but I don't like waiting too long, just no. in case. How about we give it a minute? And then... Give it 40 seconds. Okay. And we'll wait for the next 40 seconds. Uh... In that time, what are those of you that went up to the top? What do you want to do? Uh, if I don't immediately hear them approaching, I'll give it a, you know, a couple yeah, seconds. Yeah, I'm also I'm listening for footfalls, but I, also got, I gotta go grab my food. I'm sorry, be right back. Oh, my food's okay. probably, one sec. Actually, I ordered taco time. It is probably downstairs. Right. I'm gonna go take it out of the right. cold. I'll be right back. <laughs> quick break, quick break. Real quick break, everybody. Okay. Okay. Place your votes now, Ted. Place your votes now. We're gonna get detected. Have we already been detected? Why can't Taguchi see them in the darkness? It's because the darkness is magical. It's because it makes them invisible. But let's pretend we don't know that. Why could it be? We <laughs> crazy. 
was who actually murdered when no one was looking. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> I, I want a fucking refund on my Loki creature. Does <laughs> Lexi is gay? <laughs> <laughs> the rumor come out. Even she doesn't know. <laughs> like, it doesn't tell you if it's alive or not. You just find Lexi's fucking dead corpse in a cell. You're like, oh, <laughs> no! No! Oh, no. no. Find her alive corpse. Oh. Yep. Aww. Her alive Oh, I, I see. Oh. Bitches have to die. Oh. Oh, I guess we're murdering yes. all of Honokuni. Got it. The oh. artist oh, formerly known as Lexi. Happening. Hell yeah. I am returned. I Welcome Thank back, you. snack man. I do got snacks. Snack oh, man. I have snacks. Wait, I, they're very loud. I have burritos. So I'm try to eat them in the small, small break. I'm the burrito man. I have cheese puffs. Cheesy puffs. Cheesy. These puffs. are the same ones I was eating in rage while we were playing. Uh, <laughs> Eat them up, eat them up, eat them up, eat them up. These are the ones I was eating during uh, Keep Talking and No One Explodes. Hell yeah, oh. that was such a good time. Uh -huh. What a good game. I'm actually excited to ta tackle that again, I think. I was like, do you want to... I was like, we have no plans for next week. You want to do it again? <laughs> I mean, for real, for real, because, like... Mother, the, the fuck man! Uh, what was the one that, like... The fuck man. It was like it I was heard the, it too. Uh, yep. <laughs> it was the it was the word puzzle that kept fucking us. I don't like it. I know, I fucking hate it. So. How? Huh? Hmm? How how did it keep fucking you? We we were following the instructions and it kept exploding. Ah, I see. To be fair, the I did not puzzle? ever score very high on reading comprehension on my SATs. <laughs> so I could be stupid, but I'd like to think I'm not stupid. No, we'll but give it another go. I also, I'm like, we should figure out what, what else, what the fuck we're gonna play. Oh, for <laughs> sure. I have no idea. I'm, I'm like, I'm back. There, there's some good games. <laughs> I'm trying to find out if this game that I got is no, like never. multiplayer. I'll look at it mm. after, but it's like Scrabble, but it's also an RPG. <gasps> Alrighty, Ooh. is everybody back? Uh, yeah. Carrie's in the yeah, bathroom, but she's not needed. So, mm. <laughs> not currently. Yeah. But soon, if I have anything to say about it. Alrighty. Well, well, let's. Uh, we can jump jump back in. She'll probably come back before it's super important. Probably. All right. <laughs> so, group up top. We'll say a, a moment goes by. Uh, Flux, what are you doing in particular? Hmm. Well, that. Uh. Did I did I see them uh, disappear, or did I like hear it or anything? Hmm. The crimson butterfly there. Or? You would have seen them put the candle out and vanish. Gotcha. Okay, so not sure what's going on with that, but feel like going south is the safer option. So I guess I'll try and loop back the way we came, and see if I can meet back up with Fenris and. And Aviana. Hmm. As you head down that way. Hmm. Sorry, I'm snacking. As you head down that way, you find the doors closed, and when you try to open it, it is locked again. Alright, I'll pull out my thieves' tools. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. I'll, uh. Yeah, I'll just bring blast it. Why not? A bit. It's too important to screw up. Habe! You managed to reopen it. Whew, okay. S very, very gingerly open the door, just oiling the hinges as I go. <laughs> hey, what'd you say about gingers? WD-40. <laughs> Fenris, <laughs> you see Flux coming back from the other way, coming from where you guys came Do from. Do I see him? Ah, uh, he's invisible! No, you don't! You're right! <laughs> yeah. So I'm just, like, gliding on my... Uh, gliding on my boots. Yeah, you see the door close, lock, unlock itself, and then open. Um, I... Uh-oh. 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 Do I, do I hear the uh-ohs? I, I mean, I, I assume. Not. Oh, well... 
Uh, all right, Feathers I will... is going to keep adamantly watching. All right, I will try to get up to uh, the corner where uh, Fenris and Aviana ducked into, just very quietly, like, Fenris, uh, Avi. For Quinn's sake, did you have to scare me that badly? <laughs> oh, I am, I'm terribly sorry. I did not mean to. I am just trying to make sure we do not get, quiet. do not get gone. Yeah, I'm uh, Nemric, are you ready to? Oh, you're not with you. Uh, this is no. very confusing. I got split off. We 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 ran away from from someone who uh, might have been able to see us, and we ran in different mm. directions at the spur of the moment. Oh. They they went right when I went left, so I circled back. Um. Uh, okay. Do you want me to go look? Mm. Uh, mm. I guess. I think we may be better served by continuing on our normal route. If they are going in the direction I think they are, we may our paths may intersect. Perhaps. Uh, I suppose that's a good idea. Especially since the sending spell doesn't really work well here. I should also mention that the person who was following us put out a candle and then seemed to disappear completely. Hmm. That's not I do good. not know if they became invisible, or if they teleported, but I think we should use extreme caution. More reason not to waste time. And Fenris is gonna... He's starving? Alright, as you DM, come to that area. Do I, see, do I see blood on the ground? Where you are? Yeah. Perhaps like old, stuff. dried blood that hasn't been cleaned properly, but nothing and fresh. And you, right? Yep. Just clarifying, I'm gonna cast message and just whisper... Uh, into my hand in the direction I remember them being, just be like, all right, we, uh, we're okay, but we found a body pit. Um, we'll, we'll get back to you. Keep on, keep on mission. <laughs> who who gets that? Uh, to, uh, it'd yeah. uh, be to Avi. <laughs> be quiet, but make your way back as soon as possible. We're moving forward. That, that worked? Have I been convincing myself that the sending spell doesn't work in Hanakuni this whole time? That was message, not sending. That was message. We weren't. We also weren't trying to send it out of Honokuni because when we tried to use it before, we were trying to contact Hathoyura. Okay. So we don't know if it works within, uh, but message seemed to work unless DMs is otherwise now. Yep, hmm. you got the message. Okay. It's right? plenty fair, Alejandro. <laughs> <laughs> it's within the rules of the game. <laughs> yeah. You butt out. You tell him. Um, getting. What, what did you just oh, do, Baron? I sent a message to Aviana, just letting them know that we're not dead yet. I'm also going to lean over and cast Minor Illusion, uh, and I'll have to peek around the corner, but at the edge of my vision. How far can I get? I'm gonna move to there, just so I can see what I can see. Uh, is it somewhere I can see? What's the range on you? Never mind. <laughs> okay. Have, if I were to do that, I would only draw them in our direction. So, <laughs> which is the antithesis of my goal. Could you cast that message thing on Lexi? Uh, I, I need to know what direction she is. She's roughly over there. Um, oh. I'll try. I'm gonna cast Masters and point uh, eastward. Hey, eastward? Uh, yeah. Okay. Like, just that way. Okay. Um, Lexi, we're here. I don't know if you can hear this. Um, it's Miriam. Hi. Sorry about the not saving you. We doing that now. I've, I've exceeded my limit. One second. I cast message again. Uh, anyways, uh, if you are <laughs> hearing this, you can reply to this message. <laughs> No response. Did I hear it? Mm. <laughs> All right. Well, if uh, if they did hear it, then they can't talk right now. Hmm. Fair. We should make our way back then. <sighs> Stay with us, Flux. I don't think he's with us. Flux. Oh damn it. Flux, if you hear, speak now, forever. Not speak. I don't hear the light hum <laughs> of his jet boots. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> fucking killed Carrie. I had water. <laughs> I was drinking. All right, let's uh, let's keep moving then. All righty. Are you looking oh, to? Where are you heading to? Full red rose. We'll go this way, <laughs> then this way, up the yeah, wall. I would, and I would like to. I would like to while we're moving, like keep my keep my ears open for anything. Like like I'm fucking I'm fucking concentrating hard. While while we pass though, I would like to try and peek down into the pit. Do I see anything in there with my dark vision? As you peek down into the pit. Into the pit. Tia. The pit. Into the hole. As you look down, uh, you have dark vision. You can see that it looks like it goes down about 40 feet at the bottom of where there seems to be something of a shaft that goes down and then it expands out into a wider chamber. Uh, you hear the sound of dripping water coming from down there, but it sounds thick. Beyond that... Uh, you can tell by the way the chains are set up that the grate that is over it acts as both a lift and it looks like it could just be dropped out to fall down. You can't tell much besides that. I have a couple guesses. As to what? What might be down there? Oh. It's a rancor. What? It's a rancor. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Does it, is it immediately concerning, or...? No, no, we're fine. It's just... I thought that might have been a, like, a sneaky little escape route after we slaughter Ravisimon or whatever. Um, Ooh. But, uh... I'm, I don't think there's much good down there. Let's make sure that we don't end up down there, then. Yeah, let's keep moving. Eh, push comes to shove. Um, I will reach for the door handle and then realize it's locked. Hmm. Okay, uh... Round two. I did great the first time, right? So, good luck. Whew. You do nope. not manage to open it. I have no idea how to open this lock. Should we circle back around? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's the only way. Mm -hmm. I guess. Unless you, like, jumped over their head or something. I'm assuming Flux probably went that way anyways. Or he hovered on the roof again. He does like that tactic. I mean, don't don't fix what ain't broke. Uh, yeah. We'll start working our way around. E All right. As you move, you pass by the pillars. You pass by the very large statue again. Those that are inside, you've had quite a bit of time. What are you uh, What are you doing in there? Oh, you said my Lexi ping was indicating that she is somewhere over. Oh. Aww, right? Are you pinging now? Uh, yeah. She's somewhere that way. <gasps> what? What? Has she moved since the last time I pinged? <sighs> the last time you did was over here, and it was that way. So you went here, and I went that way. Hmm. The spell should uh, tell you if they're currently moving when you ping them, right? Like, it'll tell you the direction of their movement. Believe so. Yeah. yeah. Has she moved, or have I moved around her relative location? Hmm. Man, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Give me fucking GPS. These are the questions, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Fender <laughs> smacks her GPS on the side as if that makes it work better. Um, so she's smacking her head. <laughs> as if that makes it work better. You you, you wouldn't be able to see. Um, Just hear it. I. It seems as if this can't be right. Uh, what is she's moved? Or maybe we overshot where she could be. We need to turn back. And Fenris is gonna, like, mm -hmm. squeeze between these two and start, like, quickly moving towards the door. Are you keeping an eye on that ping? Here. Yes. She's over that way. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Fenders is gonna get like almost to the door, which is quite funny because they're right there. She's gonna go. Ooh. She's gonna 
jump back over here. I'm keeping the ping, and as she's gonna like squeeze through. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> I'm keeping an eye on this ping. I'm I'm thinking Literally. about it real hard. Does it move? No. And if so, when? What would happen okay. if we went up the hallway, Venus? I, I think that's probably what Why we should do. Keep moving. You guys would see <laughs> Miriam and uh, Nemric around this time, walking very silently down the hallway. Fenris is just gonna huff. I, but but her location, it moved. Fenris. It's not moving, Fenris. you're moving. You're moving. Finally! <laughs> <laughs> Triangulate I'm so Fenris. <laughs> I'm so dumb. <laughs> I'm so just gonna, she's just gonna place a hand on Fenris's shoulder and just it. move up past her. We're just, we're just gonna keep moving, okay? We're gonna find her. Take a breath. <laughs> I don't need your pity. I don't know what's wrong. Now that I'm at the position, I'm moving to the northeast. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, hey, Lexi, uh, we're looking for you. Maybe you can hear me now. Where are you pointing at? Uh, northeast, so this way. Lexi? Hi. I'm... You hear this <laughs> message. Miriam? Miriam, what? I cast it again. That was very helpful. Can you make uh, some sort of motion in front of whatever cell you're in? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna move to the front of the cell and I'm just gonna stick my hand out and be like. Bang. All right. I'm, as I move along, I'm gonna just look up and down and well, up mostly, I guess, because they're another in that direction now. Uh, and I'm just gonna look for any sort of motion anywhere. As you look, move down, you do not see any motion that way. You do not see any motion down the second hallway. And when you bump into the others, <laughs> you do not see any up or down either of those halls. Let's keep moving. Indeed. Rapidly moving my hand, just continuously. Just uh, I guess she's down. she's got her something going on in front of her cell. I think. You spoke to her. They they responded with ha 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 and <gasps> that's all I got. So oh. I think they're excited we're here. Sounds like she is in good spirits. That it's good to hear. Oh, at least a lot. Uh, can't wait for this group to get their heart back. Let's go. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. The By the way, I'm sorry I got separated. Oh, there you are, Flux. Don't do it again. <laughs> I will try. I we'll keep your thought you were dead. Voices down, and we keep moving. <laughs> yes. That's right. Yeah. There, we, we keep in moving. that direction. Always. Keep going forward. Okay. Oh, Fanny <laughs> Boo. They are in that direction. <laughs> well, I'm getting close. <laughs> As you move and you turn the corner, you see a hand waving down the cell oh. that is just down it. <laughs> I run! I misty step through the gate! I hug Lexi! Oh, you're, you're going into the cell, huh? <laughs> oh no! Maybe I <laughs> killed him! <laughs> you already said it! You already did it! You misty step into the cell, through it, Lexi! You just see Fenris rush up and disappear into mist, ending up inside the cell with you. Oh, oh Fenris! Uh, hi, Fenris! Oh my god! I'm just gonna hug her. I just hug and hug and hug Lexi, just trying to absorb every inch of pressure and and every sense. I consume Lexi. <laughs> In all ways except for literal, I just hug her as tight as I can. I, I don't say that very loud. I just whisper. Everyone's here, you're gonna be okay. Everyone's here. Okay, I was gonna say, man, it's just my hand. Did you say anything? Yes, I know. I know. Oh, are you okay? I am okay. Um, 
I get to the corner and I don't see anything. I'm like, no, she's not down this way. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go the other direction. I give her a nurse's once over. I'm looking for any injuries, any any scabs, bruises. They look tired. You notice that they're somewhat twitchy. Mm. Every couple seconds, they kick their leg out without seeming like they uh, they mean to. I'm really really glad that you guys are here, but like, so twitchy. What's yeah. what's this? That's nothing. I don't want anybody. Who did that? Ravi Sim was here and she like really really wants you guys and she's really scary and she can hurt people like dancing at them and there's a person in the cell next to me and they're, they're really really nice. Oh, that's good to hear. Uh -huh. I'm we glad you weren't here alone. We, we have to save them too. Yes. Okay. We. we you guys have we, my stuff? Yes. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Uh, Avion has most of your things, but, um, I take yeah, I'm out- I'm we'll eventually make our you, way over. Do you have yeah. clothing? Yeah. Lexi? Yeah, 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 yeah. Obvious. Obvious got outside the cell, already picking the lock. Hell yeah. Logan, yeah. I'm wearing the clothes that Ravi Simo gave me, right? Yeah. What do they look like again? Well, just kind of basic, um- Prison garb. Prison garb, yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. I'm in my Orange prison jumpsuit. Garb, anyway. Oh dear, uh, I, I, this is silly, um, you probably have other things to put on, on top of this maybe, I just saw your clothing, you know, you just kind of, um, and I'm gonna take out the, the clothing that I bought her at the bathhouse. I just peek in and then I return back to where I was. Yeah, I'll yeah, make my way down. <laughs> yeah, once, once giving her the clothes, Fenris As... will kind of... <laughs> So, oh, no. you guys are saying you're doing a bunch of things on top of each other here, Sorry. so let's, let's knock yeah, a few of them out. Um, yeah. As you walk up to the side, Avi, mm -hmm. you see um, a hand come from within the cell that is next to Lexi's. You see a hand just wrap itself around one of the bars as you see a figure lean against the door to investigate what is going on outside the cell. Can I see what they look like from where I am? Yeah, you see the same... Uh, uh, a, a, a blanket pulled around their body as if to keep their armor uh, safe and their body warm. A long, golden blonde hair that is quite long. Two streams running down each of their shoulders and then most of it splaying out in their back. Um, under it you see small little aspects of uh, what looks like about medium armor, like half plate, a breastplate that is made of these silverish white panels on top of a, a blue cloak. You see... As you look out, uh, eyes glowing faintly green. This individual. Art, 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 art. art. Oh. Oh. They're so pretty. They're so beautiful. They're cool. Oh, they're so pretty. They're beautiful. Wow. Their eyes I will oh just kind God. of look at them and regard them. They can't see me. Um, I'm going to start picking Lexi's lock because Fen's in there, but I'm like, well, you know. I'll stroll down to I'll the secondary cell listening to the conversation about them. Lexi. Yeah, I'll follow after me. I'll follow after Miriam. I'm still yeah. hugging Lexi. I can't see anybody else. <laughs> well, I'm going to get you out of there. I mean, I can mostly stay out of here. I just... Save, I your, we'll... save your strength. We, we, have to, we have to kill this person. Out of that... Um... They're really yeah. scary, they're really strong, and they can see stuff, like, they knew that I was a Kitsabria, they can see my ears and my ears oh, and stuff. That and doesn't shock me. They've been hurting the person in the cell, like, next to me, just by dancing at them. Mm. That's like, not Logan, might I roll thieves tools? Yes, like, go ahead. If there's no way out of here, it might be better to just get out of here. Uh, see, to get the supplies we needed to rescue you, we had to, um make a deal with some people. It's not that simple. Wait, what, what, what did you guys Everything's do? fine. We're, we're oh. just working with some people who have the same ideals as us. She's petting her head. Mm. I feel like you're being really dodgy and you don't really want to tell me what you actually did. We'll explain I later. Maybe wasn't focusing on our agreement. I mean, it's fine to tell me later. We, we should, we should mm. take care of you. Okay. Thank you, guys. Did I get the lock? Ah, uh, yes. You managed to unlock it. I will and open will make the door. Room for an <laughs> mm -hmm. I will dart forward 
and just pull Lexi against me and fold my wings around her and just kind of rock her. <laughs> You're invisible wings. I'm invisible. As you do this, as the gate opens uh, and it shifts seemingly on its own, um, you hear just from the cell beside you guys. Did you manage to find a way to open your cell, or um, do we have? I can see me and Miriam, right? Okay, and they. Yeah, oh, yeah. Can. By this point, you guys would have walked down. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, unless you guys have a light source, they can't. Oh, that's fair. Uh, oh, no. is, is I. still invisible? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Cast a spell. They're not invisible. Oh yeah, that's okay. true. Okay. I'm. You know what? Fucking worth it. <laughs> Tell you. Yeah. No. It's also been more than ten minutes, so your inspiration's gone. Oh no. Are, is, are some of the others invisible? Is that what's happening? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're all okay. here. This I'm is Aviana. You could probably tell that it's Aviana from all those Sorry. feathers. Hey, mm. you cool with, uh, cool with Lexi? Hmm. Cool, then you cool with me. I'm gonna start doing their luck. Oh, trying to upstage me there, Lucius. I mean, you got the, yeah, you got the girl, I'm just saying. <laughs> I did. I take it. Top of Lexi's head. Lexi, that these are the companions you said would be coming for you. Yeah, these are my friends. Hmm. We're doing a coup or something. Uh, you want in? <laughs> oh. That depends on what you intend to do. Well, we're gonna kill Ravisimon. Um, and that's all we have planned so far. Also, they want to know what's under here, which currently looks like a a blood pit or a, a monster lair or something. Hmm. I presume you know that normal people would not be able to kill Ravissimo. I'm not normal people. I see. <laughs> then absolutely. I'm happy to join you. If you're Lexi's friends, then I believe we may already be allies anyways. Hmm. All right, let's get you out of this cell. Uh... Mm hmm Venris will eventually let go of Lexi. <laughs> um, and as soon as she just does... holding her hand. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, peel off the uh, the thieves, the gloves of thievery, and put them. I'm still invisible. I ain't dropping this ish. If mm -hmm. it's still up, um, I'll play. I'll press them into Lexi's hands. These came in very useful. I hope I'm you don't mind that, that I borrowed them. Sorry. I was... No, go ahead. I want to speak louder, Carrie. Oh, I'm assuming that when she takes them off, I can see them. Uh, right? They'd still be in her possession. So Once no. they let go of them, you'd be able yeah. to feel them, but you wouldn't be able to oh. see them. What? Uh, uh, oh, okay. Oh, I used my gloves. I hope you don't mind. No, of course not. I also have all of your weapons or magic items. Oh. I'll start handing her her rock and everything oh, yeah, that yeah. we grabbed. And Fenris will put the. There's not really a bed in this place, is there? The, the no, right not there. really. Like in the part of my friend, there's like a little bench thing in the background. It's basically that, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Fenris will place the clothing that she got at the bathhouse. Um, if what you if you want, like? it's like a yukata question. Mark. Yeah. Was that what we? Uh -huh. Yeah. A yukata for my. Gladly put it on. I gave you back all your stuff. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Reunited. Oh, my Let's get you out of the things in it again. <laughs> Lexi, do you need extra daggers or arrows or anything? Um, I will take arrows from Nemric. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are great arrows. They won't work. They're well, big, big. Okay, never mind. I'm like looking Whatever. through all of my things, like spread out on the floor, and just like, um, I, I think I'm okay. I think this is all of my stuff. So, I, I, yeah, no, I think I'm good. Okay, I got extra mm -hmm. daggers just in case you need some. Thank you. Mm. Of I'm going to look in all of my stuff for my diary, my journal that Avi gave me. It is gone, I'm afraid. Avi, did you yeah. did you borrow the journal that you gave me? It, it wasn't with your stuff, sorry. Most of it was burned away. Oh no, okay. 
you know, that's easily far from the worst thing that could have happened. By the way, Lexi, you only have your plus one arrows and your plus one bolts. You do not have regular ammunition. Okay. We can always get you another one, and hey, if we get out of here and it's our time, I will make Rory buy it for you. Oh, (laughs) jeez. Okay. Okay, I think all my stuff's here. So who's trying to... How about you? You need weapons? I have my armor on me, but yes, I, I need a weapon. Oh, sorry, I already, I rolled Thieves' Tools on their thing already. For, oh, uh, sorry. 19. Uh, 19 does not open it. Wow. Uh, Flux. Uh, As you're doing you're that, up. they just make conversation like... I do have a weapon. Certainly. One will, that is well uh, suited to me, but I've lost it. I'll give Flux a bardic inspiration so they don't have to burn a, uh, another Flash of Genius. Oh, appreciate it, Master. I should warn you, I believe they put additional enchantments upon my door. Ah, uh, that's why. Uh... Mm. Oh, well, we can solve that twofold. Yeah. Uh, once, uh, right. once I've done that, I'm gonna cast dispel magic on the door. Alrighty. Oh. Could you please roll me your spellcasting ability? Uh, where are you? I'm at a skill for dispel magic. Just While they're doing all those things, I'm just writing in. I'm just writing in a small note. Just like waiting for everybody to come out of their out of their cages. <laughs> See if this auto parses. Uh, yep. All right. As you do it, you put your hand forward. You find there is magic that is currently binding the lock and reinforcing the door. You pulse it with magic, and though it resists, you manage to prevent it from uh, taking hold. The effect of the arcane lock disengages. Nice to meet you. I'm Mariam. Magic is my bitch. <laughs> oh my god! Is it ever? <laughs> I see. Yeah. Um. Oh, do I do I, I have to be full of water inspiration <laughs> for or after? <laughs> what? What? Uh, sorry, what was that? Um, do I declare the bardic inspiration before or after? Uh, you roll. After you roll, you have ten minutes to use it, and but before Logan tells you whether or not you fail or succeed. Gotcha. Okay. Well, let's. Yeah, I'll use it. <laughs> D10. D10. Yeah. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! That's better. Nice! You stumble with it, you try to open it. You find it is beyond your ability to do so, and then as you're just about to give up on it, Miriam just kind of raises their hand, kind of hits it like it's a a malfunctioning microwave or something, and as he hits it, it jostles it into just the right place, and it unlocks. (laughs) Did I just fawns the door? (laughs) (laughs) You did! Magic is your bench. What a king! (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well done alright I guess I guess we open the door well these uh, aren't whatever you're talking about but you can use these for now I um do any of you have any sort of light source I could use I think you're all doing relatively well seeing in the dark but I am uh, not so gifted I, I can't see you I have a torch. yeah I have a candle and a hooded lantern Okay. Would you be willing to give a hood to them? I will. I'll pass them the hooded lantern. That's the best for stuff. I'll just press the digitation and I'll light it. Okay. They take it. As it lights up, you see them take a half step back when they see the three people in particular who are in front of them as they eye you. (laughs) Unusual. Hmm. These are for you. And I'm going to hand him my dancing longsword. Them. Or, or, right, thank you. I uh, hand them the dancing longsword and uh, Aerosis' halberd. I'll hold both out. The sword, please. There you go. They take it. They sweep it out to the side. You see a tired resolve in their eyes as they close them for a second. They take a deep breath in. They raise the blade up, holding it parallel to their body, the blade moving straight up towards the ceiling. As they do, they let out the breath, look towards you guys, hold up the lantern. I am, like you are, I presume, one of the hunted. I was brought here as a possession by Ravissimo. I should have already lost in this battle we're fighting. But 
They spared me so that they could take me here. Oh, so you were the one they were torturing. I put away my note as I look over at them. Yes. Why but... haven't you been killed already? Indeed. Because the table member who runs this Bastille took a liking to me. Hmm. They're apparently giving a lot of favor towards you. Yes. Hmm. I believe they see people as possessions, things to be held. They wanted me as an audience. They didn't care whether or not I enjoyed their art or praised them. They only wanted me to be here to witness it. Do you need any food or water? I've actually been fed quite well. Lexi? And... I think I'm okay. Am I okay, Bobby? Yeah, I mean, you're exhausted, but you're you, okay. You wouldn't know. <laughs> Fair, yeah, no, I wouldn't know. When was the last time I was fed? A time from now? I'm gonna um... give them food and water. <laughs> 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 How long ago do I think it has been since the last time I was It's hard for you to tell time here. <laughs> I know. I eat, this here. eat this either way, Lexi. Okay. What is it? Just some dried rations and some water. Thank you, Nemi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I eat it. Uh, so, what is our next move to action should well, we Bravissimon keeps a stage here I believe I've only seen maybe a third of this place but there's a very large room that was repurposed into a performance area for them I believe it's a place they care about greatly so if we wanted to get their attention we could go there I don't know what's wow. in the rest of this place okay but that room is like really really dangerous because she like made me go there and when I stepped on like the middle of the thing she said that she knew that I wasn't hunted because if I had been I would have just died as soon as I stepped on it or something right yeah I, be oh, fuck that I believe I believe that she meant that she brought you to her with the intention of killing you if the moon had turned red but because it didn't she didn't okay so yes yeah, she would know like going on at this stage she would know when she would try to get in any case, she'll know that there's hunted among us. Mm -hmm. We're here to kill her, after all. Mm. Indeed. I know, but look, I just got you guys back, so I want to keep you safe as I can. And we want you safe. Mm. Do you know the only I way that we can be safe is if this person is dead. Mm. We have to. You were going to say something, Marion? Do you know how often they come to check on this place? We can take a quick breather before we do this. I mean, I know I'd appreciate it. Mm. They occasionally come to take us to the bedroom. I, I could, uh, in theory, heal all of us that have injuries. It's strong magic, though. I don't mm. want to tap you out if you don't, if you from, think you might need it for the fight. From what I, I can tell, Ravissimo sends for us, have, well, has sent for me at least, to be taken from here at about the same time every day. I'm not exactly sure what time of day it is, but it feels consistent. They then normally take me time close. I uh they normally take me for about four hours or so. And then they have either returned me here, or on occasion they have allowed me to go to Ravisimon's quarters to rest properly. She has a um she has a very large bath set up there that she insists that every if I feel the need I use. That hasn't happened in a while though. As for when it was, I think the last time was maybe half a day ago. So we could potentially give a bit of a rest here. I said we do that. We need you in top shape, Venus. Yeah. Only you, Taguchi, me, and... I, sorry, I didn't catch your name. <laughs> I've been wary of giving my name to anybody here. But sure, I don't even know it. <laughs> you seem like your allies. Give us a fake one if it makes you feel better. As long as I have something to call you. <laughs> if you want to call me anything, at least until I get my sword back, so I know that I can trust you all, you can call me the Lion King. 
That is a very cool name. Sure. <laughs> we have a friend who would like I'm gonna, you. I'm going to no? shorten that to Lion. Is that, that cool? Wait, if you wish to call me you... the Lion, that's fine as well. Oh, that's even if, cooler. Whatever you wish, Master Lion King. If we, are, pl if we are planning don't, on... Don't, don't, it's not proper to mix two titles together that way. Thank you. Oh, okay. I don't like it, titles at general. I don't care about titles at all, but thank you. If we do plan on sitting here for a moment, do you mind if I... He's, like, gonna bring his... Uh, gonna bring himself over toward them. I want to make sure that everyone's in tip-top shape, and if you've all been resting here for quite a while, Lexi and Lion... Uh, would you mind if I cast a little bit of restorative magic? I mean, I don't mind. I I'd am... like to cast less restoration on Lexi. Oh, oh. oh Nemric. Two and what in particular? Uh, I just want to see if they are if they are under any any effects of this place and try to be like uh, see if I can target any any of the fatigue or anything. You said that they've been twitching for a while. Mm -hmm. Indeed. So I wanted I wanted to see if there was any way I could potentially aid that. Let me check real quick. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Check if, you, if you wish to try mm -hmm. against it, I need to track down which list that came from. Give me just one moment, please. Hooray! I don't expect that everything can be healed with a Lester Restoration. Mm -hmm. I just want to try it before we go to rest, because I might get my spell slots back after a short oh, rest. that's very true. Let's yeah, see. may as well. Otherwise, you might have to... Sorry, go on. Mm -hmm. Oh, you might have to wait a little bit longer, and then after... I mean, I could heal, do Table. a greater restoration if that doesn't work now, but that would be my fifth, one of my fifth level slots. Yeah. Mm -mm. Maybe... I mean, you know, both of my fifth levels are to help. A lot of my spells today are help versus harm, but I don't want to do it with my own bare hands. Like, Strangle. Using lesser restoration, it does not restore the condition mm. oh no like hugging Fenris and just accidentally mm. slap her just fucking uh, <laughs> if it's something right. if something is ailing you that's not something I can fix do you mind Lion King hmm <laughs> do you mind he will what? attempt to as I said I would like to try to cast some restorative magics on you for what purpose we believe that whenever you rest in this place, Honokuni, that as you go through, you are affected by the realm itself. And I just right. wish to. I had been make warned sure about that, that but ever since I arrived here, although I have had some nightmares, no such effects have plagued my mind. If you're sure. I'm not sure if their protection extends to this place, but where I come from, I received all sorts of blessings from various fey, and I had a court wizard who was particularly adept in countering and preparing against curses. It's as soon as I mention, like, fey magic, I'm like, ah, okay, it's, you're fine, then you're it's fucking, entirely never mind. possible. <laughs> it's entirely possible I may not be affected by the maddening effects of this land. Oh... Very interesting. Uh, would, would we be in the other cell be able to hear this conversation? Sure. Uh, they they mention nightmares, right? Yeah. Uh, Fenris will poke her head out from one cell. Uh, excuse me, I, I happen to... Hi. Um, I happen to hear you discussing nightmares, and I hate to pry, but, um... What were the subject of these nightmares? I've also been experiencing nightmares, so forgive my curiosity. On different occasions, I have had a nightmare about a writhing beast made of tentacles and flesh pursuing me. On another, I had a dream of a church bell that resounded around me and a empty graveyard with a mausoleum contained within that had the bell. Oh. <laughs> We've seen that However, place, these proved to be nothing more than nightmares. Although I felt there was something nefarious behind them, I did manage to quite easily avoid the effects of whatever they were trying to do to me. In that second place you mentioned, I believe we've been around a place similar to that. Mm. That sounds and familiar. No nightmares of someone of my complexion and uh, semblance, correct? I don't believe so. 
cool, 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 cool. Fenris will duck her head back into Lexi's cell and kind of just put her head on Lexi's shoulder. Uh, Fenris, do you feel okay? I, I'm fine. This place is just vexing. I really don't like you here, Kyle. Mm. We're gonna get you well, out. Mm. Well, let's go ahead and sit down for the moment then, and hope we can get some sort of a now wait understanding of this place. Mm. You had asked me when Ravisima takes me, but if you're talking about waiting here, you should be aware that the Crimson Butterflies patrol the area every ten minutes or so. That's what I was going to say. And we don't have long? <sighs> no. Well, that changes things. Should we go back the way we came? I suppose it's our best choice, given the situation. Hmm. I've only really got out of here like the one time, but when I did, I was trying to like listen for a way out, and I think we might be surrounded by water. So, however you guys got in might be the best way to get out. Otherwise, you know, we might just kind of drown. There's a moat. <laughs> we came in through oh, the front okay. door. Okay. Yes, it should not present an obstacle. <laughs> okay. We were stealthier than usual. We know that the butterflies can't really communicate very well here, given that the ones upstairs couldn't alert the ones down here. I don't know how long it's going to last. So I say if we're going to go, oh. we should go now. Also, I can't Have you killed some of them? Oh, yeah, yes. uh, on the main floor. I had battled some of oh. them as well when I first arrived here, after I had met with the young lord and escaped his castle. Huh? You, you said it. <laughs> I, um... I'm not sure if you've noticed this yet, but whenever they are killed, they do return fairly quickly, within the next day or so. And the reason that they found me whenever I was going to Hoshokin is that the ones I had killed previously seemed to be able to find me with no trouble once they returned. Oh god. And if you had fought god. some upstairs, and if they know you're here, it's very likely when they return they'll know if you're still here. So if we do not hurry, our progress could be undone. We have a very small window to kill Ravisimon, then. Okay, let's get upstairs. Find... We've only yeah. got a few minutes. Get upstairs, we find somewhere to catch our breath. My goodness, the torture mm -hmm. here is truly abysmal. My god! Of course so. Also, um, Mimic, we can't even pretend to, like, be Crimson Butterflies, because when I was pretending to be one when we were playing Hide and Seek, Apparently they all look really different. And they're yeah, and they're and they're all female, so I can't do it either. Oh, okay. Well, it's just in case that ended up being a plan. We we can't do that either. So let's hmm. just let you know. He's gonna start making his way uh, up this way. Alrighty. As you guys are heading out, I need to go ahead and roll a d12. <laughs> all right. As oh, you... no. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. no, no, what? It's fine, I'm sure. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You tell us. <laughs> oh, you silly oh. billies. You rolled a dice. Ah, oh, dang it. As oh. you guys make your way out, uh, may I ask which way you're going? Which path out are you following? <clears throat> The quickest way would be to go back down the main hall, but what do you guys think? So, okay. the I'm way that we saw them coming was this way, but if they were returning back, then we might be walking right into where they might enter from. Okay, wait. Are we trying to just sneak anywhere so the Crimson Butterflies don't see us, or are we trying to go to the room that we think Ravisimo might be in? We're, we're trying to upstairs leave upstairs. So we can rest briefly. Yeah, we're wanting to go room. back here. <laughs> okay. Just because I, I kind of sort of know the way to the, the room that Ravisimo's in, but that's all I really know, because that's the only place they've taken me. So when we want to do that, let me know. So we go maybe <laughs> here, and then maybe at that point we go up here? And try maybe. to get around that way? It's sure. they, they were kind of arbitrary about when they turned, so we don't know what their southern bath might look like. Um, I'd say, like, if we did go down in that direction... 
Like, we'd be going into places we haven't seen before, but it might go around this area. I'd say we go straight for it. As much as it's a risk, if it's the quickest way out. And yeah, the longer we linger, the more time in. we give them to find us. Yeah. Yeah, let's at least we know the layout of this section. Make our way straight Better this way, then. Lost. Yeah. In and out, quick and quiet. Alrighty. I'd like the group collectively to please roll stealth. Am I still invisible? Invisible for an hour. Yes. Um, so. Cool. I'm just asking nice. for advantage, disadvantage, all that ish. Not that with the crimson butterflies it matters much. I stopped tag. It'll get there eventually. And... It, it's thinking about my dice just oh, hanging out there. It. There it is. So, as or as your prisoner friend, as the Lion King moves forward, you hear the uh, sound of their armor clunking as they step forward. They seem to have difficulty walking. They unfortunately have not one. Uh, oh. That stealth check. Um, okay, I nat two'd. <laughs> So as you guys oh, move, you make no. a considerable amount of noise. Uh, I am going to go ahead, and I'm going to roll a d100. Cool. As you guys move out, you get to the main nexus. Points downward. Mariam. Yep. Heckin, you never opened the door, did you? No, you, there we go. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> as you guys continue to move down, you see what appears to be the, the light of a candle coming from the northern path. Ooh. Hasn't quite made the turn yet, but you do see it moving. And keep be aware, now that you have the Lion King with you, you do have a light source among the group. So, it mm. is, which this place is pitch black otherwise. So that makes it mm. incredibly That's, noticeable. Uh, at least it's a hooded lantern, so it's directional. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I thought hood lanterns were just uh, like the like the radius ones. I think bullseye lanterns had the directional. Oh, yeah. oh you're right. Yeah. We could rush off to the south, but we don't know what we'd be getting into down there. We'd have to fight whoever this is. So we could take one out pretty quick. Yeah. Let's do it then. Avi, tag, you're up front. <laughs> yep. Tag on it. What? Never mind. I will get here <laughs> at the. Uh, I will get at the the little thing here, and I will ready a. Uh, I'll ready a shot for whenever Tagachi and Aviana engage. So whenever I see them engage with something, I want to shoot what they're engaging. Cool. Before we get too deep into plans, as you guys get into place. You get yourselves ready. You see the form of a crimson butterfly walking candle in hand down from the the area. You see them slowly turn in your direction. As you do, the group, along with its new companion, bears their weapons and prepares to counterattack against them. And I believe that that's where we're going to stop for today. And we'll, hey! we'll open next game with what comes of this. Let's go. Oh yeah, we got this! We got Lexi. Yeah, it's so true. And we got we got Mufasa. It's true. <laughs> Woo, low hanging fruit. Gonna be your mighty king's enemies beware. <laughs> I saw you post in the chat like, remember who? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, kill me, man. It may be uh, low hanging fruit, but it's delicious fruit. But it's <laughs> still it, it's that so means sweet. it's ripe. If Mariam didn't give, if Mariam didn't give the uh, the dancing uh, longsword, I was gonna give my vicious rapier to them and see if they could cool use fuck. it. Flux, <laughs> you oh, have gained yes. enough experience to love. Oh fuck! <gasps> yes, oh, yes. Finally, oh, fuck you. Oh. So close, <laughs> I can taste it. Oh my god! I'm no story so item. I'm still Logan, so far XP? behind. Welcome, what the fuck? Hmm? You, my XP? <laughs> you don't get any for today. <laughs> you and me oh, no, both. I did so much work. I escaped. Right. You are back <laughs> on the. Escaped. You are back on the tracker now, but you didn't. You don't get any today. What the fuck? No, that, I got out of jail. session XP. What the fuck? <laughs> we'll apply that level uh, next time you take a long rest. Oh wow. Um, 
What do I get next level? I don't think I get anything for level 11. Yeah. I just want health. Baby. Oh yeah, no, no. I want always. reliable talent. I, get I know. <laughs> I want reliable talent. <laughs> One day. We're already so gross. I just want I to know. Be that I is very be fucking disgusting. true. I want to be filthy, disgusting, filthy. rogue filth. That's all hey. I want. Hey, Aviana, I don't know how to tell you this. You're what? already there. <laughs> but I need more. Foul. No. I, I, I get yeah, it. Yeah, because I'm a it. bird. Foul. Oh. Hey. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Burn joke. Hey. I, can, I can make them. I guess you Spence, could say that was question a cheap for you. blow. That's me. Mm -hmm. Did you complain at all today? Uh, no. Damn it. <laughs> you no, know, you were good today. Like, I'm very proud of you. Yeah. But you, you, you stole a bingo. <laughs> Stole a bingo from me. No, Karen, sorry, did you? Dude. You didn't roll anything, therefore no ones. Fuck. I love you all so much. How dare Give you? Give me bingo. <laughs> Give me bingo. Where is it? Stand. Do, 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 do. Need to find. You said it. They're still getting. They're still getting tortured. Bingo, He's bango. You said it. He's playing Legend of Arceus. <laughs> <laughs> You have to quick. save that paladin as he they are as they are praying to their god Arceus. He was yelling about nuggies. I'm like, ah, I see you named another one of your Pokemon spicy nuggies. <laughs> and boop, boop. Oh, I can demold dice after this. And my Ooh. boys, here is <laughs> you guys specifically. <laughs> Kaboom! It's Keen angrily yelling in the background, Lamau. <laughs> <Ew. laughs> like, ah! Alrighty. Oh, what was the baboom, so cool. Logan? I left because I was, I was, I, mean, I was trying to close my eyes. I put the thing in official art chat. Oh. Oh yay! Oh, it's pretty. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. Oh They're yes. So pretty. They are indeed. A non biny finey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll allow them to join the ranks. <laughs> I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Does anyone also, have anything mean to say? Not to them, no. <laughs> I'm a ghost. Ooh. 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 We'll, we'll, we'll find out about you later. <laughs> That's me at the Lion King. We'll we'll, we'll find out about you later. <laughs> Looking <laughs> respectfully. Okay, we'll find out about you later. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so and then you all decided like, oh, you can use an alias, and I'm like, no, Same. give me a name. <laughs> Same. Hey, I think we all know a little bit. I'm looking no, respectfully. No. I think I, I don't know how I'm looking. I'm just looking. <laughs> I haven't figured that out yet. They are very cool. They're very cool. They're very attractive. We're gonna and find I'll out about you later. <laughs> like, now we're good. Um, um, this um, pen, um. this pen is very squeaky. Oh. Oh wow! Right, guys, we did it. We, we did it. it. We got in the Bastille. The, the group, the group stealthed, and it didn't blow up in their face immediately. I know. <laughs> I'm so proud of us. Look, I'm really proud so of good. us. So bad on my stealth it's checks. <laughs> Literally, okay. we didn't end up and getting the entire castle's worth of NPCs and enemies to come out right into the. Foyer or the is atrium. This a first? Is this I, a I think it is a first. <laughs> honest to God. Like even Man. in fate, I think we had that issue a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Damn. We're put together, guys. I think. I got I think to rogue. Might be adventures. I got to rogue so much today. I'm really happy. Yeah. I'm really happy. Oh my God. I'm, I'm so glad I got to, this, I've got to deceive everybody. It's when yeah. it worked. Oh, great. And you did oh, so good great. at. You were so good Dude. at it. 
You are a smooth talking bitch. Good job. Dude, as soon yeah. as the dude was like, I don't know, maybe you should go lay down and stopping outside the game, I'm like, how can I get these fucking things to go forward? I'm Nimrek. I don't care about their safety. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I love that the moment that it happened, I just started typing in chat in different fonts. Oh, no. Oh, mm. no. Because <laughs> it just <laughs> went downhill from that. I was like, I believe in you, Cody. Godspeed. Oh, no. I think it went very well. <laughs> Do you guys remember a long time ago I told mm. you a thing's gonna happen in Fate, or not in Fate, in, in Vestige, Vestige, and it's on the surface, it's gonna be immediately a tiny little bit fanfiction-y, but please mm -hmm. let me have it, because there's fun <laughs> things that are gonna surround it. Welcome to that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's, dude. The moment like you introduced them forever ago, I was like, yeah. I think I, I think I said it to you because I think I was still living at the house. I was like, is this the fanficy thing? And you're like, yeah. yeah. Look, Logan. <laughs> yeah. With this in particular, like, I'm not gonna call you out. This on is, shit. this is, this great. is right. No, this is it. right on the edge of what I feel is acceptable to do with fucking how absurd <laughs> domains of dread can do. Mm -hmm. yeah, my, something my this is especially because it, 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 I'm not going to confirm or deny anything about this character, but what you're all thinking, it is only partially true, and that's the point. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I was my about brain to say. immediately went whenever, whenever that, uh, whenever they have felt they failed the 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 little the little stealth check. It's just like, oh, we take any, do we take any 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 luck in different consideration? I'm playing. <laughs> Actually, about... now that you mention it, <laughs> Ooh. oh, do they have luck points? They, oh, I totally fucking forgot about that. Yeah, I don't think it's luck they're, points, uh, but they're replacing. They're they're going to choose to replace the result of that uh, that <laughs> stealth check. Yes. Hold Thank on. you, Cody. Hold on. <gasps> they're going to choose to replace it with a seventeen. Oh fuck yes! I'm so oh, happy. Cody, this just Cody, occurred to me. You. <laughs> Nemeric and Maleclips have a piece of similar information. They do have a skill. And called... that makes me... <laughs> they do have a feature called Instincts and Luck that does allow them <laughs> to, uh... It's Dude, not... as soon as... It's not luck points equivalent. So every time they rest, I roll a certain amount of d20s. It's very much like a, a divination wizard. Divination I roll a certain wizard. amount of d d20s. Uh, I make I keep re-rolling them till they're a, a ten or above, and then I take them and I hold them, and they can replace any roll with them over the next okay. day. Well, I am never gonna call you up for anything around play. this. I'm I'm very happy with this. I want to play a divination wizard. <laughs> they're neat. It's it's real fun. I mean, I'm biased right now because. <laughs> Princes, but <laughs> you're a nerd. I just think they're neat. I just think. Oh, they're I know neat. you do. I just think. Okay, Hayden. What? <laughs> yes. No Fred? more dragging. I'm not I've, dragging. I have I'm rug just... burn from the amount <laughs> of dragging I've received Yo, in the last week. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you through a loop here, chat. It's not Artoria. <laughs> <laughs> What? I'm just gonna scratch <laughs> that out in my notes. It's not. <laughs> it is. It is not Artoria. Are you sure? I bet it's the cousin Francis. <laughs> oh, of course. Francis. Francis. God. So I looked at the stream and I'm like, they're oh, from France. The worst. Oh my God. <laughs> they're fr Get the fuck out of here. The future. All right. With that, um, YouTube side, we went a bit late. Heck in, uh, my head is heck in, buff, feeling yeah. away. We're gonna we're gonna take off from uh, we're gonna take off from here. YouTube side. We'll see you guys again in a week, unless you come to the stream, in which case we'll see you on Thursday, which is the day after this gets released. So Prince see you tomorrow. Way. And on Monday. We'll see you on Monday. See you on, on Monday. Monday. So, and, Wednesday. and Tuesday and Wednesday. And on Tuesday. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna Wednesday give I'm gonna Thursday. give you yo know, chat. I'm I'm gonna give you another fucking point about this. If you keep trying to think of them as if they're a fake character, all your guesses are gonna be wrong, boys. Just so you know. 
Mr. Listen, it's Hint his from fan God. fiction. He can do what he wants. He can do what you want. You just oh, <laughs> barking up that the was wrong my tree. Best Goodness. Hi, <sighs> YouTube. Goodbye, YouTube. We're taking Bye -bye, off. YouTube. Goodbye, YouTube. Hello. Goodbye, YouTube. Honey, touch your love and appreciate it. Fuck. There you go.